Okay, Vice Captain Lisa. The two of them will trouble you. After seeing that the results of Ichimarujin and Matsumoto Rangiko came out and were almost as expected, Lan Yan had no intention of staying at Spiritual Arts Academy. No problem. Aren't you going to see your old classmates? After hearing the meaning of Lan Yan's words, Lisa couldn't help but ask. There will be plenty of opportunities in the future. Lan Yan shook his head and had no intention of going to find Chihau and Yoruaki and the others. Captain Lan Yan. Can I join the fifth team in the future? Just when he was about to leave, Matsumoto Rangiku mustered up the courage to stop him and boldly asked. Sure. As long as you graduate from the Spiritual Arts Academy. Lan Yan paused, then turned to Matsumoto Rangiku, smiled back, and then disappeared. It seems like another follower who was conscripted into the 493 uniform by Captain Lan Yan. Yadumaru Lisa was not surprised when she saw this scene. In Godi I-13, Shinigami like Matsumoto Rangiku are no longer rare. If Siridi I was not allowed to change teams easily without the Godi I captain's permission, she had no doubt that she would be able to fill up the 5th Division's office with application forms sent to the 5th Division every day. Come on. Based on your two scores, there is a 100% chance that you will be placed in the first class. Captain Lan Yan has just taken office not long ago, and the positions of vice captain and third seat are vacant. If you can graduate early, you may be able to catch up with one of the positions. After noticing Matsumoto Rangiku's admiration for Lan Yan, Yadumaru Lisa casually dropped a bombshell. Vice Captain Lisa, how long will it take to graduate early? As expected. When Matsumoto Rangiku heard this, his beautiful eyes blinked with excitement. Call me Sister Lisa. In terms of time, first class students generally have the potential to become Godi captains, so most of them apply for early graduation after one year of enrollment. As for the fastest, that's the record set by Captain Lan Yan, who graduated one month early. In a few words, Yadumaru Lisa used some well known things in Siridei to get closer to Matsumoto Rangiku. I heard from the captain of the Beijing Band of our 8th Division that this is already the result of Captain Lan Yan's deliberate postponement. If it weren't for Hiroko. In short, if Captain Lan Yan is willing, he can graduate from the Spiritual Arts Academy in five days. When she mentioned Hiroko Shinji, her voice paused, then she ignored Hiroko Shinji and continued. Ichimaru Jin, who was following the two men, said nothing during the whole process, but he heard all the conversation between the two. Through Yadumaru Lisa's words, he got to know Lan Yan more and more deeply, but what followed was a shocking feeling of looking up at a peak with no end in sight. Starting from the entrance examination, to graduating early, and even becoming the captain of the Godii. Ichimaru Jin discovered a striking similarity, that is, Lan Yan is creating the history of Soul Society all the time, and all records are created by him alone. It seems that the name Lan Yan Suk was born to create the history of Soul Society. The Other Side After Lan Yan left the Spiritual Arts Academy, he walked slowly towards the second division, but no one could see him clearly along the way. Because every step he takes is Shunpo. It seems that Shunpo, one of the Zuk and Zangi, has been integrated into his life, just like eating and drinking, it is no longer a Shinigami skill, but an instinct. Other captains walked in a leisurely manner. When he walks, he is leisurely in the courtyard. Maggot's Nest In a cell located in the deepest part of the cell, Kuratsuka Mayuri was lying on the cold floor as usual, looking at the ceiling expressionlessly, but unknown scientific inspirations were constantly bursting out in his mind. There is no research room. There is no research material. It doesn't matter. Then he simulated the experiment in his mind. This is also a way to pass the time and a way to entertain. This is the first time we meet, you must be Kuratsuka Mayuri. Suddenly, a voice sounded in Kuratsuka Mayuri's ear, instantly waking him up from his scientific thoughts. He suddenly turned his head and looked around, only to find a figure standing outside the cage. 
Oh! What an unexpected and rare guest! I didn't expect that the mighty Shinigami hero would come to this maggot nest and say hello to me, a criminal. After Kuratsuka Mayuri saw Lan Yan's face clearly, a strange smile appeared on her face. Apparently. Although he was imprisoned in the maggot nest, he was not completely ignorant of everything in the outside world. Criminal. That's just the stupid cognition of a group of short-sighted and cowardly guys. That's right, after all, they are just mice. We can't ask them to have a long-term vision and extraordinary courage. Lan Yan shook his head and laughed. It seems the rumors are true. The Shinigami heroes of Godi I-13 are not impressed by Central 46. It's really interesting. Siridi I can actually tolerate a Shinigami like you? Instead of imprisoning you here, or Mujian. Kuratsuka Mayuri sat up from the ground and looked at Lan Yan with interest. The reason why he was imprisoned in the maggot nest was not because of any criminal facts, but simply because Central 46 judged him as a potentially dangerous person. But what about Lan Yan? It's incredible that Central 46 can be dubbed the Shinigami hero and captain of the 5th Division despite openly questioning it. Nothing else. My Zanpaka is just stiffer than their necks. Lan Yan spoke touching words nonchalantly. So are you here today to show off your power to me? Kuratsuka Mayuri looked at Lan Yan with a half smile, but her mind was thinking about the other party's purpose. No. I'm just here to give you a chance to follow me. Lan Yan's tone was neither salty nor bland. Although you are different from ordinary reckless people, you don't seem to have such a thing as science in your brain. I am sorry. I don't think following you would be any better than staying here. Kuratsuka Mayuri seems to be polite when speaking, but in fact, there is a hint of contempt in her words. In his opinion, both Shinigami heroes and Godii captains are just a group of Shinigami monkeys with low intelligence. Science 2.3 Is it the kind of thing that can be wiped out with a flick of your finger? If that's what you're talking about, then I really don't have such a thing. When Lan Yan heard this, he smiled instead of getting angry. Don't speak arrogantly. You will only show your stupidity by saying such things. Just like those idiots who locked me up here. When Kuratsuka Mayuri heard this, she became furious and stood up from the floor. Lan Yan didn't speak, just glanced at him. Boom. The overwhelming Ryatsu was like a torrent that burst a dam and instantly submerged Kuratsuka Mayuri physically and mentally. Snap. With the sound of heavy objects falling to the ground, he was already kneeling on the ground, his whole mind went blank. Lose his ease pride in his confidence in science disappeared under the boundless Ryatsu. Almost exhausted. Even his thoughts were crushed to pieces by the monstrous Ryatsu, and then turned into a mess. Not to mention standing up, I couldn't even think normally. Can your science help you? Can your science get you on your feet? Or is it that your science can help you shorten the gap between you and me? Tell me, Kuratsuka Mayuri. Lan Yan took back Ryatsu and looked down at Kuratsuka Mayuri who was kneeling on the ground. He was choosing his subordinates, not Ziyu Ying. He is not Yura Harakisuk, and he will not let an opponent jump up and down in front of him, unable to distinguish priorities. Lan Yan After breathing heavily for a moment, Kuratsuka Mayuri raised her head, revealing her angry face dripping with cold sweat. Just as he was about to say something, he found that Lan Yan suddenly reached out to him and slowly raised a finger. Call out! In a flash of green light, the two people had disappeared from the maggot nest, but they did not alert anyone or any alarm device. At the same time, Rukonga. On a deserted plateau land, Lan Yan and Kuratsuka Mayuri suddenly appeared. This is the East 80th District. Kuratsuka Mayuri looked around and came up with an answer that made his hair stand on end. Give up singing. In an instant, he transferred himself to the Rukonga East 80th district, thousands of miles away from the maggot nest. Aside from his intelligence and science, what he was most proud of was Kid. 
it was precisely because of this that he understood what Lan Yan's space transfer just now meant. The highest peak of Seoul Society Kid? Dare not say. But compared with the other party, Kid's accomplishments are like a firefly in a bright moon. You said I don't understand science. Yes, I don't understand. It's just that you don't seem to understand what I hold. Lan Yan's voice was neither light nor heavy, but every word was like dragging boundless riots who, hitting Kuratsuka Mayuri's heart. What is it? Kuratsuka Mayuri pretended to be arrogant, trying not to let Lan Yan see the horror deep in his eyes. You know nothing about power. Lan Yan turned his head and stared directly into Kuratsuka Mayuri's eyes. No. It should be said that you, Kuratsuka Mayuri, know nothing about my power. Before Kuratsuka Mayuri could get angry, he added. Yet. Yeah. Then please let me see the power you mentioned that I know nothing about. Kuratsuka Mayuri roared through gritted teeth. As you wish. Lan Yan took a deep look at Kuratsuka Mayuri, and then spread out his fingers suddenly, with his palms facing upwards. Ryatsu, who was many times more powerful than when he was in the maggot nest just now, was like a hurricane passing through, raging on this plateau. Vent, roar. Boom. Kuratsuka Mayuri, who was standing next to her, couldn't even stand still. She was directly blasted dozens of meters away by the Ryatsu hurricane that swept in from close range, and hit her head on a raised boulder. Then the whole person seemed to be embedded in it being pressed so hard that he could not move. What's going on with this Ryatsu? Stop talking about Bankai. He hasn't even liberated Zanpakut yet. Kuratsuka Mayuri ignored the pain in her back and opened her eyes wide with all her strength. Horror continued to burst out from the depths of her pupils. Not yet liberating Zanpakut, Ryatsu has surpassed every Godi captain he has ever met. What about Bankai? Wouldn't Ryatsu alone be able to crush him to death? In the face of this kind of Ryatsu, does all wisdom and all science really have any meaning? At this moment, he couldn't help but ask himself. Click. Just when Kuratsuka Mayuri was in shock, Lan Yan waved his fingers, and the plateau beneath his feet instantly cracked. Huge cracks extended in all directions, instantly turning the land hundreds of meters in radius into a huge canyon abyss. Boom! Accompanied by the high-pitched dragon roar of soul society that shook the earth and shook the earth, billowing riots so it burst out from the cracked chasm, spewing out like magma and turning into a curtain of light that reached the sky. Immediately afterwards. One, two, three. A total of five glowed with dazzling golden light. The riot so a golden dragon, which was as huge as a mountain, rose from the ground blasting the already fragmented plateau land into pieces, and then dragged countless people with it. Rebels and huge dust pillars soared into the sky, entrenching themselves on the zenith, emitting riots so that distorted the atmosphere. Had S-99 five swirling dragons of destruction. Lan Yan's indifferent eyes casually looked at the tall mountains in the distance. With just a glance, the five riots so golden dragons entrenched on the zenith seemed to have received an order. They all chose to obey and immediately swung their twisted and atmospheric dragon bodies and swooped towards the towering mountains together. Then, five riots of golden dragons opened their mouths and bit on the high mountains at the same time. Boom! The golden light flashed, and the five dragons turned into sky-reaching riots of beams of light one after another. While rushing straight into the sky, they spread in all directions. Only after the mountains were submerged did they stop the pace of expansion. Immediately afterwards, he frantically vented his power to tear apart the sky and shatter the earth. Boom boom boom. Every second that passes, a burrowing riot so a storm spreads in all directions, hitting Kuratsuka Mayuri who is unable to move. Bang bang bang. In just a few seconds, the boulder behind Kuratsuka Mayuri was torn to pieces, and he was thrown hundreds of meters away, rolling on the ground like a ball. When he managed to stop his body and pulled his face up from the lowest in great embarrassment, what came into view was a majestic mushroom cloud. Looking down, 
I was horrified to find that the towering mountains just now had disappeared. There was only a large bottomless basin left, curled up beneath the mushroom cloud, shivering. Science! Is it the kind of thing that can be wiped out with a flick of your finger? Kuratsuka Mayuri stared blankly at the drastically changed terrain ahead, and the words Lanyan had just said to him in the maggot's nest emerged in his mind. He wanted to retort, but the godlike power of Kid in front of him made it impossible for him to squeeze even a single word out of his throat. Compared with Lan Yan power, the science he mastered was indeed something that could be wiped out with a flick of his finger. This is an undoubted fact. The most important thing is that this is just Kid, and it is Kid who has given up chanting. What about Kendo? Although he has been imprisoned in the maggot's nest, Kuratsuka Mayuri has also heard that before Lan Yan graduated from the Spiritual Arts Academy, he was able to pin Hiroko Shinji, who was the captain of the Godii at the time, to the wall in half a day just by using Kendo. Can't get off. What about White Hits? Although Lan Yan has rarely used it so far, he does not believe that the man in front of him will be biased. Not to mention Zan Pakut. That was the first Zan Pakut, the most powerful light and dark system in the history of Soul Society. Yes. After the incident at Kukaki's Hollow. The captain of Godi I-13, without Lan Yan deliberately concealing it, already knew that his Zan Pakut was not the strongest in the dark element as he had always believed, but the strongest in both the light and dark elements. With such Shinigami power in hand, if the combat power is fully activated, no matter how Kuratsuka Mayuri fantasizes and predicts at this time, she still cannot imagine how terrifying it will be. You should understand my power. What about your science? When will you let me also understand? Lan Yan turned around and looked down at Kuratsuka Mayuri several hundred meters away. The two looked at each other from afar. Sudden. Kuratsuka Mayuri moved his neck and slowly lowered his proud head. You, kid, are very happy that you pretended to be cool and didn't forget to bring him along, so he specially presents you with the latest kid masterpiece, the combination of had, had forbidden technique Amaterasu and had forbidden technique flame control. As Kuratsuka Mayuri lowered his proud head and admitted that all the knowledge he had learned at this stage and all the science he had mastered were just a snap of his fingers in front of Lan Yan, they would be wiped out. Kid who is well versed in the ways of the world, first time brings a gift. When Lan Yan harvested scientists like Kuratsuka Mayuri, he brought a set of combinations called Kid along with him. Had Forbidden Technique Amaterasu. Had Forbidden Technique Flame Control. Without exception, they are all Forbidden Technique. To this, Lan Yan was not surprised at all. All of my Kid products are indeed high quality products but they are also so high quality that every kid I create either violates soul society taboos or is extremely dangerous. It can only be used by him. If it were any other person, let alone using it in combat, even if it was practice, he would have died in the process of learning kid before he could practice it. How are you going to accommodate me? Captain Lan Yan. If I remember correctly, you are the captain of the 5th division, not the 12th division. You are not going to let me take charge of the rescue work, are you? Kuratsuka Mayuri seemed to adapt quickly to the change in mentality and identity. When he was in the maggot nest just now, he was still uttering arrogant words. Now he has even changed his name, and his shouting is very natural, without any force. Although I am not the captain of the 5th division, I can make you the captain of the 12th division if I want. As soon as Lan Yan said these words, Kuratsuka Mayuri was shocked. As for now, although the 5th Division is a rescue team, as a rescue team, it is very reasonable to research some technological products that can help rescue other divisions. What do you think? Vice Captain Kuratsuka Mayuri. He looked at Kuratsuka Mayuri, and the corners of his lips curved. Yes. At this stage, the person most suitable to serve as vice-captain is none other than Kuratsuka Mayuri. As for Matsumoto Rangiku and Ichimaru Jin, who are pregnant with the Soul King, 
they still need to be raised at the Spiritual Arts Academy for a year and a half. Unlike the Kuratsuka Mayuri in front of you, you can withdraw money in cash. This doesn't seem like what a Shinigami hero should say degree. Captain Lan Yan Kuratsuka Mayuri suppressed her inner shock and stared deeply at Lan Yan. At this moment, he realized that the man in front of him was not like him at all, nor was he what every Shinigami in Siridi I thought. I think I have never said that I am a Shinigami hero. Lan Yan thought about it carefully before speaking. What a dangerous man! Kuratsuka Mayuri shook her head and sighed. Although he is not as smart as Yura Harakisuk, but with Lan Yan's unabashed performance, he still doesn't understand the terror of the other party. Only a dangerous man like me will understand your value and will reuse you instead of putting you in the power of a maggot's nest forever. Isn't it? My vice captain. Lan Yan said word by word. I want to take back what I said before. Captain Lan Yan does not have such a thing as science in his mind, but he understands that science has its value because of my existence. Kuratsuka Mayuri grinned, with a hint of long repressed madness on her face. He has too many experiments he wants to do, he has too many things he wants to study, he has too many inventions he wants to delve into. Under the command of Lan Yan. Not only can he get what he wants, he can even touch areas that he did not dare or could not touch in the past without restraint. Yes. Lan Yan is not a Shinigami hero, but a dangerous man. This is what Kuratsuka Mayuri says, but so what? Could it be that being locked up in a nest of maggots, he is still a law-abiding and good citizen of Seoul society? He had no resistance or disgust at all about working under Lan Yan, but only expectations and excitement. That night, Aizen walked out of the first group, walking slowly and leisurely. Every Shinigami I met along the way seemed to be invisible to him. It was like a lonely soul wandering in Siridei, wandering around between different squads, until he passed Central 46, he stopped, and then stepped in. The Shinigami who were hidden around and under guard and surveillance around the clock seemed to have become blind collectively. No one saw him allowing him to enter and leave Central 46 unscrupulously. When Aizen came to the Central Lower Chamber, there was already a person sitting there, seemingly waiting for him. It's full and can no longer grow. Strength has reached a bottleneck. Just like Minos Grande, who does not have the potential to evolve into Vasto Lord, after reaching the bottleneck, there is no point in devouring more hollows. Lan Yan turned his chair looked at Aizen who was walking towards him, and slowly spread his right hand. Call out! In the dim room, a bead shimmering with dreamy luster flew towards Aizen. It's to be expected. It is nothing more than a defective product and a consumable item. The amount of spiritual power that can be contained is very limited. As for the horns of Minos Grande, they are just the material of the imaginary Shinigami. Ajichas is already at its peak. Aizen took the bead with one hand, and Ryatsu sensed that this small bead contained Maguru Makensei's Ryatsu. There was no look of surprise or loss on his face. In the final analysis, I made the horn Minos Grande and placed it in the 80 area. It was used to hunt souls and test the Shinigami transformation of the hollow. And this bead is just a container for storing Ryatsu, used to store the horn. The spiritual power obtained by Minos Grande devouring souls. Even if the horn Minos Grande is unfortunately killed by Shinigami and lost, it doesn't matter. Amir Maguru Makensei's Ryatsu is, at best, nothing more than a lunch for Hagyaku. With a hollow like this and a container like this, I can always make more. As he spoke, he took out a gem that shimmered with blue-black light from his pocket and then placed the beads handed over by Lan Yan onto Hagyaku. Tisk tisk. The beads immediately floated above Hagyaku, and then streams of light emerged crazily and poured into Hagyaku. No. It should be said that all the Ryatsu in the beads was absorbed by Hagyaku. His greatest value is not in collecting Maguru Makensei's Ryatsu. Lan Yan was not surprised when he saw this scene. Apparently. Whether it was Minos Grande, 
the horned man he met in the 80th ward, or the matter of Hagyaku, he knew everything. Indeed. A lucky person who holds the parts of the Soul King, a child who has the same innate talent as, Wang Zhao, to become the captain of the Godii. I went to the Spiritual Arts Academy to see them today. Yes, after a year and a half, they should be fully qualified to take on the role of vice-captain. Aizen chuckled and said chilling words. When I made the horned Minos Grande, in order to facilitate hunting and find some useful hollow materials, I specially strengthened his detection nerves and gave him extraordinary power over souls with powerful Shinigami spiritual power and Soul King fragments. Perception Judging from today's harvest, the effect is far better than I expected. In terms of talent, the two children you brought back will definitely be above Tosin Kaname in the future, especially Ichimaru Jin. I just don't know whether these two children are willing to become Siridei's vice-captain or become your brother's vice-captain. The captain is near. As he spoke, his right hand stroked the handle of Kaika Suijitsu's sword, which seemed to be an inadvertent movement. But Lan Yan knew that this was not accidental, but an external manifestation of the king's desire to eliminate a certain Shinigami. What color a piece of white paper will be painted depends on what kind of paint I want to use. Of course Lan Yan knew what he meant by forcing the king. If Matsumoto Rangiku and Ichimaru Jin want to become Siritei's vice-captains, then find an opportunity to kill them, if they want to become his vice-captains, then keep them. That's right. Aizen nodded in agreement, and after knowing that his brother knew what he was thinking, he ignored it. To put it bluntly, even if Ichimaru Jin and Matsumoto Rangiku would really rather be Siritei's vice-captains in the future, he would still have 10,000 ways to arrange them. What Matsumoto Rangiku holds in his body is not an ordinary Soul King fragment, but a complete Soul King component. It's the fingertips of the Spirit King. In other words, it allows the Hagyaku in your hand to evolve instantly. Coupled with the Soul King fragments obtained from the Kukaki family, I can't say it is perfect, but it is definitely close to the finished product. Lan Yan suddenly said, looking into Aizen's eyes. Aizen, don't you want it? He knew the character of King Bai. When he just mentioned Matsumoto Rangiku and Ichimaru Jin, he already knew that Aizen had murderous intentions for Matsumoto Rangiku. I want it. After all, it depends on whether you and I can break the boundaries of Shinigami. If I discover it, I will take away the fingertips of the Soul King from his body without hesitation. In my opinion, as a Shinigami, Matsumoto Rangiku itself does not have the value of being beyond the Soul King's fingertips, or holding the Soul King's fingertips. Her only role is to serve as a temporary container for the Soul King's parts, but now, she is your thing. Aizen didn't avoid it at all, and his eyes met Lan Yan's. He admitted that he wanted it very frankly, but he also admitted that compared with the relationship between them, even if it could allow Hagyaku to evolve to a near-finished Soul King's fingertips, it was nothing. No. It should be said that the two are not even qualified to compare. He has always believed that feelings are just a product fermented by hormones and time. They can be possessed, but their effect is limited to pleasing oneself, nothing more. When emotions become obstacles that hinder your progress, you must cut them off without hesitation. But before becoming Shinigami, when they were in District 80, they supported each other in their early days, and those years of being together continued to influence Aizen, and then changed his ideas. King Bai is still the king who wants to become a god and stand at the top of the sky. However, I had a slightly different idea. If standing on the top of the sky is based on damaging the relationship with Lan Yan, he would rather give up becoming a god. Brother, since you chose to keep Matsumoto Rangiku instead of taking out the Soul King's fingertips, you must be thoughtful. No matter what the reason is, I will allow her to continue to exist in Soul Society as Shinigami, even if she pays the price of passing by the Soul King's fingertips, but the premise is that she must be your vice-captain. Rather than being the vice-captain of Godi I-13, this is her only value. If she exists in a form that fails to live up to your expectations, 
I will erase her from the Siridei at all costs. Even the spirit child's form cannot be preserved. Aizen glanced at the Kaika Suijitsu in his hand without any trace from the corner of his eye. No, it should be said Demon Sword Muramasa. Advj, this is Lan Yan's birthday gift to him. It was also the first gift he received in Soul Society, and it was also one of the original intentions that prompted him to change his perception and attach great importance to his relationship with Lan Yan. For this reason, he did not hesitate to give up and let the Hgyaku in his hand go further, and he did not feel any regret. It's different from other fragments of the Soul King that are so broken. The parts of the Soul King that are becoming complete are capable of growth whether they give birth to self-awareness or fall into the hands of others. Don't you think that compared to a Hgyaku that takes time to hunt souls and needs to be carefully fed, a Hgyaku that has consciousness, thinking, and feelings is more interesting, has more evolutionary potential, and is more worry-free? Lan Yan leaned back gently on the chair and said meaningfully. I see. Is she your Hgyaku? Hearing this, Aizen thought of some unknown secrets about the Quincy that he had investigated in the past few days after becoming the deputy captain of the 1st Division. Thinking of this, a hint of understanding and intention flashed through his eyes under the framed mirror. Apparently. He already understood that the reason why Lan Yan kept Matsumoto Rangiku was to create another Hagyaku. It's just that the two have different views and forms of Hagyaku. The Hgyaku in Aizen's eyes exists in the form of a gem in his hand, controlled by his will. The Hgyaku in Lan Yan's eyes exists in the form of Matsumoto Rangiku, or Shinigami. The form of the gem is easy to control, but it lacks self-growth. Before it reaches the ideal level, it needs to be artificially fed with a large amount of soul and spiritual power, or even looking for other different Hgyaku, or Soul King fragments or even Soul King parts to feed the talent. Towards perfection. The form of Shinigami has the ability to grow on its own and can grow through practice. Just like Pinata Pakaja, Gerald Valkyrie and Lishbaro in the Knights of the Star Cross are parts of the Soul King. Transformation, through practice reached the height of crushing Godi I-13. In the former case, those who need to make Hgyaka worry a lot and have to feed it all the time, in the latter case, they can feed it without feeding it and let it grow naturally, or they can feed it from time to time to speed up its natural growth. Double Hgyaku Interesting. This method of making Hgyaku is in line with your personality. Aizen was quite happy. He originally planned to help Lan Yan make another one after making the Hgyaku in his hand. Not anymore. After learning that Lan Yan also had plans to create Hgyaku, he completely extinguished his desire to kill Matsumoto Rangiku. If it was out of respect and affection for Lan Yan that he chose to give up the Soul King's fingertips and let Matsumoto Rangiku survive at the beginning, then now he can allow the other party to continue to exist even if he puts aside his brotherly relationship with Lan Yan. Because in his eyes, Matsumoto Rangiku is no longer the fingertip holder of the Soul King, nor is he a waste of Soul King parts but another Hgyaku in itself. It's Lan Yan's Hgyaku. It just exists in the form of a Shinigami, not the form of a gem. At this time, Aizen also had an idea in his mind. That is to compete with his brother to see who makes the more perfect Hgyaku. Is the Hgyaku in his hand better, or the Matsumoto Rangiku in Lan Yan's hand? Just like the two people competing against each other in the past. Not necessarily. It's just out of temporary curiosity. Will the seeds I randomly planted bloom? What kind of fruit can they bear? In fact, I don't even care. Compared to Hgyaku, I am more happy to hear what you just said to me. To be honest, Hgyaku and Spirit King parts are nothing to me. I have never taken these things seriously. Seeing the Forced King opening up his heart for the first time, Lan Yan also decided to confide in him. Even without Hgyaku and without Soul King parts, I am confident that I can break the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow. You can just think that I'm boasting. But if you fail, I will give you a hand and let you stand at the top. His tone was very calm, as if he was talking about something that could be done easily. 
even if this matter is to send the king to the sky with one hand. Take God's place. Why? Eisen's expression remained unchanged, but his deep eyes were slightly rippled. The kind that is invisible. Don't you think the answer lies within you? Lan Yan asked instead without answering. Um. Aizen looked a little confused. Why don't you allow Matsumoto Rangiku to exist in a form that lives up to my expectations? Lan Yan asked again. After hearing this, Aizen was slightly startled and seemed to realize that what he just said was not in line with his character and style. Thinking of this, he fell silent. After a while, he spoke again, but changed the topic to his own Hagyaku. Even after absorbing a Maguru Makensei's Ryatsu, Hagyaku still didn't show the power I expected. It requires more spiritual power, and at least dozens of Ryatsu vehicles are required to satisfy it, and then go further. Of course, the Spirit King fragments are also essential. Aizen glanced at the Hagyaku in his palm, then handed it over. What a glutton! Have all the Soul King fragments extracted from the Kukaki Jinling, Hibiki River and the Kukaki family been used up? Lan Yan reached out and took the Hagyaku, feeling the amazing power contained in this small gem. The two of them had planned so much before, and what they wanted was naturally not just a hollow feast at Kukaki's house. In addition to settling accounts with Kukaki Silver Bell, they also wanted the Soul King fragment. The Hagyaku in my hand is the product of the efforts and contributions of the entire Kukaki family. As the head of the Four Nobles, although Tsunaya Shiro was replaced in recent years, his heritage cannot be underestimated. Sound River Kukaki Silver Bell There is also the branch house of the Kukaki family. Yes. Among the Four Nobles, even the declining Shiba family has its own main house and branch house and the Kukaki family is no exception. And after a hollow feast not long ago. Except for Biakia Kukaki, as well as the judges and sages of the Kukaki family who have been working and living in Central 46 for a long time, the rest of the clan also has the fragments of the Soul King that the Kukaki family has collected and accumulated over the years. All were used by Lan Yan to make Hagyaku. Those with Soul King fragments will be given Soul King fragments, and those without Soul King fragments will use their own souls carrying the royal bloodline, and then use them to feed Hagyaku after the hollow experiment. The main thing is to maximize the value. It was with the help of the Kukaki family that the Hagyaku created by the two of them, even without the use of the Soul King's fingertips in Matsumoto Rangiku's body, still reached the level of a semi-finished product. Compared with the Hagyaku made by Yurahara Kisuke in the future, it is only better but not worse. This is just help from the Kukaki family, one of the four noble families. Biakia Kukaki still has it on him. He is Kukaki Jinling's favorite grandson. Without his knowledge, Kukaki Jinling frequently drops Soul King fragments on him. Aizen's eyes flashed with deep thought. Seems to be considering whether to feed Hagyaku with Biakia Kukaki. This knife is almost sharpened and ready for use. Lan Yan reminded. Really? The Kukaki Silver Bell has been raised for so many years, and it's almost ready. All we need to do is find an opportunity to use the power of the Demon Sword Muramasa to let Biakia Kukaki master the Bankai and then use it. It's a bit wasteful to simply feed Hagyaku. Upon hearing this, Aizen immediately gave up the idea of feeding Hagyaku with Biakia Kukaki. After all, whether it's collecting souls with the power of Shinigami or Soul King fragments, Soul Society has them all. There is no need to kill the goose to lay eggs. The two brothers have highly consistent views, and the main thing is not to waste. Of course, this is also based on the premise that Biakia Kukaki only has fragments of the Soul King in his body and does not have complete Soul King parts, otherwise Aizen would have taken action long ago. Then let's do the surgery with Tsunaya Shiro. It's time to settle this account. We can't let Kukaki Jinling wait down there alone for too long. Lan Yan's eyes flashed with a cold light. How could he forget the Tsunaya Shiro family? Kukaki Jinling, who only provided information, ended up with almost everyone feeding Hagyaku, 
everyone hollow experimenting, and almost annihilating the entire clan. As the mastermind who sent killers to attack him and Aizen, he certainly did not hesitate to make the other party's death worse. Should say. The script for the Tsunaya Shiro family has already been arranged. That's fine. Anyway, during this period of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, he was living with fear and worry every day. If we let him go on the road, I think he would be extremely happy to know about it. Aizen smiled happily after hearing this. It's just that his smile is exactly the same as Lan Yan's eyes. The coldness is biting. Fear and worry? Yes. As one of the masterminds of the attack on the Dormitory of Spiritual Arts Academy. After the hollow incident at Kukaki's house, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was briefly stunned, shocked, and disbelieving, but was replaced by fear, uneasiness, and worry for days. The fate of Kukaki Silver Bell was like the Sword of Damocles hanging above his head, making him live in anxiety and fear all the time. Although he was alive, he lived in fear and fear. Being drowned in such a sea of negative emotions all the time, no matter how determined you are, you will end up either crazy or destroyed. Tsunaya Shiro Residence Did those old guys from Central 46 say no again? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata sat on the main seat and glanced at Yamada Sainashuk in front of him. Sorry, Tokinata-sama. The sages and judges of Central 46 refuse you entry on the grounds that the Great Spirit Book Corridor is a restricted area of soul society. Wearing a white outfit and a white medical hat, Yamada Sainashuk, who looks like a doctor but more like an aristocrat, half knelt in front of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata and said helplessly. It happened once, it happened twice, it happened three times, already. How dare they? I am from the Tsunaya Shiro family. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata heard this and tried his best to suppress his anger. This is the third time that Central 46 has rejected his application to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor. According to the 46 Chambers, the Tsunaya Shiro family's duty is to manage and guard the Great Spirit Book Corridor, not to read. Besides, they said that only the patriarch and first heir of the Tsunaya Shiro family are eligible to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor and apply to read history. Yamada Kiyosuke's words made Tsunaya Shiro furious. First heir. During Tsunaya Shiro's time, his eyes became as ferocious as wild beasts, and his breathing became extremely heavy. Zero, please give me flowers zero. Originally, since the hollow feast at the Kukaki family, he had been living in fear of the Lan Yan brothers every day and every night. Now Central 46 refused him time and time again to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor, and the reasons were not just right. His vitals. It was no less than a severe kick to him who was already on the verge of madness. Very good. Then let's do it. Sudden. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata calmed down from his rage without any warning, and even had a smile on his face again. Lord Tokinata, do you really want to do this? According to the original plan, we still need at least a hundred years of accumulation. When Yamada Kiyoshinasuk heard this, his expression suddenly changed. Didn't you see what happened to Kukaki Jinling? Hollow's hollow, dead even the only surviving grandson has become Lan Yan's subordinate. Zero. What a hell. The dignified new patriarch of the Kukaki family has actually become the subordinate of a pariah. I don't want to end up like Kukaki Jinling. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's tone was as cold as frost, but when he talked about the fate of the Kukaki family, even after some time had passed, he still felt lingering fear. But... I have secretly investigated it countless times. I have entered the Kukaki Mansion under various names, been to the Palace of Confession, and joined the first team. Not to mention the evidence, I haven't even found ten pointing clues. All the facts prove to Lan Yan and Aizen that they have nothing to do with Hollow at all. Everything was done by Hibiki and Hiroko Shinji. Yamada Sainashuk hesitated for a moment and then said, Ha ha ha. If this happened to other people, I would believe it. But who is Kukaki Silver Bell? He single-handedly pushed the Kukaki family to the top of the nobility. 
No one cherishes feathers more than him. There are many ways to seek a higher realm, and there is no need to choose the hollow experiment, which has endless disasters. Tsunaya Tokinata laughed sadly. He has worked with Kukaki Jinling for many years, how could he not know the other person's character? The hollow experiment was a ticking time bomb. If it explodes, it will not only blow up yourself, but also the Kukaki family behind it. Rather than hollow, it would be better to collect Soul King fragments honestly. Although it takes a long time, it is safe, highly beneficial and has no future consequences. The most important thing is that the day Kukaki Silver Bell dies, the Kukaki family will be firmly at the head of the nobility. It is impossible to get involved in the hollow experiment. Maybe it's Xiongyi's revenge. Even if Kukaki Gingling did not participate in the hollow experiment, Hibiki cannot stop Hibiki from conducting it on his own. It's no secret that he always wanted to stand out and be proud of himself in the Kukaki family. Yamada Sanashuk still felt that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was scaring him. As a doctor, he even believed that Tsunaya Shiro, like Hiroko Shinji, suffered from paranoia of being persecuted by Lan Yan. Zhang He He's just an ordinary Shinigami who was lucky enough to get the Soul King fragment. Hollow experiment, is that the power that people can touch. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata still didn't believe Yamada Sanashuk when he saw him, and even wanted to persuade him. Tormented by the fear and uneasiness of the past few days, he immediately growled impatiently. Do as I say. It will be clear when the time comes whether it was my fault or yours. Understood? Yamada, Dean. Hearing the murderous intent in Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's words and knowing that the other party was completely 610 crazy, Yamada Sanashuk didn't say anything more, but stood up and walked out. Aizen, Aizen. I am not Kukaki Jinling. I will be solved by you so easily. If you're to blame, it's your fault for choosing him. If you choose Tsunaya Shiro first, maybe you brothers will have the last laugh. After all, in the eyes of Kukaki Jinling, I am a person who pursues power at all costs. Even if I get involved in Hollow, it will not be a surprise. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata whispered, his voice crazy and chilling. Pity. Soul Society has everything except if. With Yamada Sanashuk gone, no one knows. This night. What enveloped the Tsunaya Shiro family was not only night, but also blood. The next day. In a spacious hall with simple and elegant decoration and wooden pillars carved with mysterious reliefs, headed by the clan leader Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan, together with six clan elders, sat on the chairs in the center of the hall. Tokaiden, you said that you have to report to us something related to the life and death of the family, and both the clan leader and the patriarch must be present. Okay, now we're all here. Can we talk now? Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara sat in the main seat, looking down at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata who was standing in the hall. Clan Chief Long Yuan, Elders. I wonder if Tsunaya Shiro has no heir, will it be considered as the death of the family? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata lowered his head, with a sinister smile on his downturned face. Joke. Are you stupid because of being in solitary confinement? There are so many next-generation heirs of our Tsunaya Shiro family that we can line up from the hall to your door. Where is there no heir? You brought us all here just to say such ridiculous things. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, I think you haven't been locked up enough yet, and you want to taste the feeling of confinement again, right? After hearing what Tsunaya Shiro said, as the clan leader, before Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara could speak, the other elders had already spoken harshly. Nothing else. Just because Tsunaya Shiro is different from other nobles. Anyone from the main family can be the successor, and Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is no exception, but unfortunately he is at the bottom of the family. In other words, he had to wait until the end of the queue before it was his turn. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, is this what you want to say? Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara who was sitting in the main seat, was not angry, but suddenly felt inexplicable uneasiness. 
certainly. But that's not all. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata raised his head, revealing a face with a gloomy smile, and then raised his hand to clap. Click. The door opened in response, and then figures covered in black clothes appeared one after another, with only their eyes exposed in the air. They formed a group of two, each carrying a stretcher bed in their hands. There was a person lying on each bed, but they were all covered with blood-stained white cloth, and their faces could not be seen clearly. What do you mean? When Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan saw this scene, his uneasiness suddenly increased sharply, and he couldn't help but stand up from his seat. Clan leader, and all the elders. Can you please get out of your seats, get up and take a look. At that time, you will know why I said that Namade is on the verge of life and death. The corners of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's mouth raised a long and slanted arc, and his smile became more and more sinister. Upon hearing this, Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan and others hesitated for a moment, then stepped forward, each selected a stretcher bed, and then lifted off the blood-stained white cloth covering it. Ryu Anosuk. Saburo. West Garden. Yai Feng. Although only seven blood-stained white cloths were lifted, the faces of the corpses that came into view made all the senior officials, including Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara, change their expressions with horror. Because without exception, these people are the heirs of the Tsunaya Shiro family, and are also their sons, daughters, or nephews. Seeing their blood relatives dying in front of them, they stretched out their trembling palms and lifted off all the remaining blood-stained white cloth in one breath. Snap! There was a sound of heavy objects falling to the ground. Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan and other elders all collapsed on the ground. Facing this sudden feast of blood, seeing the corpses of almost all the heirs of the family placed in front of them, their majestic faces in the past were filled with only pain and grief. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, did you do this? After a while, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara suddenly turned his head, his eyes were like knives piercing Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's body, his eyes filled with boundless anger and murderous intent. If you are referring to them, it was indeed me who killed them. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, instead of being afraid, nodded happily, with a look of joy, pride, and even more joy on his face. You wanna die? Someone is coming. Tsunaya Tokinata will be executed immediately. One of the elders who lost his son roared angrily and ordered people to come in and execute Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. No, we can only let him die after being cut into pieces with a thousand cuts. Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan spoke one word after another, and the holy voice came out one by one from the gaps in his teeth. It doesn't matter. Whether it's steamed or boiled, there are so many successors buried with me. No, it should be said that the entire Tsunaya Shiro family is buried with me. It's worth it. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata raised his hands, as if he was ready to be captured, but his words shocked Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara, who was drowning in grief and anger. What do you mean? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata looked at Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara who was so proud and not worried about his fate at all, and a shadow suddenly fell over his heart. Now all the successors are dead, and I. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is the only successor. If you kill me, it will be equivalent to destroying the Tsunaya Shiro family with your own hands. Isn't my whole family buried with me? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata said calmly. 2.2 I thought you had some tricks up your sleeve. That's it. I am not talented. I am only over 300 years old this year. I dare not say anything else, but I can still have a few offspring in my lifetime. After hearing this, an elder immediately sneered. It's such a pity that you no longer have this ability. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata shook his head, and then called out the door. The Patriarch, and the Elders. Please allow me to introduce to you, this is Yamada Sainashuk, the director of the Shino Pharmacy Academy. Thanks to him. I can send the previous successors to hell in one go, and thanks to him, I can make you have no descendants. Looking at Yamada Sainashuk who walked in, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara and others didn't know why at first, 
but as Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata told him, they just stood up from the ground and collapsed on the ground again. Cold and heartfelt. Shock, anger and despair. Powerlessness and collapse. Fill their hearts. Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara's expression was gloomy. When he looked at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, he wanted to cut him into pieces, steam them first and then eat them, but in the end he could only bear it. Nothing else. Naturally, he didn't believe Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's statement that they had lost the ability to conceive offspring. But the doctors raised in the family, the doctors invited from Zhenyang Pharmacy Hospital, and even some team members called by the fourth team all came to the same conclusion. Destroyed by a special poison. From the clan chief to the elders, the tools of everyone at the top of the Tsunaya Shiro family can still be used, but they cannot give birth to offspring. Although there are deputy captains of the fourth division who are more skilled in medical skills, and even Anohana Yazanryu, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara does not dare to invite them. This is a scandal and secret related to the Tsunaya Shiro family. How can it be leaked? Whether it's the doctors at the Genua Pharmacy Hospital or the members of the 4th Division, they can shut him up forever, but once they call in Anohana Yazanryu, if they can cure it, that's fine, but if not, what will happen? Why are you doing this? Although you are the last among the successors, the family treats you well. Even if Kirako Shunsui went to Central 46 to accuse you, we still chose to keep you alive. Is this how you repay us? Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara took deep breaths several times before resisting the urge to cut Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata into pieces with a thousand knives. Of course I'm 03 grateful to you, otherwise I wouldn't just kill your whole family and make you extinct, but let you live well. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata made a surprising statement. As for why we did this, if you want to blame, just blame the brothers Lan Yansuk and Aizensuk. Seeing that the overall situation has been decided, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata no longer hides it, but tells how he joined forces with Kukaki Jinling, failed to assassinate the Lan Yan brothers, and everything that happened after that, Dora. What? You said the Kukaki family was destroyed by the Lan Yan brothers? That's simply ridiculous. Okay, even if what you said is true, you just want to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor, why don't you tell us? As for committing this unforgivable crime. After learning the reason for Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's rebellion, the clan leaders and elders present were so angry that they almost vomited blood. That's it. Because of their suspicion of the Lan Yan brothers and fear of revenge, they killed their entire family. This reason for rebellion is really hard to guard against. In their opinion, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata only needed to report to the family, and then the clan leader would go to the Great Spirit Book Corridor, and the truth would be clear. After all, the Great Soul Scroll Corridor has nothing to do with Shinigami's will. It is a compulsory collection and recording of all Soul Society's data and information. There is no possibility of artificial fraud. This is precisely the case, so the Great Spirit Book Corridor is an absolutely forbidden area for Siridei, and its importance is even higher than that of Central 46. Even the head of the Tsunaya Shiro family, who is responsible for managing the Great Soul Scroll Corridor, must first notify Room 46 and obtain approval before he can enter to browse the information. But in the eyes of Tsunaya Shiro Longyuan and others, it is not a rebellion. Brother Lan Yan is just one of the reasons. It was my plan to kill all the heirs. Now it's just that the time has been advanced by a hundred years. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's words made the clan leader and elders want to skin him alive, but they couldn't do it. Once this is done, hundreds of years later, the Tsunaya Shiro family will truly become extinct. This is also the reason why Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is confident. For nobles, especially the four major nobles, inheritance is more important than anything else, and personal honor and disgrace are not worth mentioning at all. Especially since there was a precedent for the decline of the Sheba family. An hour later, the news that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata became the first successor spread in Tsunaya Shiro's main family and branch house. 
but no one knew about the murder of the successors and the poisoning of the clan leaders and elders. In order to avoid attracting the attention of the Godi I-13, and even other nobles, the top leaders of the Tsunia Shiro family chose to keep everything secret. Get the identity you want. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata did not choose to live in a state of intoxication and enjoy the rights brought by his status as the sole successor. Instead, he immediately submitted an application to Central 46 again to enter the Great Official Script Corridor. With the change of identity, the reply I got this time was no longer rejection, but permission. Lan Yan. Aizen. After all, I, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, won this round. After learning from Yamada Kiyonosuk that Central 46 allowed him to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata could no longer suppress the ecstasy in his heart and laughed wildly. This moment. The fear, uneasiness, worry, and even despair that had troubled him for many days were all gone. When Yamada Sainashuk on the side saw this scene, instead of being happy, he felt inexplicably worried. If he entered the Great Spirit Book Corridor and discovered that the Lan Yan brothers had nothing to do with the hollow incident of the Kukaki family, he couldn't imagine what kind of expression Tsunia Shiro Tokinata would have, and he would probably go crazy. Besides, a hundred years in advance, the assassination of the heir seemed like a lucky success, but in fact it was extremely risky. According to the original plan, he lay dormant for a hundred years and accumulated enough power to overthrow the top leaders of Tsunia Shiro before taking action. But what now? The hasty action and the dangerous movement of the troops have indeed succeeded, but Yamada Kiyonosuk knows that all this is temporary and will have endless consequences. Because Tsunia Shiro Tokinata did not have enough power to fight against the top leaders of the Tsunia Shiro family. After the matter calmed down, the clan leaders and elders calmed down, and after finding drugs or methods to treat sterilization, they waited for Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, and there was only one end for him. Worse than death. Sena Shuk, go and inform Mr. Genry Yusai. Tell him to go to the Great Spiritual Book Corridor quickly. In front of him, I want to reveal with my own hands the true identity of Lan Yansuk, whom he regarded as the Shinigami hero, and his favorite disciple, Aizensuk. I want to see with my own eyes how he killed his relatives with righteousness. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata doesn't care what Yamada Kiyonosuk thinks. At this time, he was immersed in the joy of having great power and being superior to the Lan Yan brothers. Yes. In addition to Kirako Shunsui, Jaishur Yukatake, and Amagai Suosuk's father, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata was also a disciple of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. However, after the murder of Tosin Kaname's best friend, Tsunia Shiro Yudamaro, he was reported to Central 46 by Kirako Shunsui. Not only was he put under house arrest, but he was even sent out by Yamamoto Genryon Agasishij. This also made him hate the Lan Yan brothers who were valued and loved by Yamamoto Genrisai. Lord Tokinata, don't you want to confirm the truth of the matter? What if after entering the Great Spiritual Book Corridor, it is finally discovered that Brother Lan Yan has nothing to do with the hollow experiment that occurred in the Kukaki family? How are you going to explain it to Captain Yamamoto then? Also, the clan leaders and elders will have even greater opinions on you after learning about it. After seeing Tsunia Shiro Tokinata being so impatient and rash, and no longer as calm and forbearing as he thought, Yamada couldn't help but for the first time had the idea of regretting cooperating with him. In his opinion, even if Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni was to be used to deal with the Lan Yan brothers, it would have to be based on the premise of having definite evidence. What now? Even before he went to the Great Soul Book Corridor, and the outcome was still unknown, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata had already put on the face of being the final winner and asked him to go and meet Yamamoto Genryon Agasishij. This rash and arrogant performance made him more resistant and dissatisfied. Are you questioning me? Yamada, Sainashuk Faced with the question raised by Yamada Sainashuk, the powerful Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, who had already become the first successor of Tsunia Shiro, suddenly turned his head, 
and his long and slanted eyes revealed a chilling murderous intention. Before, when he launched a rebellion and killed all the heirs of the Tsunia Shiro family, he still called Yamada Sanashuk the Dean, showing full respect and courtesy. But now, with the fear of the past few days, coupled with the depression and madness of a hundred years of house arrest, and after his success, he no longer has the courtesy and politeness of the past. No. Don't dare. The moment Yamada Kiyonosuke and Tsunia Shiro Tokinata looked at each other, they felt a chill run through their bodies. It was like being stared at by a lion majesty poking out of the grass. At this moment, he just woke up and couldn't help but laugh to himself in his heart. Is this nobility? Really? Knowing too much, the value of use plummets, and the identity changes. There is no going back. If you don't dare, then go quickly. Don't forget, you and I are in the same boat. If I collapse, you won't be able to escape. Only by defeating Brother Lan Yan can you and I have a good life. Do you understand? Tsunia Shiro Tokinata took a deep breath, suppressed the killing intent that filled his eyes, and a sinister smile appeared on his face again. I don't know if he realized that he was losing his temper, or if he felt that Yamada Sanashuk was still useful. One second he was murderous, and the next second he was full of smiles. This huge change made Yamada Sanashuk feel intensely frightened. But there is no turning back when the bow is drawn. At this time, even if he saw the true nature of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, he could only go on bravely. Yes, I will inform the captain right now. Yamada Sanashuk suppressed the chill that lingered in his heart, turned around and retreated. As he was leaving, he didn't notice that when Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, who was still smiling just now, looked at his back, his eyes showed cold murderous intent again. Are you disobeying me? Who do you think you are? You're just a pariah. If there wasn't a place where you could be used, I would have killed you long ago. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata watched Yamada Sanashuk leave, until his back disappeared from sight, he murmured, then flicked his sleeves, turned and walked towards Central 46. The most urgent task is to cut off the Lan Yan Shiji sword hanging above his head. As long as the brothers were alive, he would have trouble sleeping and eating. In order not to alarm anyone, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata chose to travel lightly, and even hid his whereabouts. It was not until he entered the 46th room that he returned to his swagger. Apparently. In his opinion, since he stepped into Central 46, his safety has been guaranteed, and at the same time, Brother Lan Yan has also entered the countdown to death. With permission from Central 46, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata was not hindered by the Shinigami hiding around him, and traveled unhindered. He first passed through the Central Underground Council Hall, and then walked directly under the Central Underground Council Hall under the watchful eyes of Sing Jun in the dark and the gatekeepers sent by the Tsunia Shiro family who had been stationed here for generations. After passing through the technological gates filled with kid, the originally dim sight suddenly became brighter, and the space in front of me suddenly changed from narrow to extremely spacious. It is clearly underground in Central 46 but the great spiritual book corridor is extremely huge. It is like an underground palace. It is surrounded by huge bookshelves that reach into the sky. Countless books are placed inside. It is the history and information of soul society. In the center of the great spirit book corridor, stands an instrument similar to a central control computer station, used for searching, retrieving, and reviewing history and information. Retrieve all information about Lan Yansuk and Aizen Suk. It was also the first time for Tsunia Shiro Tokinata to come here, and he couldn't help but be shocked by the vast database in front of him. Facing the great spiritual book corridor, he felt like he was facing the history of soul society, and he was deeply shocked. However, after thinking about the purpose of this trip, I forcibly pulled my mind out of this vast sea of history and then walked quickly to the hollow computer station. As the first successor of Tsunia Shiro, he naturally knows how to operate. Call out. Two books placed in a corner of the bookshelf suddenly disappeared, 
and the next second they appeared out of thin air in front of the hollow computer table. With the books open, pictures emerge one by one, like an immersive 3D movie. All the deeds that Brother Lan Yan has done since he came to Soul Society are all played in the form of a movie. Found it. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was so excited that he couldn't help but sit on his chair and carefully watched the past of Brother Lan Yan. At first, he watched with great interest, like God's vision, looking down. But gradually, after Brother Lan Yan enrolled in the Spiritual Arts Academy and started making history, his expression gradually became solemn. Enrolled in the first class as the strongest genius in the Spiritual Arts Academy in 2000, without sealing the state, mastered Zan Pakut, severely defeated Hiroko Shinji with only swordsmanship, and then took five days of classes. He has mastered all the Shinigami skills required to go to the Spiritual Arts Academy. Graduated in January, crushed Hiroko Shinji at the front gate of the 5th Division, and defeated the first generation Kenpeki Anohana 8000 with Kendo. Just seeing this, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was already shocked beyond measure. As the screen rotated, I came to the meeting hall of the first team and witnessed the Lan Yan brothers planning everything, playing with Captain Godii in the palm of their hands, suppressing dozens of Captain Godii's Zanpakut with a snap of their fingers, and then bombarding them at the execution site. Hibikiwa, and Kukiki's Hollows Feast, etc. With God's vision, after witnessing everything Brother Lan Yan did, his first reaction was not the elation after knowing everything, or the ecstasy of having grasped Brother Lan Yan's weakness, but felt an unprecedented chill. Flowing throughout the body. Feeling cold all over the body. Creepy. Asterisk they really did it. Lan Yan. Aizen. How dare these two people? Godi I-13, no, the entire Siridi I has become a plaything in the hands of their brothers. From the captain, the four nobles, to the Godi I captain and the chief officer, they all live in the false world spun by these brothers, Li De Zhao. Those who doubt are worse than death, those who have no doubts live in an illusion. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata slumped in a chair, his face as white as paper, his eyes dull, and he kept mumbling to himself. He prides himself on being a man of ruthless means and deep knowledge, otherwise he would not be able to seize the throne as the last successor of Tsunaya Shiro, and he succeeded in the end. But after looking at the information about the Lan Yan brothers entering Siridei, he felt that the methods he was proud of were just like clowns. The strongest Shinigami in a thousand years, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni has been fooled to this day. Maguru Makensei, Torobashi RJR and other Godii captains were manipulated and mistook enemies for friends. Zionghi and Hiroko Shinji are already dead, and they still have to bear everything. Kukaki Silver Bell, and the tragedy of the Kukaki family. Everything everything. Even if he only watched it with God's vision, it still made him feel immersed in the scene, making his bones run cold and his hair stand on end. Lan Yan if you don't die, I won't feel at ease. Lan Yan Suk. Aizen Suk. I won't feel at ease until you die. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata sat slumped powerlessly, as if he was too frightened. His pale face was covered with fine beads of sweat, and his back was dripping with sweat. His clothes had already been wet, but he didn't notice it at all. He murmured, repeating these words over and over again. Sudden. From the corner of his eye, he noticed that the picture of the book he opened in front of him suddenly changed, switching to a very familiar scene. At a quick glance, he seemed to have seen it somewhere. After taking a closer look, his eyes suddenly shrunk to the size of pinholes. He, who was originally stretched out on the chair like a soft-skinned snake, jumped up from the chair with excitement like a cat whose tail was stepped on. This is the central underground assembly hall. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata stared at the scene in front of him. How could he not recognize it? He just passed by the upper level before entering the great spiritual book corridor. Central underground meeting hall. Seeing Brother Lan Yan so close to him, even though it was only recorded in the corridor of the great spiritual book, 
it still gave him the illusion that Brother Lan Yan was right next to him. Just when he was trying his best to suppress this restless feeling, he suddenly heard the conversation between the two people in the picture. It's time to settle this account. If we let him go on the road, I think he would be extremely happy to know about it. Seeing this scene, the picture suddenly stopped and the sound stopped abruptly. It seems that the later history and further intelligence are still being recorded, and no picture is generated. However, before the picture and sound disappeared, the last conversation between the Lan Yan brothers had made Tsunia Shiroto Kainata's whole body tremble and his heart skip a beat. No. Aizen's Zanpakuta's ability is that of Kaika Suijitsu, the strongest illusionist, no, not anymore. Lan Yan took Muramasa from Xiangyi and gave it to Aizen. After pouring the soul essence into it, he evolved into the demon sword Muramasa, and also evolved with Kaika Suijitsu. Although I haven't seen him Shikai, but since he has targeted me, is it possible that I am like Hibiki, Hiroko Shinji, and Kukaki Gingling? who have been being watched without knowing it. They want to deal with me, and they also know that I have been living in fear. Does that mean everything I do now is seen by them? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata couldn't help but swallow his saliva, and then stepped on his feet, his body kept turning on the spot, his neck kept twisting, his eyes wildly captured everything in the corridor of the Great Soul Book, as if he was afraid that Brother Lan Yan was next to him. No. The Tsunaya Shiro family rarely walks around Siridei because they are responsible for managing the Great Spirit Book Corridor. They even rarely go to Godi 13. Almost no one in the whole clan has seen the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu. It is impossible for Brother Lan Yan to sneak into the Tsunaya Shiro family silently and spy on me. Also, their brothers are only humans, not gods. It is impossible for them to have perfect plans and it is even more impossible to know out of thin air that I launched a coup last night, killed all the successors, seized the identity of the first successor, and had the opportunity to enter the Great Spirit. The qualifications of the book corridor, and prepare to deal with them today. Suddenly, a light flashed in Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's mind. Combined with the information he watched about the Lan Yan brothers, he found that he had not been in contact with the other party, which meant that it was impossible to hit Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis. Then, even if Brother Lan Yan wants to deal with him, he will not act so fast. What he has to do is to take the lead before the Lan Yan brothers take action and make everything about them public. By then, Yamamoto, Genri Yusai Shigakuni, and even the furious Godi I-13 will deal with the two of them. Think of this. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata let out a long breath and his sweaty face showed an expression of relief. Are you looking for us? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. No, you should be called the young patriarch of Gurde. Cemetery. A voice sounded in Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's ears. The voice was not loud and the tone was not, Advj, serious, but when it fell on his ears it was like thunder on the ground, making the blood boil in his chest and his heart almost stopped. Hallucination. Must be an illusion. The reason is too much pressure. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata turned his stiff neck and chased the direction from which the sound came. What he saw were not only the huge bookshelves reaching into the sky and countless books, but also the huge Great Spirit Book Corridor. There is no one else but him. Seeing this, he gradually let go of his worries, thinking that he accidentally pressed a button on the central computer station thus triggering the sound. No, maybe it's not an illusion. Look at it more clearly. Chief of the Tokinata clan. A different voice sounded again. Come out. I know you're there. I recognize your voices. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata turned around suddenly, pulled out Zanpaka with his right hand, and stared at the source of the sound with a ferocious expression. Lan Yan Suk. Aizensuk. Come out. Come out. Come out. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata roared again and again, and burst out dozens of riotsu with fists all over his body. He looked like he was going to destroy everything if you don't come out. At this time. Click. 
he suddenly heard a sound like breaking glass in his ears, and then he discovered that cracks appeared on the picture in his sight, like a cracked mirror. The cracks immediately disappeared, as if they had never appeared before. Immediately afterwards. In the corridor of the great spiritual book, two more figures have appeared. One person was leaning against the bookshelf, looking at him with interest. One person put his hands in his pockets and looked at him with a chuckle. It's really you. Tsunaya Shiroto Kainata's voice suddenly became extremely sharp, faintly revealing uneasiness and fear. Even if he was holding Zanpakut, which had been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunaya Shiro family, it still couldn't give him much sense of security. We were right. Long time no see, young clan leader Shiten. Lan Yan leaned lightly on the bookshelf and said hello to Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Unlike the other party's excited and manic look, his face was filled with a happy smile. Impossible. When did you get here? Why don't I know anything? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata and Lan Yan looked at each other, as if being stared at by a savage beast, their bodies tensed, and then their feet moved back unconsciously. Before. When Brother Lan Yan was admitted to the Spiritual Arts Academy, when he faced them, he still had the confidence and arrogance to be condescending and could touch them to death with a snap of his fingers. Now. Through the records in the corridor of the Great Spiritual Book, he learned everything about the Lan Yan brothers after they entered Siridei, learned about their methods, and deeply understood their power. After that, he did not feel like facing a powerful enemy, but was terrified. Even if Lan Yan just greeted him casually, it still made him feel uneasy and like he was facing a formidable enemy. We've always been here. From the time you walked into the great spiritual book corridor, retrieved Aizen and Eyes information, and watched our past. We are on the side, just like you, appreciating and reminiscing about this historical feast. Seeing Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's retreating behavior, Lan Yan's eyes under the framed mirror couldn't help but flash a smile. Impossible. Without Central 46's permission, even Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni wouldn't have been able to come here. There is also the gatekeeper of the Tsunaya Shiro family stationed at the door. After Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata heard this, he subconsciously didn't believe it. Didn't you already see it? I have seen it through the history and information recorded in the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Whether it is the Central Underground Assembly Hall or the Great Lingxia Corridor, for us, it is no different than returning to our own home. Seeing that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was still deceiving himself, Lan Yan couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. No you lied to me. I've only met you for the first time, so there's no way I've seen the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu. Whether you have been following me or been in the great spiritual book corridor, there is no way I wouldn't know about it. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata roared again and again, as if only anger could cover up the fear filling his heart. Then I'm asking you again. Since when did you have the illusion that you have never seen the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu? The young clan leader Shitten. Hearing this, Aizen still had a smile on his face, but his eyes revealed a hint of cold oppression. Don't interfere with my judgment. Aizen Suk. Since you know that I know everything about you through the Great Spirit Book Corridor, you should know that I have a certain understanding of Kaika Suijitsu's ability. This sword is indeed terrifying, but its terror is based on seeing the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu. Premise. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata recalled it in his mind. He had never seen the Lan Yan brothers, so it was naturally impossible for him to have seen the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu. Yes, the Great Spirit Book Corridor has given you a certain understanding of Kaika Suijitsu, but it only just understands Kaika Suijitsu. You know nothing about my, Aizensuk's personal abilities. Even with the Great Spirit Book Corridor as a reference, you are still so ignorant and your vision is still so short-sighted and ridiculous. Aizen was also amused by Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. You said you haven't seen me or the liberation of Kaika Suijitsu. Is it possible that you think you haven't seen it? Is it possible that what you think you know is itself an illusion that I weaved for you? To tell you the truth, as long as I am willing, 
I have 10,000 ways to make you fall into Kaika Suijutsu's complete hypnosis without you noticing. Chief Tokinata, you don't think that the conditions for the so-called hypnosis ceremony must be based on me appearing in front of you, being seen by you, holding the Zanpakut, the tip of the knife facing down, and shouting break it apart, Kaika Suijutsu, only then can I use Kaika Suijutsu on you to achieve the conditions for sleeping, right? That complicated ritual, do you think it's possible that I did it deliberately to record it in the Great Spirit Book Corridor so that everyone who sees it will have the same understanding of Kaika Suijutsu's hypnosis as you do? Aizen said as he pulled out Zan Pakut. This action immediately aroused Tsunaya Shiroto Kainata's high vigilance. He glanced around with the corner of his eyes. Ryatsu was fully aware, fearing that another Aizen would suddenly appear next to him and then stab him. Don't be nervous, I just want to ask you, am I using Kaika Suijutsu now? See this. The smile in Aizen's eyes grew stronger. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata did not answer, but was vigilantly guarding everything around him. If you don't answer, I'll take it as acknowledgement that I'm useless Kaika Suijutsu. Aizen smiled. Poof. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata twitched all over then lowered his head and looked at the bloody knife tip emerging from his abdomen in disbelief. When he looked up to where Aizen was standing just now and found that he was still standing there. Then he looked back behind him and found that there was another Aizen. When you enter the great spiritual book corridor. No. It should be said that when you ordered Yamada Sainashuk to assassinate other heirs. Aizen said, then corrected himself. What? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's expression suddenly changed, and strong shock swept through his heart he even forgot the pain of being penetrated by the blade for ten times. He subconsciously wanted to deny it, but the corner of his eye glanced at Lan Yan in the distance. After taking in the other person's teasing gaze, he felt a bang in his head. Only then did I realize something. Long time no see, young clan leader Shitan. At this time, Lan Yan suddenly spoke and said such a sentence, which shocked Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata to the point of turning pale with horror. Are you thinking about what I just said to you? Should be. Zero request flowers zero. Your expression tells me that you finally reacted and noticed the way I greeted you and addressed you. Aizen looked at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata with a half smile. Young patriarch. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata murmured his body trembling slightly, as if he had been hit hard. He just launched a coup last night, killed all the successors with the help of Yamada Sainashuk, and became the young patriarch of the Tsunaya Shiro family just an hour ago. Nowadays, not many people in Siridei know about this matter. In other words, yes. As you think. Since last night, we have been at Tsunaya Shiro's residence, right next to you, enjoying the drama of fratricide led by you. Lan Yan nodded happily and said something shocking again, frightening Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata until his face turned pale and he was frightened. He he he. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata suddenly smiled. The deep voice, in addition to revealing fear and uneasiness, was more self-deprecating. Fortunately, he thought that he was doing things perfectly and could even beat the Lan Yan brothers in a round. He never thought that every move he made was seen by the other party from beginning to end, and he was watching right next to him, but he didn't notice it. You win this round. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata smiled bitterly for a moment, but suddenly raised his head, and the bitter smile on his face instantly turned into a sinister smile. But winning wasn't complete enough. At some point, his hand had grasped the tip of the Kaika Suijutsu knife that emerged from his abdomen, and black mist rose up. Um. Aizen's expression behind him changed slightly, as if he noticed something. You're still careless, Ran. No, it should be said that you are not careless. After all, how could you two untouchables from Rukonga know that the Zanpaka in my hand is passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunaya Shiro family, let alone the power of this Zanpaka? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata held Zanpaka tightly with his hands shrouded in black mist. At the same time, he turned his head and neck, 
turned his head and looked sideways, and looked at Aizen behind him. This knife is very useful, but it is also very dangerous. There have been many generations of clan leaders who have not held it, so no one will know about his ability. Do you know? The only thing you did wrong was letting me enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor, read your information, and know your abilities. Drinking from the Four Seas, occupying the end of the world, all things are covered, overwriting and cutting, and the mirror is beautiful. Drinking from the Four Seas, occupying the ends of the world, all things are covered, overwriting and cutting, and the mirror is beautiful. As Tsunia Shiro Tokinata shouted out the Emancipation language and Inora Kagami's name, the Zanpakut blade in his hand immediately disappeared, leaving only the handle. At the same time, he grabbed the palm of Aizen's blade, and originally he just released a curl of black mist, but now it was like opening a floodgate. A large amount of black smoke surged out, not only wrapping Aizen's kaika suijutsu, but even Aizen himself was also covered in a deep covered in black mist. This is... Trapped in darkness, Aizen looked shocked as he felt his Zanpakut being suppressed. Kaika Suijutsu's abilities cannot be used. The ability of Demon Sword Muramasa cannot be used either. Be it Chikai, or Bankai. Your brother's Zanpakut is so useful. Soul Society's First Light and Dark 560 Series Zanpakut and it is the strongest one. Even the demon swords Muramasa and Kaika Suijutsu, the strongest pair of illusion-type swords, can completely seal it. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata grabbed Kaika Suijutsu with one hand and tightly sealed Aizen's Zanpakut ability, making it impossible for Shikai and Bankai to use it. At the same time, he aimed at his heart. Laser Light As the golden light flashed at his fingertips, a laser beam shot out, first piercing his left chest, and then Zanpakut was caught behind his back. Both his body and Zanpakut's abilities were suppressed by the darkness, and Aizen's heart skipped a beat as he could hardly move. And throughout. Poof. Aizen's body trembled, a mouth full of blood mist spurted out from his mouth, and the blood on his face quickly disappeared. When Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata dispersed the surrounding darkness, he had already fallen to the ground. The left chest that was penetrated was like a spring, with blood spraying out from the wound, quickly covering the central computer station. Die it blood red. Can't you think of it? I will die under the Zanpakut of my most beloved brother. Aizen Suk. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata looked down at Aizen, who was lying at his feet, and the corners of his mouth slowly lengthened, revealing a sinister smile. You, your knife. His heart was penetrated, and Aizen's speech became sporadic. He exhausted all his strength and just managed to squeeze out a few words. My sword? Do you mean Yan Luo Jing Dian? Aizen, you are so smart, you should know after seeing it once. This is Soul Society's oldest Zan Pakut, which is older than Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni's region Jaka. N. The ability is just like what you have experienced. It can imitate all the Zanpakut abilities I know, your brother's Tokage, your Kaika Suijutsu, and even Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni's Region Jaka. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata seemed very satisfied with Aizen's current expression. He said triumphantly in a victor's tone. So, you can die in peace. Say it. He raised his right foot and aimed at the wound on Aizen's left chest and stepped hard until the dying Aizen completely died and could no longer feel the presence of Ryatsu, and then he stopped with satisfaction. I watched my brother die in front of me, but I couldn't do anything. Especially if you die under your own power. How does this feel? After dealing with Aizen, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata turned to look at Lan Yan standing under the bookshelf in the distance. He reached out to touch his pierced abdomen in a provocative manner. The blood immediately turned into Ying Ying Ryatsu a golden light, and the abdominal wound that was originally penetrated by Kaika Suijutsu has healed again. Elementalize. It also uses the ability of Lan Yan Zan Pakut. I can't hear your answer. Lan Yan Suk. What? Didn't you expect that I could come back? 
Didn't you expect that the ending would be like this? Didn't expect that your brother would die in my hands. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata didn't hear Lan Yan's voice, nor was he angry. Instead, he pressed forward step by step, constantly provoking, taunting, and cursing wantonly, as if he was trying to overcome the fear and uneasiness that the brothers in front of him had inflicted on him in the past few days. Return it tenfold. There are so many things you don't expect. Two mere untouchables actually want to ride on my head. So what if you have Godi I-13 under your control? A pariah will always be a pariah. Your short-sighted vision cannot see the vast history of soul society at all. Just like you won't see at all, the Zanpaka you are so proud of will eventually become the sharp blade I used to kill your brother. Sunaya Shiro Tokinata's tone became more and more arrogant, and his voice became higher and higher, as if he had already trampled the Lan Yan brothers, no the entire soul society under his feet. Are you done? Lan Yan looked at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata quietly, without interrupting his roar, without interrupting his roar, and allowed him to show off his pride and arrogance. It was only after the other party calmed down that he replied calmly. Um. When Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata saw Lan Yan, his eyes were calm and his face was calm, as if the person who died under his sword was not his brother. This ultimate calmness, this frighteningly calm reaction made the maniacal laughter on his lips freeze. Lan Yan's reaction was completely different from what he expected. In his opinion, the man in front of him should be stunned, shocked, disbelieving, and then angry. As your last words. If you have anything else to explain, I can extend your grace for a few more seconds. Consider it a reward for your efforts to please me before you die. Lan Yan said calmly. Yet. Yeah. It seems that I still underestimated you, Lan Yan Suk. You can still be so calm after witnessing the tragic death of your brother, but that's right, there's nothing to be sad about. After all, you will be reunited in hell soon. Sunaya Shiro Tokinata put away the smile on his face, and instead showed a cold expression and ferocious eyes. He didn't like Lan Yan's calm performance that even made him feel a little scared. He just likes the other person to look like Aizen lying in a pool of blood at his feet, with an expression of shock and despair, and then die under his knife. Torch Suddenly, a tornado of extremely blazing flames rose from the ground beneath Lan Yan's feet. There was no warning, it appeared suddenly and very quickly. Lan Yan didn't even have time to react before his whole body was submerged in rolling flames reaching thousands of degrees. There wasn't even a chance to scream. I already told you, I can imitate both Kaika Suijitsu and Rijin Jaka. Oh. By the way, blame me. I actually forgot to tell you that Yan Luo Jing Dian can not only imitate all Zan Pakutes abilities, but can also use several Zan Pakutes abilities at once continue. Use. I'm so sorry that you, the strongest genius in Soul Society for thousands of years, died in such a confused manner at the hands of Kaika Suijitsu and Rijin Jaka. Behind the flame tornado that swallowed Lan Yan, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata slowly walked out, holding a Zanpakut spurting out blazing flames. It is Rijin Jaka of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. No. It should be Kaika Suijitsu plus Rijin Jaka. You know? I can say that I am extremely grateful to you brothers. As my elder brother, you, Lan Yansuk, gave me a candle with the strongest light and dark element. As my younger brother, you, Aizensuk, taught me how to use Kaika Suijitsu step by step before you died. Thank you for taking care of me, but I really have no way to repay you, so I have to let both of you brothers, die without any body parts. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata glanced at the central control computer table and fell in a pool of blood. The corpse of Aizen, which had long lost Ryatsuo and breathing, slashed with his backhand, and flames raged out, burning his corpse. Aizen, died under the shadow of a candle. Lan Yan, died under the combined sword of Kaika Suijitsuo and Rijin Jaka. After seeing this scene and doing all this, he felt that the haze that had been lingering in his mind for the past few days had completely dissipated. Holding Zan Pakut, 
the strongest light and dark element, you have the ability to turn elements into flashes and are immune to all physical attacks. I know this very well. But it's useless. Under Kaika Suijutsu's complete hypnosis, you don't even have a chance to react, in front of Rijin Jaka, the strongest heat type, your elementalization is meaningless. I didn't expect it. You brothers worked so hard, but in the end you only won the first half of the game. I was the one who had the last laugh. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata 03 Turning his head and taking a deep look at the tornado fire pillar that was still burning after swallowing Lan Yan, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata smiled again on his face. Inform Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni to resolve it. This is no longer necessary. Foot on Aizen. Kill Lan Yan with a knife. I, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, can do it all by myself. Puff. Tisk. Cemetery. A hand suddenly stretched out from the huge flame tornado, and strangled the neck of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, who had dreamed of meeting Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni and being commended by him. Tighten your fingers and exert force on your arms. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's face instantly turned purple and blue. He wanted to resist and subconsciously wanted to use Rijin Jaka. However, after Zan Pakut was swung out, he exited from the liberated state. Return to the unliberated blade state. Seeing this scene, his pupils suddenly contracted, and the haze that had just been dispelled came again, even more intense than before. However, he couldn't do anything but be lifted up in the air, dancing and waving the Yan Luo Jing Dian that was unable to Shikai. Yes. The Zan Pakut in his hand, which had been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunaya Shiro family, was completely suppressed and could no longer simulate any Zan Pakut ability. The clown's showtime is over. Among the huge tornado fire pillars, a face slowly stretched out, looking at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata with deep and cold eyes. Lan Yan. Looking at this familiar face that should have been wiped out, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but the fingers holding his neck prevented him from even squeezing out a single word. I can only roar in horror in my heart. Not even one-fifth the surface temperature of the Sunday. You call this region Jaka. In the hands of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, it was called region Jaka. In your hands, it is just a flying plum at best. Lan Yan glanced at the flames covering his body that were still burning. He frowned slightly, showing a bit of disdain, then opened his mouth, and the black mist curled up turning into a bottomless black hole, directly covering the straight line. He swallowed all the flame tornadoes that shot up to the ceiling of the great spiritual book corridor into his mouth. This scene made Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's eyes wide open and he was stunned on the spot. Swallowing the flames of Rijin Jaka in the mouth. Even if the temperature of the Rijin Jaka he simulated is only one-sixth that of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, it is still a riot so a flame of over a thousand degrees and the steel skin of the Ajitius class Minos Grande will be melted away in one encounter. Let alone a Shinigami without steel skin. But now? The Song Ming he used by imitating Rijin Jaka was actually swallowed by Lan Yan. You seem surprised. Didn't I say that you could simulate my candle light? Are you not even capable of this level of ability? Lan Yan couldn't help but feel funny when she saw Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's frightened expression. Yan Luo Jing Dian. Indeed one of the oldest Zan Pakut in Seoul society. It is also true that Zan Pakut has the ability to simulate everything. But the stronger Zan Pakut is, the more he eats up Shinigami's own strength. Just like the strongest of the heat type is in the hands of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, it is the sun, the strongest of the ice and snow type is in the hands of Hitshugayichwir, which is the ice sculpture. Same. The same is true for Yan Luo Jing Dian. In the hands of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, the simulated region Jaka only had a temperature of about a thousand degrees. In the hands of Tsunaya Shiro, the simulated Kaika Suijutsu was extremely ridiculous. In the hands of Tsunaya Shiro, the simulated candle shadow was even more worth mentioning. It's just gravel, 
not as good as me, but I still want to control the candle shadow. You like to imitate so much, don't you? Okay, since you said Aizen taught you how to use Kaika Suijitsu, then I will also teach you how to use Tokage. Lan Yan lifted Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata into the air with one hand. See clearly, I will only teach you once. The words just fell. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata felt his chest sink. When he looked down, he saw a palm placed on his chest. Eight foot beautiful Megatama. The burning golden light bloomed from Lan Yan's palm, turned into a cross shape, and was embedded in Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's body, followed by countless small, but boundless naked eye light bullets shooting out. Bang 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 bang. But in an instant, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's body from the neck down was sieved, leaving countless fine golden holes. So fast. The frequency is so high. It took nearly two seconds for Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata to react and feel a heart-breaking pain filling every area below his neck. The strange thing is that so many light bullets from 657 only shot into his body. They did not completely penetrate the body and fly out from the back. Instead, they were like thousands of lanterns, hanging in his body one by one. Ah! Just when the shrill scream was about to come out of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's mouth, Lan Yan withdrew the palm in front of him. This seemingly ordinary palm closing movement was like pressing an explosion button. Eight foot beautiful Megatama. The thousands of light bombs that blasted into Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's body, shattering his internal organs, blood vessels, muscles, and bones, all exploded at the same time, blooming with brilliant brilliance from inside his body until he was completely destroyed. Flooding all over. The next second. As the golden light dissipated, each light bullet dissipated in the air. The torso and four bodies from the neck down in Tsunaya Shiro era had disappeared from the corridor of the Great Spirit Book, leaving only a head with a withered face, and the Zan Pakut, which had been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunaya Shiro family, fell from the air. After falling to the ground with a snap, the remaining blood sprayed out from his neck, quickly turning half of his face and the Zan Pakut that fell next to him red. Why, why, you didn't win Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, who was shattered to pieces with only one head left, did not die instantly. Supported by the flame of life like a candle in the wind, he barely shouted a word. Tsunaya Shiro, who collapsed to the ground with only one head left, turned his eyes with difficulty to look at Lan Yan. He doesn't understand. It was clear that he was the winner with the last laugh, so why was the situation reversed in an instant? He doesn't understand. Why is Lan Yan immune to the influence of Kaika Suijitsu? He didn't understand even more. Holding the Yan Luo mirror code, I should be the strongest, but why am I not Lan Yan's one-in-one -one enemy? Facing Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's dying cry. Lan Yan just glanced at him condescendingly and then withdrew her gaze. Didn't even give it a second glance. The young clan leader Shitan. How should I answer you? Am I telling you that my brother is not affected by Kaika Suijitsu's hypnosis at all, or am I telling you that you have been living in Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis from beginning to end? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's breathing weakened little by little, and his vision was swallowed up by darkness little by little. Just when his Ryatsu was about to dissipate like a candle in the wind, an extremely familiar voice suddenly rang in his ears. Aizen. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata tried his best to lift his heavy eyelids, trying to see clearly the figure that seemed to him to have been wiped out, but in the end he still couldn't do it. He could only barely see his lower body and the Zan Pakut clearly before the boundless darkness swallowed his consciousness completely. He recognized it. Kaika Suijitsu. Sorry, before I die. I have to let you know that you are just living in an illusion. Aizen looked down at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's head and said sorry, but his tone revealed a joking tone. Zanpaka is good, but Shinigami is not. He bent down to pick up the Yan Luo Jingdu that fell on the ground, looked at the Zanpaka that had been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunaya Shiro family, and then handed it to Lan Yan. 
such a humble Ryatsuo actually tries to control those Zanpakut who have the reputation of being the strongest. Unbelievably stupid. No matter how similar the simulation is, it's just a copycat. Lan Yan took the Yan Luo mirror code, and Ryatsuo's consciousness spread out to carefully perceive the Zanpakut in his hand, which has been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunia Shiro family. This knife is a bit interesting. Generally speaking, as long as a Shinigami falls, its Zanpaka will also die with it. What is left behind is a sealed state. Even if it is taken by other Shinigami, it is just equivalent to getting a sealed state. Following in the Spiritual Arts Academy the sealed state received is no different. Even if the soul essence of another Shinigami is rewritten, the abilities of Shikai and Bankai are no longer the same as before. Yan Luo Jingdian is very special. Shinigami is dead, but he is alive, and he seems to be open to anyone. As long as he knows the liberation language and name, he can use his power. Holding Yan Luo Jingdian in one hand, he walked to the central control computer in the corridor of the Great Spirit Book, and then called up the information about Yan Luo Jingdian. You mean the power of this sword does not come from the soul essence of Shinigami? but the power of the sword itself. After hearing this, Aizen was immediately interested. Hgyaku. Suddenly, the two of them said in unison. Yes. Yan Luo Jingdian is like Hgyaku. Anyone who obtains it can use its abilities. At this time, a book also flew from the huge bookshelf. It seems that because the information records about Yan Luo Jingdian are too old, it took a while before the Great Spirit Book Corridor was extracted from the long history of Soul Society. The Zanpakut of Yan Luo Jingdu, the ancestor of Tsunia Shiro, was taken from the Spirit King's soul sleep, and was forged with the essence of his own soul written on it. The wielder has the ability to imitate all Zanpakut abilities known to him. He can imitate multiple Zanpakut at one time and use multiple Zanpakut abilities at the same time. However, the performance of the imitated Zanpaka is directly proportional to the Ryatsuo of the wielder. If you imitate a lower level Shinigami Zanpaka, you will have stronger performance than the original holder. If you imitate a higher level Shinigami Zanpaka, you will not be able to exert abilities comparable to the real thing. The price of using Yan Luo Jingdian is to cut off the soul of the sword holder moment by moment, never to be restored again. After the book was opened, a picture similar to a holographic image emerged, introducing in detail the ability of Yan Luo Jingdian. As expected. After Aizen learned that Yan Luo Jingdian originated from the soul sleep of the Soul King, there was no surprise on his face. He has come into contact with many fragments of the Soul King, and naturally knows that Soul Society can only create a Zanpakut as powerful as Yan Luo Jingdian only if it comes from the power of the Soul King. No wonder. Ichai Bei Hisub is still alive today, but the life or death of the founder of the Five Nobles is uncertain. It's hard to say about the other four, but the ancestor of Namade most likely died at the cost of the Yan Luo mirror code forged with Soul Master's soul sleep. Lan Yan's eyes flashed with a hint of understanding. Using the power of the Spirit King is not without cost. The more powerful the power of the Spirit King, the greater the cost of using it. Waiwak, known as the son of the Soul King, needs to continuously absorb the souls of others, otherwise he will regress into the weak form he was born in. Brother, what are you going to do with this knife? Aizen asked suddenly. Although there is a price to use, there is no denying that this is an extremely powerful Zanpakut. If used well, it can completely reverse the overall situation. This is the Spirit King's soul sleep. Hgyaku materials delivered to my door unsolicited. What do you think we should do with it? Lan Yan threw the Yan Luo Jingdian away to Aizen with a backhand, not showing any nostalgia for the Yan Luo Jingdian that could simulate all Zanpakut abilities. Aren't you going to keep him for use? Aizen reached out and took Yan Luo Jingdian. It's enough for me to have candlelight. Not to mention. I don't think that Zanpakut which is forged from the essence of my soul, will lose to the mere soul king's sleep. Lan Yan smiled softly, 
his voice showing awe-inspiring confidence. Your Kanduyan is very happy with your words. As expected, she has been forgetting food and sleep, practicing hard, and successfully evolved Shikai and Bankai. In view of your trust, she decided to open her heart to you and transform the evolved ones. The power of Zanpakut is entirely left to you. Hearing the voice coming from his ears, Lan Yan felt happy. Zanpakut will evolve, he naturally knows it. For example, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni's Zanpakut. Thousands of years ago, it was a sword of great fire that sealed all the flames into the sword and burned everything it hit with a pyrotechnic explosion. Thousands of years later, just like the sun coming, it is enough to evaporate the water in soul society bit by bit. The same goes for Byakia Kukaki's Zanpakut. Before heading to the Zero Squadron, his Senbonzakura Shikai was a sword citizen who dispersed his blade into thousands of blades. After returning from the Zero Squadron, his Senbonzakura Shikai, the number of blades formed by dispersing the blades, is comparable to the Bankai of the past. It is clear that before and after Zanpakut evolves, there are differences between Shikai and Bankai. This also makes Lan Yan full of expectations for the evolved Zhu Yin, and he can't wait to find someone to test the sword immediately. If I had known better, I would have let him live a few more seconds. Knowing that his Zanpakut was so advanced and that he had cultivated to the point of evolution, Lan Yan couldn't help but glance at Tsunia Shiro Tokinata at his feet, whose body and torso had been blasted into dregs, with only one head left, and he felt much better. Most of them felt that it was a bit of a mistake. Too sloppy. There is nothing wrong with beating Tsunia Shiro Tokinata until there is only one head and a handful of Zanpakut, but before that, you can try the evolved Kandu Yin. Yes, the Spirit King is here to dominate. After Aizen heard that his brother's words were full of disdain for the Soul King, instead of feeling anything wrong, Aizen nodded in agreement. Take this Yan Luo Jing Dian and melt it to make Hgyaku. If there's anything left, leave some for me. I'll feed it to Matsumoto Rangiku. Before Zhu Yin evolved, Lan Yan didn't take Yan Luo Jing Dian at ease. Now that Zhu Yin has evolved, he won't even care about this Zan Pakut, the ancestor of Tsunia Shiro. It doesn't matter to him whether Aizen fused Yan Luo Jing Dian to create Hgyaku or whatever. Um. Aizen heard the words and nodded, but decided in his heart that after returning, he would split Yan Luo Jing Dian into two parts and restore it to Soul King's soul sleep. Then he would only use half of Soul King's power to create Hgyaku, and leave the remaining half to Lan. Yan is coming to feed Matsumoto Rangiku. If it had been before, he would never have done this. 143 in the past, in Aizen's opinion, Leaving the Soul King's fingertips in Matsumoto Rangiku's body was both a huge gift and a huge waste, let alone letting half of the Soul King's body sleep again. But it's different now. In his eyes, Matsumoto Rangiku is just Lan Yan's Hgyaku, but unlike him, Lan Yan is too lazy to feed him regularly, so he allows Matsumoto Rangiku, the Hgyaku, to exist in the form of a Shinigami. Feeding him with half of Soul King's soul sleep is equivalent to feeding the Hgyaku in his hand. There is no such thing as waste. Aizen, it's time to go. Lan Yan withdrew his gaze from Tsunia Shiro Tokinata. Just testing the sword. There will be plenty of opportunities in the future, so there is no need to rush. Before that, we need Hibiki to help us one more time. Aizen reached out and touched Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's dead-looking head. Within a moment, a large amount of white spiritual substance seeped out from its seven holes, gradually transforming into a mask of Minos Grande. Let's go. After doing all this and erasing all traces left at the scene, the two of them walked towards the exit. Clang! Just when the two came to the door of the Great Spirit Book Corridor and were about to leave, Two Zanpakut suddenly stuck out from the air on the left and right sides of the door. The cold blade appeared out of thin air like a ghost and was placed on their necks. Sinner Lan Yan Suk. Sinner Aizen Suk. I don't think you two can go anywhere. As the cold voice spread in the corridor of the great spiritual book, 
another hand stretched out from the air, just like Zan Pakut before, tearing off the dark grey cloth covering his body with one hand and throwing it to the ground. Hikifun Kiryu Lan Yan glanced behind him from the corner of his eye, and what caught his eye was a purple-haired Shinigami wearing the captain's Heiori, who was not inferior to Matsumoto Rangiku. Astonishingly, he was the captain of the Godi 12th Division. Hikifun Kiryu Your destination is either hell or eternity, whichever one is eternal. The other side Behind Lan Yan whose neck was also held by Zan Pakut, a skeleton arm stretched out from the air and also peeled off a piece of dark grey cloth. What followed was a Shinigami with six skeletal arms, complicated golden hair accessories on his head, and a delicate and slightly pale face. Shudara Senju Maru After Aizen saw the other person's face clearly, a trace of solemnity and surprise flashed through his eyes under the framed mirror. It seemed that he had not expected to encounter the duo from Division 12 in the Great Spiritual Book Corridor. She is also the only female member of the future Zero Division. Isn't it surprising? But I advise you not to move your hand. Unless you don't want it anymore. Shudara Senjimara glanced at Aizen who was holding his neck with Zan Pakut and actually wanted to reach out to Kyoka Water. Tisk. As soon as he finished speaking, a white robe was already draped on Aizen's body. At the same time, the six skeleton arms behind him were holding needles and threads respectively, and then turned into afterimages, covering Aizen. In an instant, Aizen's body was penetrated by Ryatsu needles and threads. Never mind. For a dangerous person like you, it would be better if you couldn't even move a finger. You say so, Aizen Suk. Shudara Senjimara pierced Aizen's four bodies, including his fingers and toes with needle and thread, and then put down the Zanpaka in his hand. You probably don't want me to use similar methods to you. Shinigami Heroes Alan Suk The Other Side Hikifun Kiryu stared at Lan Yan coldly, his eyes filled with blazing anger. That is the anger of being deceived and fooled. It seems you all know. Lan Yan glanced at Aizen, who was pierced by needle and thread, unable to move, and the hand that originally stretched out to Zan Pakut also stopped. Capture the captain of the 5th Division, plan the fall of Hibiki and the Zan Pakut Rebellion, murder Kukaki Jinling in the Confession Palace, use the Kukaki family to conduct hollow experiments, and kill Kukaki Gingling, Hiroko Shinji, Hibiki River, and marry everything woe to them. Lan Yan Suk if you are referring to these things, then we all know it, very clearly. Hikifun Kiryu shouted sharply word by word. Every time she told what brother Lan Yan had done, her voice became colder. By the end, the cold murderous intent was echoing in the corridor of the great spiritual book. Also, murdering the heir of the Tsunaya Shiro family. Shudara Senjimara's tone was also extremely cold. Although, Unlike Hikifun Kiryu, she wanted to skin the Lan Yan brothers alive after learning everything because of her friendship with Hiroko Shinji and others. Kin be one of the people fooled by the Lan Yan brothers. She still wanted to peel off the skins of the brothers in front of her and make them into clothes. In my memory, I remember that I didn't leave any flaws. Theoretically speaking, you two should not have the ability to see through everything. No, not should. But absolutely. Aizen frowned slightly, wondering why Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara were able to jump out of Kaika Suijitsu's illusion and find them hidden behind the scenes, or whether it was caused by the pain caused by the Ryatsu needle thread piercing their bodies. It's better if you don't speak. Otherwise, I'm afraid that I can't help but kill you before you can be tried. As soon as Shudara Senjimara heard Aizen speak, his already bad mood suddenly became worse. Poof! One of the skeleton arms opened its five fingers, flicked the Ryatsu needle and thread, and directly penetrated Aizen's throat. It didn't kill him, but it also made him lose the ability to speak. After sewing Aizen like clothes and piercing his throat to take away his voice, Shudara Senjimara felt that the frustration and anger that had been occupying his heart had finally dissipated a lot. Can you speak properly? 
After doing all this, she glanced coldly at Lan Yan, who was being restrained by Hiki Fun Kiryu. See this? Lan Yan seemed to be shocked and remained silent without speaking. After Hiki Fun Kiryu witnessed Shudara Senjimara's behavior, he seemed to be playing tricks like a stranger in his life. Hold Zan Pakut with one hand and hold his neck, stretch the other hand from the back of the waist to the front, press his waist and abdomen with five fingers, and press on yourself, as if you want to press his whole body into your arms. Pure Perium As bursts of orange light bloomed from the palm of his hand, Lan Yan's expression suddenly changed. His body kept trembling, sometimes expanding, sometimes contracting, and then thick tree roots grew out of his shoulders and legs, like a python wrap around the whole body. Don't be delusional, use any riotsu. It doesn't make any sense. Before taking action, I have made a series of arrangements based on your abilities, such as the seeds I just implanted in your body. I think you should have experienced it the feeling of Ryatsu being absorbed like nutrients throughout your body. Hikifun Kiryu released his left arm from Lan Yan. Your flash candle Yin can control photons to fight, as fast as the speed of light. Your dark candle shadow can seal everything Zan Pakut, whether it is Shikai or Bangkai. The best way to deal with you is to attack your Ryatsu directly. Without Ryatsu, your Zan Pakut, your Kid, your Kendo, your White Hits, and your Shunpo. All in vain. She walked around from behind Lan Yan to the front, but in the process, her other hand still held Zan Pakut and still did not leave Lan Yan's neck. It seems that even after restraining Lan Yan's Ryatsu, it still feels not safe enough and cannot be taken lightly. More than that. The air in the Great Spiritual Book Corridor must have been filled with spices by you too. Lan Yan didn't seem worried about his situation. It could even be said that he didn't care. After a brief change of expression, he regained his composure. This calm and unheard demeanor made Hikifun Kiryuwu secretly praise him even if he hated what he did. Rukonga Origin A man who has already mastered Godi 13 within a year of joining Siridei. Not without reason. With just this magnanimity, it would be difficult for other Godi captains to spend their entire lives chasing after him. It's just a matter of treating others in their own way. Didn't you just mix Hollow's power into the air, and then corrode the soul through the wounds on the body, so that the Kukaki family could hollow? I'm just following you. The burning spirit powder mixed in the air has been modified by us. Once it is inhaled into the body, even the captain of the Godii will have riots of chaos. Once it is forcibly mobilized, it will immediately burn and explode. Shudara Senjimara saw that one of the Lan Yan brothers was made into clothes by herself and could not move, and the other was planted with Ryatsu seeds and could not even use Ryatsu. She seemed relieved and her tone became casual. It is a gesture of having the overall situation in mind. Poof! The six skeleton arms simultaneously fired out Ryatsu threads, like purple lasers that cut through the void, completely penetrating the knots and soul sleep of Lan Yan and Aizen. Lan Yan's expression remained calm, but his face gradually became as pale as paper. Amazing! You were able to endure the pain of being pierced by the knot and soul sleep, and the consequences of losing Shinigami's power in an instant. Lan Yan Suk, with your talent, you can take the right path, why do you choose an unforgivable crooked path? When Hikifun Kiryu saw this scene, even though he hated and was angry at what Lan Yan had done, he couldn't help but feel a bit of appreciation and pity. Captain Kiryu, I want to make progress so much. Lan Yan was chatting and laughing. It seemed as if the Hikifun Kiryu in front of him was not an enemy who wanted to take his life, but a friend. Can you trample on Siridei's rules and play with Godi 13's Shinigami if you want to progress? Hikifun Kiryu saw Lan Yan's unwavering eyes and knew that he and the other party were not from the same place. Their concepts and cognitions were completely different, so naturally it was impossible for them to understand each other. Is this also Aizen's reason? Shudara Senjimara looked at Aizen who was made into clothes by himself. Roughly the same. Lan Yan was noncommittal. I see. 
No matter what the reason is, I can only tell you that your life of sin ends here. Zero, please give me flowers. Whether you or your brother, you will spend the rest of your life repenting in hell or eternity. Shudara Senjamara breathed out gently, seeming to be relieved. I can tell. Even though she carefully prepared numerous means and even carried out a sneak attack, she was still under tremendous psychological pressure before the dust settled. Until this moment. Only after completely destroying Lan Yan's brother's knots and soul sleep can she feel completely at ease. It's time to call it a day. Hearing this, Lan Yan did not refute, but followed Shudara Senjamara's words, smiled and nodded. Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjamara suddenly felt frightened when they heard this. Zero. Lan Yan's words and reaction were not at all what a desperate person should behave like. Especially when the other party looks at me, his eyes seem to be looking at the clown on the stage. Poof. Before the two of them could figure out the reason, bursts of golden light suddenly appeared from Lan Yan's riddled body, and then his body gradually transformed into elements, turning into countless photons from head to toe, and was restrained by the roots of the Ryatsu tree. Dissipate slowly until it disappears completely. Clone. Faced with the sudden change, Hikifun Kiryu's face changed drastically, and she was horrified. She didn't know that the Lan Yan in front of her, who was under her control the chain knot and the soul sleep were destroyed, was just a clone. Seeing this, she immediately shunned Po out of the way, but just as she was less than 10 meters away, a terrifying gravitational force was already coming from above her head. When she looked up, she found that Lan Yan was standing directly above her head, Zhang open palm facing her. Dark water. As a steady stream of thick black mist spewed out from the palm of his hand and turned into an Uzumaki shape, the terrifying gravity surged out like an invisible torrent. Hikifun Kiryuwu immediately left his feet off the ground, and his body moved forward uncontrollably. The ceiling of the spirit book corridor flew away. Damn it! Hikifun Kiryuwu wanted to struggle, but his body felt like he was carrying a mountain. The dense gravity suppressed him and made it difficult to move. He saw his body getting closer and closer to Lan Yan under the attraction and pull of darkness. Knowing that once caught, Zan Pakut's abilities would be completely sealed, she immediately wanted to free Zan Pakut. Laser Light Lan Yan had a clear view of Hibifun Kiryu's movements. Before the opponent could free Zan Pakut, the other person had disappeared from mid-air. He flashed in front of Hikifun Kiryu at the speed of light. He stretched out two fingers and aimed at the parts that symbolized Shinigami's power. Lock knot and soul sleep. Call out. Accompanied by the sharp sound of breaking through the air, two golden laser beams were shot out from the index finger and middle finger at the same time, and they were engulfed in Hikifun Kiryu's body. While penetrating her body, her knots and soul were also sleep together and wear it. Snap. The injury caused by the laser beam passing through the body, the pain caused by the piercing of the knots and soul. Hikifun Kiryu could only helplessly loosen his grip on Zan Pakut, and then like a soft-skinned snake that had its bones taken away, his body trembled and twitched slightly in mid-air while falling to the ground. In a flash. The situation of the two people has completed the transformation from offensive to defensive. In the last second, Lan Yan was not only pierced through the sleep and lock knots, but his body also suffered various injuries. Ryatsu was restrained and his body was imprisoned. The next second, it was Hikifun Kiryu whose body was pierced by the laser beam, piercing through the knots and soles, and fell at the feet of 097 Lan Yu. The situation took a turn for the worse. Seeing the tragic situation of Hikifun Kiryu, Shudara Senjimaru had no time to pay attention. Just because at the same time Lan Yan took action, six paths riot soul light sheets appeared out of thin air around her, sealing and imprisoning her hands, together with the six skeleton arms. The cut S61-6 stick light prison. Before Shudara Senjimaru could break free, or even have time to make any response, Azan Pakut appeared silently from behind her, first cutting off her knot and body sleep 
and then the blade suddenly turned and struck behind her he held a sword flower and pierced his back like lightning. The tip of the knife penetrates through the heart and comes out from the chest. Do it all. Witnessing Shudara Senjamara falling in a pool of blood, the air behind her suddenly shattered, showing atmospheric cracks visible to the naked eye, and then disappeared immediately, as if it had never appeared. Immediately afterwards, Aizen held Zan Pakut in his hand and stood in front of Shudara Senjamaru. At the same time, the other Aizen who was wrapped in white cloth and threaded through it has disappeared into the air. Blue, die. Seeing this scene, Shudara Senjamaru's blood-stained face was full of mistakes and disbelief. She didn't expect it at all. One second, he and Hikifunkiri were still in control of the overall situation, but the next second, the situation was reversed. She didn't even think about it. Aizen, who was sewn into clothes by himself and pierced by clothes, could actually escape, no. Not escape. Shudara Senjamara turned his head to Aizen, who had just been sewn into clothes by himself. As expected. What comes into view is a piece of white cloth used to bind Ryatsu, as well as Ryatsu needle and thread, but Aizen is missing. Kaika Suijitsu. Shudara Senjamara whispered. Although she and Hikifun Kiryu were hidden at the entrance of the Great Spirit Book Corridor just now, when Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata checked the Lanyan brothers' information through the central control computer, both of them had a clear view. Regardless of what brother Lanyan did in the past or Zan Pakuta's abilities, they all know all the information recorded in the corridor of the Great Spirit Book. That's exactly what it is. Knowing clearly how buggy the Lanyan brothers' Zan Pakut abilities were, they unanimously chose to attack in a sneak attack in order to block the opponent's ability to use Candle Shadow and Kaika Suijitsu. When did you use the clone? In the situation just now, you should be undefended. As for our attack, there is no way that you two brothers will have time to use Zan Pakut's abilities. Hikifun Tongsheng was lying in a pool of blood, his face full of pain and surprise. Her attack was so sudden and so swift that the Lan Yan brothers should have been too late to free Zan Pakut. But the actual result was completely different from what was expected. Lan Yan and Aizen were actually able to use Zan Pakut despite being controlled by her and Shudara Senjimaru, which in turn severely injured them. Too late to use Zan Pakut. Captain Kiryu, you rely too much on the information in the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Thanks to you. You are still one of the best among the Godii captains. Have you never thought that all the abilities recorded here about me were just recorded by me in the Great Spirit Book Corridor on purpose? Lan Yan couldn't help but shake his head and laugh when he heard this. Although the Great Spirit Book Corridor can automatically record all the history and information of Soul Society, the prerequisite is the things you have done or the abilities you have used. How could he expose all his abilities when he knew that Soul Society had a great soul book corridor? What's more, it doesn't matter even if it's exposed. Within a few days, his abilities will create a batch of brand new skills. Such as Kid. Just last month, I created a perception bakud called Kagura's Heart's Eye, and within a few days, I launched another perception bakud called Ryatsu. Even the Great Spirit Book Corridor may not be able to record this kind of production capacity. What? Hikifun Kiryu was stunned. Is this a constant defense against everything around you? Never let up. What kind of vigilance is needed? Although you may find it unbelievable to say this, the fact is that you, Hikifun Kiryu, know nothing about my abilities. No. It should be said that everything you know about my abilities is just what I want you to know. Every word of Lan Yan was like a heavy hammer, hitting Kiri Fun Tongshen's heart one after another, so hard that he almost couldn't breathe. Lao Lu behavior? Don't even ask if his abilities will give him this opportunity. If nothing else, let's take Kid as an example. In order to ensure the safety of his life, he created at least three or four kinds of his own Kid such as Kagura's inner eye and Ryatsu's type of perception. Don't you know anything? Hikifun Kiryu kept reviewing in his mind, and finally came to the conclusion that Lan Yan could not react unless he saw through all her actions in advance. 
Thinking of this, she was horrified. Yes. Lan Yan's abilities are really well hidden. Even if you know the opponent's information through the Great Spirit Book Corridor, in the end it will only be the tip of the iceberg. Call out. There was a flash of golden light. And Tian Kong Yun's sword had already penetrated into Hiki Fun Kir Yu's body, pinning her body to the ground. Poof. Lan Yan gently pulled his right hand up and pulled out the Tian Kong Jiun sword that pierced Tong Shen's heart. Is that true of you too? Aizen. No, Kaika Suijitsu is different from Zhu Yin. The Zan Pakut ability of the hallucination system is biased towards a single one. The purity of ultimate breeds the power of ultimate. Your Zan Pakut ability is just complete hypnosis. So, when was that? The other side. Shudara Senjimaru glared, trying to stop Hiki Fun Kiryu from being killed, but was unable to do so. The knot and soul were destroyed and she had lost her Shinigami power. He could only watch helplessly as Hikifun Kiryu was pierced through the heart by Lan Yan's sword. When? You still have the guts to ask. Now that you know, my Zanpakut Kaika Suijitsu has the ability of complete hypnosis. It can control the five senses at any time and cause confusion at will. Even you, who is hiding aside, after learning about my abilities through the Great Spiritual Book Corridor, could think of using a sneak attack to kill me before I activate my abilities. Have I never thought about how I should deal with someone like me? Is this your attack? Aizen looked down at Shudara Senjimaru's disbelieving expression, and felt that this expression was so cute. In the eyes of everyone who has watched Kaika Suijitsu's liberation and complete hypnosis, the position I stand in is always two meters further back or two meters in front of what they see. The space difference of two meters means little to the average Shinigami facing a sneak attack from a Godii captain of your level. But for me, this distance is enough for me to do a lot of things. For example, I will kill you here. Finished. Aizen made a backhand slash, slicing the neck of Shudara Senjimaru who was looking at him in shock, then took Kaika Suijitsu back and put it in the scabbard. The movement of sheathing the sword was neither fast nor slow but just as the scabbard swallowed Kaika Suijitsu bit by bit, Lan Yan looked at him coldly. The movement of sheathing the knife was slower than usual. No, Aizen is not slow. The time here has slowed down, and even my thinking speed has been affected by time. Thinking of this, Lan Yan's eyes were quickly filled with auras. The Cut S99, the first ban. Kid Forbidden Technique Time Stops. The change in the flow of time was like spring breeze turning into rain, moistening things silently, but Lan Yan was still the first to notice it. This is the kid forbidden technique that interferes with Soul Society's chronological order. Normally, the Godii captain would not notice or react if he was caught in this situation. However, Kid S accomplishments, which stand at the top of Godii 13, coupled with the powerful Ryatsu, caused the time that should have completely stopped to become a sudden drop in flow speed after it acted on him. However, even if time stops and becomes time slows down, it still makes Lan Yan's thinking, reaction, speed, etc. become several times slower than usual. That's when the riot so belts were like a python coming out of its hole, wrapping around his arms, and then the riot so nails immediately followed and nailed him to death. Not only that. Almost at the same time, a huge piece of riot so cloth came out of the air, covering him from head to toe, including his facial features and head. Immediately afterwards, dozens of iron skewers fell from the sky, piercing Lan Yan who was locked with riot so belts, nails and cloth strips, and further nailed him to the ground. Of course, not only him, but Aizen, who was also in a time stop was not spared. Enjoyed the exact same Bakud set meal. In an instant, the two of them were like two mummies, completely imprisoned in place. Not only that. The moment the Lan Yan brothers fell to the ground, two ten thousand character stone tablets fell from the sky, carrying strong winds and carrying powerful restraining and destructive power. They were like meteorites falling from the sky, hitting them hard. 
Bacudes 99 no 1 forbidden. Bacudes 99, number 2, stop tension. 99 Bacud 2 songs 100 Lianban. Bacudes 99 final song swastika te feng. Under a huge bookshelf connected to the ceiling, a hand stretched out from the air and pulled off the dark grey cloth on his body, revealing a pretty face with excellent appearance, long purple hair, and the combination of this era the first altitude of Siridi I all tells her identity. Hikifun Kiryu A similar thing happened under another bookshelf not far away. As the dark grey cloth fell to the ground, Shudara Senjimaru, whose neck had just been scratched by Aizen, appeared again. Kiryu, I'm glad I listened to you. Didn't take it lightly, but used your temporary soul technology to implant the temporary soul into the body of the deceased, and use it as our clone to test and sneak attack brother Lan Yan. If we had chosen to go into battle in person, we might have died under their Zan Pakut. Shudara Senjimaru glanced at the corpse whose neck was cut off by Aizen before, and still felt a lingering fear. The opponent is Lan Yansuk, the strongest genius in millennia. The one I hold is Soul Society's first Zan Pakut, the strongest light and dark weapon. We can't be more cautious. Hikifun Tongcheng exhaled a long breath. Not to mention, besides Lan Yan, there is also Aizen. If you don't handle that Kaika Suijutsu properly, the battle will turn into a fratricidal fight between you and me in a matter of minutes. It's okay now. With the help of temporary souls and transformed bodies, we not only have a deeper understanding of their Zan Pakut abilities, but also confirmed that what we see now is no longer an illusion, but reality. The two lives just now, death is well deserved. Hikifun Kiryu said it easily, but when his eyes glanced at his body, a thick haze flashed across his face. I can tell. Even though she was hiding nearby, controlling the body to fight, being pierced through the knot and soul sleep, and then killing not the real body, but the body, but just witnessing it, it still made her feel cold all over. She knew it. In a head-to-head -head fight, whether it is facing Lan Yan or Aizen, he is no match at all. Only by setting up a siege, planning a sneak attack, and using all imaginable methods and means can it be possible to solve the two Lan Yan brothers together. Hikifun Kiryu was even more horrified when he thought that the time these two had spent practicing Shinigami power was less than a year. It doesn't matter. In the end we won. After all, no matter how smart Ren Aizen is, he will never use Kaika Suijutsu on two corpses that are already dead in his eyes. As Shudara Senjimaru spoke, the movements of his hands and the operation of Ryatsu in his body never stopped. She jointly performed the Kid Forbidden Technique Time Stop, as well as the first, second and second songs of Bakud 99. After the finale, she continued to use Kid non-stop. Space Transfer I saw her clasping her hands together, leaning over and pressing them on the ground, and a gorgeous blue light suddenly bloomed in the corridor of the Great Spiritual Book. As a kid pattern blooming with dazzling blue light took shape and spread quickly, the four people in the blue light disappeared from the corridor of the great spiritual book one after another. In an instant, the four of them have crossed the space and arrived at a boundless and spacious underground space from the great spiritual book corridor. Through a series of kid and technology, this place has been heavily deployed by Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru early on. At this time, in an extremely huge square barrier with blue lightning flashing on all sides, as soon as Lan Yan and Aizen, who were branded with a complete set of Bakud No. 99, appeared, six skeletal arms immediately extended from the two chairs that had been arranged in the barrier, and the five bodies were unable to move, and the two were still in the stop of time. The person was pulled onto the seat, and then strips of bandages covered with black lines were released, wrapping the two people from head to toe, turning into a set of prison uniforms of the Millennium Blood War version, and draped them on their bodies. Poof! In the distance, two machines placed in front of the chairs shot dozens of nails together, piercing their limbs, bones, and other parts. Whether your Lan Yan's candle shadow can control light and darkness, or your Aizen's Kaika Suijutsu can complete hypnosis. 
the moment you fell into the barrier, the fate of you two brothers was already doomed. Under the suppression of Bakud, the imprisonment of the barrier, and the imprisonment of the sealed torture instruments, while hating and regretting the crimes he committed, he was waiting for Siridei's trial in boundless darkness and despair. After doing all this, Shudara Senjamara finally breathed a sigh of relief. The previous temporary soul and transformed body were nothing but bait. In order to find out the Zanpakut ability of the Lanyan brothers, they faked their own deaths to make the other party relax their vigilance, and at the same time, they were sure to be free from Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis. Later, Bakud No. 99, the dual forbidden technique of time and space, the barrier arranged in the underground space, and the sealed torture device called the Ryatsu Restrainer inside were their carefully arranged trump cards to deal with the Lan Yan brothers. Don't say anything else. Just the two chairs called Ryatsu Restraints are sealed torture tools invented by her and Hikifun Kiryu. Whether they are Shinigami or hollow, once you sit on them, you will feel like you are in black coffin, under the pressure of the torrent of gravity at all times. The black belt wrapped around the body turned into a bloody battle prison uniform, and there were nails that penetrated the limbs and bones. The former, paired with a chair, can confine Ryatsu's movement range, making it impossible for Ryatsu to move more than 10 meters away from the chair, and seal the eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and tongue. The latter seals Ryatsu, so that the Ryatsu in the sealed person has no chance to flow. Heavy imprisonment layers of seals, schemes, and sneak attacks. All to completely imprison Lan Yan and Aizen. Who do you say you want to judge? Seeing that the Lan Yan brothers were sealed together in the Ryatsu restraint device, Hikifun Kiryu just let out a long sigh of relief, but unexpectedly heard a voice ringing in his ears. Senjimaru, did you hear that? Her expression suddenly changed and her first reaction was that she thought she was hallucinating. Lan Yan Shudara Senjimara turned his head suddenly, his gaze penetrated the barrier and fixed on Lan Yan who was sealed in the Ryatsu restrainer. Will not. His eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and tongue are sealed. It's impossible to talk. Hikifun Kiryu turned his head and saw that Lan Yan was still sitting on the Ryatsu restraint, and his heart suddenly relaxed slightly. This monster. You have only been practicing for less than a year. Is Ryatsu already so powerful? Not even the Ryatsu restraint can completely restrain him. Shudara Senjimaru thought that Lan Yan was too powerful because of the Ryatsu, so even though he was sealed by the Ryatsu restrainer, he could still speak. He couldn't help but be shocked by Lan Yan's power. Ryatsu, whom she has practiced for hundreds of years, is actually no match for Lan Yan, who has been practicing for less than a year. It doesn't matter, we will continue to strengthen the seal here, just make sure that Lan Yan and the others cannot break the seal during this time. When the captain enters the corridor of the Great Soul Book and witnesses the death of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, then we will give you advice. As long as you are willing to read the information about the two brothers, all the truth will be revealed. By then, we won't need to worry about it. Hikifun Kiryu shook his head, also shocked by Lan Yan's power. They had been carefully planning for so long to gain the upper hand, and they also carried out a sneak attack that was calculated and unintentional. Unexpectedly, it was not possible to completely seal Lan Yan. Shudara Senjimara nodded, and then continued to strengthen the barrier. Don't say anything else. At least a barrier and device to isolate the space transfer should be put up to prevent Lan Yan from using the Kid Forbidden technique to escape. Pfft. Just when the two of them were working together, one was strengthening the barrier and the other was strengthening the seal, a sound of tearing silk suddenly sounded. Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara froze. When they turned to look inside the barrier again, what they saw was that the prison uniform draped on Lan Yan had swelled up. It seemed that there was something inside that was holding up the prison uniform. Open. Not good. Get ready Bakud. Seeing this scene, the two of them were so shocked that their faces turned pale. They didn't care to think about why Lan Yan could break the seal, 
but shuddered when they thought about the consequences of the other party breaking the seal. Bakudes 99, The First Ban Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara didn't dare to imagine any more. They immediately gave up chanting, released Bakud, and buried Lan Yan in the riot sur restrainer before Lan Yan broke the seal. Click. But before the riot sur straps and nails could fall, the prison uniform that bound Lan Yan's body had burst into pieces and turned into rags all over the sky, followed by a dazzling golden light that bloomed wantonly. He slowly raised his head and glanced at the riot sur straps and nails that were falling rapidly above his head. He saw no movement. The golden light covering his body, burning like a flame, turned into a giant hand that rose into the sky and slapped his head. The riot soul leather strips and nails on the body flew away. No wonder the seal failed. It's the golden light on his body that has been protecting him. All bakud, all seals, and all imprisonments were blocked by that layer of golden light that was like a thick crystal. Looking at Lan Yan, who is covered in golden light, he looks like a god coming to the world. Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara's hearts quickly sank to the bottom. Boom! After breaking out of the seal, Lan Yan ignored the two people outside the barrier, but looked at Aizen who was sealed on the riot sur restrainer, and then raised his arm with his palm facing Aizen. Call out! The big hand of golden light stretched out, grasped the riot sur restrainer with one hand, and grasped it with five fingers. The force that was enough to crush a goatee eye captain into powder suddenly exploded and crushed the riot sur restrainer into dregs in an instant. Wow, as expected of Captain Kiryu and Ms. Senjimaru. It's been a minute. This is the first time since I was born that I have been locked away for such a long time. After getting out of trouble, Aizen patted the sawdust stained on his body. He was almost sealed, but there was no fear or fear on his face. He still had a calm posture and a smile like a spring breeze. It seems that all the methods of Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru are under his control. Fine. And the barrier. Watching the Lan Yan brothers break the seal one by one. Hikifun Kiryu and the others could only hope that the barrier would trap the two of them for a while longer. As long as they delay until Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni enters the Great Spirit Book Corridor and learns all the truth then this battle will not be considered a complete defeat for them. Boom! As if aware of the luck and reliance in their hearts, Lan Yan looked around and took in the entirety of the lightning flashing barrier in front of his eyes. Amazing! With just this barrier, even Captain Godii would be trapped to death. In addition to the Bakud, Forbidden Technique, and these utensils, Lan Yan was praising, but the golden light on his body bloomed in all directions. In the golden light that reached the sky, four giant golden hands shot out and grabbed the four sides of the barrier. Then clasp the five fingers tightly and exert force together every day. Tisk. The barrier that could trap even the Godi eye captain to death was like a cardboard box, torn apart by four golden palms, then crushed into a ball and crushed completely. Asterisk what a pity. All the means you rely on have no meaning in front of me. Lan Yan looked towards the two of them, Hikifun Tongsheng. As the barrier was broken, the four people's eyes met again, and they faced each other face to face again. Don't get carried away. Calculating the time, the captain should be arriving at Central 46 now. Your evil deeds will eventually be made public. Hikifun Kiryu took a deep breath and pulled out the Zanpaka with his right hand, a look of determination flashed in his eyes. She was already prepared to fight to the death. No one in this world can judge me, not even the king. Lan Yan sneered when he heard this, and then looked at Aizen beside him. Goodbye, Captain Kiryu, Miss Senjimaru. No. Perhaps we will never have the chance to meet again. Seeing Lan Yan looking towards him, Aizen nodded understandingly, and after saying his final farewell to Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru, Bursts of cyan light rose under his feet. Leave me here. The six skeleton arms behind Shudara Senjimaru grasped the needle and thread one after another, and then flicked it with their fingers. Boo hoo hoo hoo. In an instant, dozens of Ryatsu needles and threads came out of his hands, 
turning into purple streams of light and shooting towards Aizen at extremely fast speeds. Bakut S81 Splitting Void Cleverness Seeing this, Aizen smiled indifferently, and used the splitting void number 81 in his right hand to raise a translucent defensive wall, blocking all the oncoming needles and threads, bounced away, and the kid forbidden technique space transfer in his left hand. Call out! There was a flash of green light, and the others had disappeared into the underground space in front of Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru. How is it possible? Vice Captain, the splitting void that gives up chanting can block my attack. With Bakud splitting void in one hand and space transfer in the other, Aizensuk hides it so deeply. I was still careless. I thought I could drag them here by keeping an eye on Lan Yan. Damn, they should have gone back to Central 46. With the captain's trust in their brothers and the ability of Kaika Suijitsu, the captain will not be able to see through everything even if he enters the Great Spirit Book Corridor. It still fell short. From the moment they saw Aizen use the Kid Forbidden Technique Space Transfer, Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru already knew something was wrong. No matter what. What they didn't expect was that Aizen, who had been living under the protection of Lan Yan and was completely covered by his light, would actually show extremely amazing kid attainments. With just one glance, the two knew that Aizen's kid accomplishments were far superior to their own. Originally, both Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru thought that Aizen's strength was based on Kaika Suijitsu. It was not until this moment that they woke up. Yes. If Lan Yan is the sun, then Aizen is how I passed. The bright moon 673 is indeed completely covered by the sun, but does this mean that the bright moon is small? No. This can only mean that the brilliance of the bright moon is obscured by the sun around it. Once Lan Yan restrains himself, Aizen's brilliance will overwhelm everyone and make all Shinigami dim. Um. You actually stayed. When the cyan light that symbolized the reversal of space dissipated, Hikifun Kiryu and Kiryu, who were originally full of anger and aggrieved, couldn't help but be stunned. Aizen is gone, but there is still someone in the underground space. That's really interesting what you're asking. Why can't I stay? It sounds like you two alone can make me retreat in panic. Lan Yan couldn't help being amused when she heard what the two blurted out. You're as conceited as ever. Fair enough. Because you'll pay for your ego. Hikifun Kiryu said coldly, but he was overjoyed in his heart. Gone is an Aizen. At least one Lan Yan can be caught. What she feared was the two brothers joining together. Candle Yin's control of light and darkness, sealing Shinigami Zanpakut, Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis, control of Shinigami's five senses, the combination of the two is not as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2, it is basically facing hell directly. If the Lan Yan brothers are not separated, even if there are three or four more Godii captains like her and Shudara Senjimaru, they will not have any chance of winning. But if they are separated, the situation will be completely different. Don't say anything else. Two against one, the advantage is mine. I admit that you are very strong, but after all, the training time is too short. If you brothers are together, Kandu Yin and Kaika Suijitsu will indeed be an unbeatable combination. But if it's just you, or Aizen, the situation is completely different. Shudara Senjimaru pulled out Zanpakut and pointed it directly at Lan Yan. Without the constraints of Kaika Suijitsu's complete hypnosis, we don't need to worry about the authenticity of things detected by our five senses. As long as we get rid of you who is the most troublesome, the remaining Aizen will be much easier to deal with. Awaken, Lan Yanchi. The words fell. Powerful Ryatsu visibly erupts from her body. At the same time, the same goes for Kiryu Hikifun, who is holding Zanpakut next to him. Ryatsu beams of light burst out from his body. Bangkai Spirit Controller. Bangkai Thousands of Lush Trees. As the two shouted Zanpakut's true name, the already powerful Ryatsu that filled Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara skyrocketed again, entering a higher dimension. Spirit Ultimate Clothes. 
After Bangkai, the Zanpakut and Shudara Senjamara's hand has disappeared, but the ten fingers of her hands are beating randomly in the air, as if playing a Shinigami song. Boohoohoohoohoo. In the beating of, Ada, ten green jade fingers, hundreds of thousands of spiritual threads that were so small that they were invisible to the naked eye shot out from the air around Lan Yu. The silk thread was so fast that it covered his body in an instant. There were so many threads covering every pore of his body. Manipulating spirit children, turning them into threads, sealing limbs and riotsu, is this your Bankai? No wonder you can create a dead tyrant costume. Bankai, it would be a waste not to become a tailor. Lan Yan's pupils turned slightly, as if he could see the thin thread of spirit piercing his body. Don't worry. After you die, I will use your spiritual power to make a death suit and wear it every day. Shudara Senjamara said in a cold voice. The other side. Hikifun Kiryu held a Zanpakut with a blue blade in his hand, and stabbed the blade on the ground with his backhand. Click. The earth cracked, and tree roots as thick as pythons broke out of the earth. In an instant, the vast underground space turned into an endless sea of trees. Poof. Immediately afterwards, countless tree roots shot towards Lan Yan, like a volley of thousands of arrows, entangling his body and tying him into a rice dumpling. It's over, Lan Yan Suk. Hikifun Kiryu was five fingers holding the handle of the knife slowly closed together, and the branches completely covered by Lan Yan suddenly bloomed with gleaming green light. Your Ryatsu will be absorbed by me in no time. At that time, Zanpakut, Zanfest, and Zangyi will all be nothing more than decorations. That's the price you pay for it. Say it. She raised Bankai's power to ultimate, like a whale swallowing the ocean current, wildly sucking in Lan Yan's Ryatsu. However, neither Hikifun Kiryu nor Shudara Senjamara noticed that the limbs and Ryatsu were bound by the spirit threads, and the Ryatsu was naturally absorbed by the tree roots. Lan Yan slowly closed his eyes. Close your eyes, Zhu Yin. When his eyes closed, Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru in the underground space felt their eyes go dark, and the world in their sight was completely swallowed up by darkness. Fortunately, this feeling of losing light is fleeting. Tisk tisk. But when the two people's vision returned to normal, what they saw was a huge black mist overflowing from the gaps in the branches. As more and more black mist poured out, the shape of the black mist gradually changes have occurred. At first, it was like black mist. At this time, it had turned into black flames. But when it burns, what is released is not the high temperature that burns out everything, but the gravitational force that attracts and crushes everything. Anything contaminated by black flames. Whether it is Shudara Senjamara's Ryatsu threads or Hikifun Kiryu's Ryatsu trees, they are all as if they were covered by the flow of gravity that can distort the atmosphere. First they are unable to move, then they are compressed into slag, turned into Ryatsu, and then further. Of crushing. Snap. In the raging black flames. Lan Yan walked out. He withstood the attack of Bankai from two members of the future Zero Division without any damage, and even the Captain Hayori and Death B.A. costumes he wore were not damaged at all. This is your tokage, the complete Chikai of the dark side. When Hikifun Kiryu saw this scene, his pupils tightened and his pretty face was filled with heaviness. She clearly remembered, and through the information in the Great Spirit Book Corridor, that after Lan Yan's candle Yin Chikai, the darkness controlled existed in the form of black mist. But now it turned into black flames. She subconsciously believed that the black mist form she knew before was just the half shikai of dark candle yin, and the black flame form in front of her was the complete shikai of dark candle yin. Before, the black mist you manipulated was just to deceive us. Shudara Senjamara glanced at the black flame covering Lan Yan's body. She used her riot so senses to perceive but she did not feel the temperature of the flames from those black flames, but instead felt the unparalleled gravity. Like a black hole, it attracts everything and crushes everything. Not even the spirit child can escape. No, I didn't lie to you. In the past, 
the black mist you saw was the complete Chikai of the Dark Candle. It's just that my Zanpakut has evolved compared to before, so after liberating Zanpakut, the black mold of the past turned into the black flame of the present. Lan Yan shook his head and said something shocking. What? Impossible. When Hikifun and Kiryu heard this, their expressions changed in horror. Both are Shinigami captains with more than hundreds of years of experience. The former invented the temporary soul and insertion technology, and the latter invented the death armor. They are both existences that are equivalent to creating the history of soul society. They naturally know that as Shinigami continues to practice, Zanpakut will continue to evolve. After evolution, both Shikai and Bangkai's abilities and forms have been improved. Any Shinigami who can achieve this level will, without exception, have to spend hundreds or even thousands of years after mastering Bangkai. For example, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. Nothing is impossible. Okay, I can only play with you until this point. I will go back to the Great Spiritual Book Corridor in three minutes. After all, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni is coming soon, and I don't want to miss meeting him. Lan Yan took out a pocket watch from his pocket and checked the time. Don't be too arrogant, kid. Are you trying to say that you can defeat us in three minutes? When the two of them heard this, they immediately became excited. After seeing Lan Yan's darkness, they all admitted that the man in front of them was indeed very strong. Even if they were alone, the two of them had a low chance of winning against each other. But that doesn't mean you can't hold on for even three minutes. Under Angor. Hikifun Kiryu raised Zanpakut and waved it gently, causing the entire underground space and the sea of forest trees to tremble. Hold head high. As a thunderous dragon roar came out, a huge Ryatsu wooden dragon rose up from the ground, opened its terrifying mouth, and bit Lan Yan. It seems that he knows that the black flames that permeate Lan Yan's body have the gravitational force to attract and compress everything. Shudara Senjimara did not use the Ryatsu thread on him anymore, but manipulated the Ryatsu thread. When the Ryatsu wood dragon flew towards Lan Yan, it instantly weaved it into countless pieces of Ryatsu scales and embedded them in the wood dragon's body. It transformed into an extremely huge spiritual dragon whose entire body was glowing with blue light. Tisk tisk. Lan Yan glanced at it, raised his right hand, pointed his fingers downward, and pressed lightly. The black flames that filled the body flew out of the air, like a blue dragon out of the sea, turning into a huge black flame tornado, completely covering the oncoming spirit dragon. It's like a black hole swallowing a dragon. Tisk. In an instant, the spirit scales covering the wooden dragon's body were shattered to pieces and then the entire wooden dragon was reduced to nothing in an instant. At the same time, he put his five fingers together to form a knife, and lightly waved Shudara Senjimara with his back hand. It was obviously just a simple blow with the hand knife, but the moment the palm fell, a golden light slash like a sky curtain flew out of the air. Click! The air is like a split ocean wave, split in two, spreading to both sides, creating atmospheric ripples visible to the naked eye. The ground cracked open, like a birthday cake cut through with a sharp blade, showing a bottomless yet extremely smooth crack. Far away. Shudara Senjimara's eyes widened, as if he saw something unbelievable. The next moment. A golden crack emerged from her shoulder, extending like a golden snake. Poof. Scarlet blood sprayed out along the cracks like magma spewing from the ground. She only felt her shoulders lighten, and then one of her arms had been completely broken, leaving her shoulders, carrying bursts of blood, and fell down, and was killed by the man at her feet. Swallowed by a deep chasm. My hand was cut off. Just when Shudara Senjimara was wondering if he was hallucinating, he suddenly heard a loud noise from behind. She looked out of the corner of her eye and in addition to seeing a crack extending hundreds of meters, there was also the end of the crack, which was the mountain wall of the underground space that had been cut through. A gap appeared from bottom to top, 100 meters high. The golden sunlight poured in along the canyon-like gap. 
Did the cut miss the mark? I'm sorry, it's my first time to use this power after the evolution of Guangming Candle Yin. The distance is like an arm using a finger to hit wherever you point, but there is still a little distance left. Lan Yan saw that his blow did not cut Vice Admiral Shudara Senjimeru in half as expected. He was a little surprised at first, and then his raised right hand fell down again. Since the first slash was enough to deceive, then another stab would be enough. Is this white hits? Or kendo? No, none of them. This golden slash, like a holy sword, is the shikai form of light and candle. Shudara Senjimeru, who had an arm cut off, knew very well that it was not Lan Yan who cut off the side at all, but that she subconsciously turned to the side, otherwise it would not be the arm but the body that was cut off. Seeing Lan Yan raise her hand again, she ignored her fear and quickly raised her remaining arm. Lingza Taylor Threads of spiritual beings flew out of the air, surrounding Lan Yan, flying freely. In an instant, he cut out a set of spirit sun death tyrant costumes blooming with blue brilliance and put it on Lan Yan. However, this set of death tyrant costumes not only failed to give him any defense, but actually made him ready to kill. The knife in his hand swung sharply. Zero, please give me flowers. Hikifun Kiryu, who was also shocked by Lan Yan's holy sword-like slash just now, was shocked. Taking advantage of the short gap when Shudara Senjimeru restrained the opponent, she immediately turned Zan Pakut, and a gap immediately opened in the ground under her feet. Then a branch with a fiery red fruit quickly rose up. She reached out and grabbed the fruit as fast as lightning, picked it off, and stuffed it directly into her mouth. The fruit melts in your mouth. The Zan Pakut that was originally held in his hand, at this moment, the emerald green blade actually burst into flames. The temperature is so high that it far exceeds the previous region Jaka imitated by Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata holding the in mirror code. Just the moment the flames rose, the entire underground space was illuminated by the fire, the moisture in the air evaporated rapidly, and the temperature was rising at an incredible speed. The mountain walls in all directions continued to turn red, bursts of white smoke emitted and gradually melted into a liquid similar to magma. The city is in flames. Hikifun Kiryu held the sword with both hands and swept the blade out before Lan Yan's hand sword fell. Boom! The blazing blade immediately released a rolling wave of flames, like a huge palm, wrapping, submerging, and burning Lan Yan. After doing all this, her whole body was red, with a lot of white mist coming out and she looked like she had been cooked by the high temperature. Apparently. Being able to use Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni's region Jaka for a short time was not without cost. Fine. Knowing that this guy Lan Yan is difficult to deal with, I prepared the captain's Ryatsu in advance and inserted it into my body with the technology of the righteous soul. I was able to temporarily use region Jaka's power, otherwise something would have happened. Although there is only one knife, if you can trap Lan Yan, that's it. Hikifun Kiryu half knelt on the ground, looking up at the huge flaming palm, a trace of joy flashed on his face. She is extremely clear about Regin Jaka's power. Not to mention killing Lan Yan with this knife, but if he was trapped for a while, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Such high temperature and violent Ryatsu flames are enough to interfere with the movement of the Ryatsu. Once trapped by Castle Anigami, even if you want to use Kid Forbidden techniques such as Space Transfer to escape, it is impossible. Click. Cemetery. A golden light suddenly bloomed. Immediately, the huge burning flame palm split horizontally into two halves from the middle, as if it was cut in half. Almost at the same time, a golden slash flew out from the gap in the flames knocking Shudara Senjimera down to the ground with his broken arm, and also struck Kiryu Hikifun, who still had a somewhat thankful expression on his face. Poof! Snap! Blood spattered and the two beautiful figures fell to the ground. Three minutes? I really overestimated you. The fact is that you can't even delay me for a minute. Hikifun Kiryu, and Shudara Kyunminyin. Hikifun Kiryu! 
who was lying in a pool of blood, opened his eyes with force, and barely saw a figure clearly, stepping out of the separated flames and walking towards him. Lan Yan I once heard that the essence of a righteous soul is to put a riot so that has nothing to do with you into your body to enhance your own power level, so that the riot so will be enhanced like a dimension. I didn't expect that you could actually use this technology to place Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni's Ryatsu into your body and use Regen Jaka for a short period of time. It's so unexpected. Lan Yan walked up to Hikifun Tongsheng and looked at her condescendingly. No wonder he can become a member of Team Zero in the future. Just with the temporary soul and the technology put into the body, Hikifun Kiryu is worthy of the title. Not to mention anything else. The Future Soul Society's Vanguard Plan, the one-to-one -one replica of the Godi Captain's spirit skeleton, Bont, etc. are basically based on Hikifun Kiryu's inventions and were created. Ahem, Lan Yan, you win. I've always overestimated you, but I never thought I'd underestimated you. You've only been practicing Shinigami power for less than a year and you used Shikai to defeat me and Senjimaru. I have to admit, Lan Yan, you are indeed worthy of being the strongest genius in Soul Society in its thousand years. Hikifun Kiryu put his hands on the ground and tried to get up from the pool of blood, but failed. Just the movement of supporting the ground with his hands affected the injury. The incision extending from the shoulder to the thigh was filled with blood, and even a mouthful of blood spurted out of his mouth. She could only turn her body and lean against the ground, letting the chopped off death armor bloody knife edge, and blood-stained body be exposed to Lan Yan's eyes. You should know the reason why I gave you a breath. Lan Yan squatted down, face to face with Hikifun Kiryu, eye to eye. I want to know who told me the true identities of you and Aizen, and who asked me and Senjimara to follow Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Excuse me. I will only tell you the moment you commit suicide and are sent to Wujian. Hikifun Kiryu twitched the corners of his mouth, forcing a slightly provocative smile. At the same time, he did not forget to raise his trembling hand and poke it on his chest, indicating that Lan Yan could take action now and make up for it. Hiroko Shinji Faced with Hikifun Kiryu's provocation, Lan Yan remained unmoved. Instead, after taking a deep look at her, she suddenly said a name. What? After hearing this, Hikifun Kiryu's expression did not change, and he still looked provocative, but his trembling body froze slightly. His vision is very good, but he doesn't see far enough, and can only be limited to the immediate scenery. Aizen and I have no flaws, but you will know it and you can believe it. Hiroko Shinji does not have this talent. Unless he bets his life, he can win your trust, and it can only be you. Seeing Hikifun Tongsheng pretending to be calm, Lan Yan's eyes under the framed mirror revealed a smile. Maguruma Kensei, Torabashi RJR, those friends he trusted in the past, will not believe him, no matter how much he gambles. Except for you, the captain of the 12th division, as Hiroko Shinji's former boss, you are the only one who would be willing to try to trust him once. Of course, Although you have made a lot of preparations to deal with me and Aizen, the fact that you did not choose to do it when Aizen and I were alone means that until the Great Spirit Book Corridor, you were still dubious about Hiroko Shinji's words. Had some reservations, so after Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata transferred our information, you were so angry and then took action directly. As a Godi captain with more than hundreds of years of experience, he would only lose his composure when he truly realizes that he has been deceived and manipulated. Then he will be affected by his emotions and act hastily. Hikifun Kiryu didn't speak, he just poked his chest, trying to provoke Lan Yan to kill his finger, but he put it down at some point and fell into the blood on the ground again. If I really think so, will you be happy about it? Even, I breathed a sigh of relief. Suddenly, Lan Yan changed the subject. I would be happier if you died. Hikifun Kiryu said coldly. There's no point in irritating me. Doing this won't make you what you want. Even if I am really angered by you as you think, and then kill you here, it will not change that besides you, 
Shatara Senjimaru and Hiroko Shinji, there is another person hiding behind it, and this person happened to be killed. I know the facts. Lan Yan looked into Hikifun Tongshen's eyes and spoke word by word. Is there anyone? Yes, there is a spirit king behind me. He is fully aware of your crime. Although Hikifun Kiryu tried his best to control his breathing, expression, and eyes, when he heard Lan Yan say that there was someone behind him, he still couldn't control his eyes shaking slightly and his breathing became heavier. Do you need me to say that person's name myself? Lan Yan pushed his feet on the ground and stood up straight. I really want to see what kind of name you can make up for a person who doesn't exist in the first place. Hikifun Tongsheng smiled coldly and was not moved at all. In many countries in this world, history is just for little girls to dress up, but the great spiritual book corridor is different. It has nothing to do with Shinigami's will. It is forced to collect and record all the events and information of Seoul society. Including the ugly truth behind the Soul King and the Five Nobles, everything is recorded in detail and cannot be changed or eliminated. The history and information of the Great Soul Book Corridor are your only chance to see through Aizen and me. Lan Yan walked 50 meters away and stopped in front of a piece of dark grey cloth that fell under the bookshelf. Captain Kiryu, do you think there is a possibility? Before today, I have been in and out of the Great Soul Book Corridor more than once, I have read the history of Soul Society more than once, and I have learned about your past more than once. That includes the name of the person you want to hide. He bent down, picked up the dark grey cloth at his feet, and looked at it carefully. Since you, Lan Yan, are so diligent and studious, and so loyal to the history of Soul Society, I might as well teach you something. The history recorded in the corridor of the great spiritual book cannot be erased or changed, but the way it records history and the speed at which it generates information are determined based on the weight ratio. In soul society, the higher the weight of a person, the more detailed everything about him is recorded, and the faster the history is generated, conversely, the lower the weight of a person, not only the simpler the recorded deeds, but also the history of intelligence the generation speed is also slower. The high or low weight depends on identity, influence, and strength. Also, the history recorded in the corridor of the Great Spirit Book can only be described as vast. Even if his deeds have been generated in it, how can you be sure that the person behind me is him, and how can you accurately retrieve the information that belongs to him? A book, and happens to know it all. Hikifun Kiryu was lying on the ground, seemingly exhausted. Apart from breathing, he could only move his eyes. She moved her eyes several times, but still couldn't see what Lan Yan was doing. I understand what you mean. This is also the reason why most Godii captains choose to keep a low profile as much as possible and even rarely use Bankai. Firstly, he wanted to hide Bankai, and secondly, he did not want to increase his weight, so he was recorded in the Great Spirit Book Corridor in detail. As for his name, I don't know it entirely from the Great Spiritual Book Corridor 2.2. At this time, Lan Yan retraced his steps and walked back to Hikifun Kiryu. In front of her, he raised the dark grey cloth in his hand, and then loosened his fingers. Snap! Dark grey cloth fell from midair and covered Hikifun Kiryu's blood-stained body, just enough to cover up the leaked Shinigami pancake. This invisibility cloth can help people become invisible and the black cloak you are wearing can completely hide Ryatsu. Thank you, Captain Kiryu, for telling me his name personally. Yura Harakisuk. He. It's Hiroko Shinji who risked everything, used his life as a pawn, and won half the pawn from our hands. Lan Yan lowered his head and looked at Hikifun Tongsheng, whose expression changed with horror, his eyes full of smiles. Hikifun Kiryu didn't speak. He just lay in the water without saying a word. At this time. Her face was grey, and her eyes looking at the ceiling of the corridor of the great spiritual book were empty and lifeless. Even if he had just been defeated by Lan Yan, he was not as weak, depressed, and frightened as now. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni's face was expressionless, and he kept walking through the corridors. 
Behind him, Kiraka Shunsui, Jaishir Yukatake, and Yamada Kiyosuke followed closely behind. Under the watch of the gatekeeper of the Tsunia Shiro family, the four of them walked into the Great Spirit Book Corridor one after the other. As the field of vision suddenly widened, huge mountain-like bookshelves came into view one after another, followed closely by the devastated ground. It is covered with marks left by cuts with knives and axes, as well as traces of the encirclement. In addition, there was blood everywhere. Following the traces of the battle, several people pursued the past. When they stopped under the central control computer desk, they saw a familiar head lying in a pool of blood. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata Kiraka Shunsui and Jaishir Yukatake saw this scene, exchanged glances with each other, and then said each other's names in unison. Lord Tokinata, how could this happen? When Yamada Kiyonosuke saw the head of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, his face changed with shock and he was at a loss. Before, when he walked in, there were traces of fighting everywhere, and he felt uneasy in his heart. As expected, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, who had just become the first successor today, had his head cut off, and his four bodies were missing. Captain, Your Excellency. Just when several people were confused by Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's head and the traces of battle everywhere, a weak voice mixed with pain came from a distance. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni heard the reputation and went away. Under a bookshelf, Kiryu Hibafune, wearing a black cloak, was lying in a pool of blood. What was even more dazzling was that her exquisite and beautiful face was actually covered with half of Mino Scran's mask. Captain Kiryu. This is... hollow. Kiraka Shunsui couldn't help but exclaimed when he saw this. Is it Zayong He again? But how did he get in? Etc. This is directly below Central 46. He is the only person who can enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor and has been in and out of here recently. Thinking of this, Kiraka Shunsui couldn't help but turn around and looked at the dead Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata with only one head left under the central control computer table. Captain Kiryu, what's going on? Jaishir Yukatake stepped forward quickly, but unexpectedly found that besides Kiryu Hibafune, there was also a figure crawling under the bookshelf not far away. Although the light was a bit dim, he recognized it at a glance. Shudara Senjimaru of Division 12 What's even more horrifying is that the other party, like Hikifun Kiryu, was not only seriously injured, but also had a hollow mask on his face. Vice Captain Shudara Jaishir Yukatake's face became increasingly serious. The former is the captain of the 12th Division, and although the latter is only the vice captain, his strength and weight surpass most of the Godii captains, including him. But now? Both of them were seriously injured, and they started to hollow. The most important thing is that the location was in a forbidden area of soul society such as the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Impossible. After Yamada Sainashuk saw everything in front of his eyes, his heart suddenly surged with turmoil. He knew exactly why Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata appeared here. But the death of the other party, as well as the hollow of Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru, were unknown. Is it Zayong he's doing, or is it? Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata really hit the mark. Brother Lan Yan is planning all this behind the scenes. For a moment, Yamada was in a state of confusion. He couldn't tell whether what he saw was the doing of the missing Zayong he, or whether it was really what Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata said. It's Brother Lan Yan who is planning everything. Tell me, why are you here? Who injured you again? Also, what's going on with Hollow? Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni looked at Hikifun Kiryu, and then at Shudara Senjimaru who had lost an arm. After the Kukaki family Hollow, we always felt something was wrong. Before Hibiki became a Shinigami, he was just a commoner in the Soul Society. After joining the Kukaki family, he did not show any talent for scientific research. Instead, he was obsessed with pursuing the Godii captain. Kukaki Gingling is the planner and Hibikaga is the executor, so who will conduct Hollow's research and experiments? 
Half of Hikifun Kiryu's face was covered by the virtual mask, with a look of pain on his face, and his voice became intermittent. I suspect that in addition to Zhang He, Hiroko Shinji, and Kukiki Jinling, there is an unknown black hand hidden behind it, so Shudara Senjimaru and I have been secretly investigating. Finally, we discovered something. Byakia Kukaki once said that it was Kukaki Jinling who sent people to attack Captain Lanyan and Vice Captain Aizen at the Spiritual Arts Academy. However, our investigation revealed that those killers were not from the Kukaki family. Instead, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Hearing this, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni's expression remained unwavering. Apparently, he already knew that the killer who attacked the Lan Yan brothers was Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. However, since the four nobles were involved, and the other party was his disciple, without definite evidence, he could only continue to let Kirako Shunsui investigate secretly. After locking Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, Senjimaru and I focused on him. We learned that he had left the Tsunaya Shiro mansion in a rare move, so we followed him secretly and found that he had entered Central 46. In order to find out the truth, after much consideration, we decided to sneak in secretly. Unexpectedly, when we came to the corridor of the Great Soul Book, what we saw was the head of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Immediately afterwards, we suffered a counterattack after Zanpakut materialized, and a sneak attack from Zhang He. Originally, Senjimaru and I were able to cope with it, and were even close to taking down Zhang He, but at this moment, we found that we actually started hollow, and then we were attacked by people outside Zhang He. Fortunately, I prepared a temporary soul and body, so I was able to fake death and deceive them. After Hikifun Kiryu finished speaking, most of his blood-stained face was covered by the hollow mask. Did you see clearly who the person who attacked you 433 was? Kirako Shunsui's face was solemn. He originally thought that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata also played the role of the mastermind behind the Kukaki family's hollow incident, but now it seems that is not the case at all. Quite the unlucky guy. Is it Lan Yan Suk? Or so? Aizen Suk? As soon as Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni said this, Except for Yamada Senashuk, Kirako Shunsui, and Jaishir Yukatake all looked shocked. What? Mr. Shan, how could you suspect me? How could it be Lan Yan and the others? Kirako Shunsui and Jaishir Yukatake said one after another. It's not that I'm suspicious, but that Yamada Senashuk just came to report to me. It is said that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata discovered the Kukaki family hollow incident. The culprit in the hollow incident was not Hibikaga, but Lan Yan and Aizen. The reason why I went to the Great Spiritual Book Corridor was to get definite evidence. When Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni said this, his eyes as deep as the sea looked at Yamada Senashuk. Jaishir Yukatake and Kirako Shunsui stared at him, fearing that they would hear Brother Lan Yan's name from each other's mouth. Your Excellency, Captain, this is Lan Yan. Just as Yamada Senashuk was about to explain what Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata ordered him to do, Kiryu Hikifun suddenly interrupted him. No. It's Urahara. Kisuk. The murderer is Urahara Kisuk. Urahara Kisuk. Jaishir Yukatake, and Kirako Shunsui, and Yamada Kiyosuk. At this moment, they all looked at Kiryu Hikifun in unison. Without exception, they all had expressions of astonishment on their faces. Even Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, who has always had an expressionless face since he stepped into the corridor of the Daraishu, is no exception. Apparently, no one expected Hikifun Kiryu to actually say a name that they had never thought of. Yura Harakisuk. Captain Kiryu. Are you sure you read it correctly? Is it really him? Jaishir Yukatake doesn't want to believe that the man behind the scenes is Brother Lan Yan, and he also doesn't believe that it's Yura Harakisuk. Not only because the three of them were students he taught, but also because in his memory, Yura Harakisuk was the most ordinary one in the first class. How could he possibly have the ability to do something like the hollow experiment with Kukaki Jinling and Hibikaga? 
yes. Urahara Urahara Kisuk is right. Captain Lan Yan. He is innocent. Hikifun Kiryu's eyes gradually turned yellow-brown, filled with coldness and violence, and chaotic boundless riot so began to emerge from his body. Boom! Just when her entire face was covered by the hollow mask, Yamamoto Genryu Sai Shigakuni suddenly raised his hand and poked Hikifun Kiryu's mask with his cane. Although the mask was not broken, it knocked her unconscious. Teacher Genryu Sai, if you erase Captain Kiryu's consciousness, not only will this fail to stop the erosion of the hollow, but because of the loss of consciousness, the erosion of the hollow will continue to accelerate. Jaishur Yukatake looked worried. I have no choice but to do this. We can't let Captain Kiryu lose consciousness after hollow and destroy the Great Spirit Book Corridor, right? Although Yamamoto Genryu Sai Shigakuni's face was expressionless, his voice revealed a somewhat helpless tone. Hollow. Even if he is the strongest Shinigami for a thousand years, there is nothing he can do. After all, he was a killer thousands of years ago, and he is the captain thousands of years later, but he has never been a scientist. There is no other way except to temporarily erase Hikifun Kiryu's consciousness and prevent the opponent Hollow from going berserk. I'm going to inform Captain Anohana right away. Jaishur Yukatake also knew that Yamamoto Genryu Sai Shigakuni had no choice but to do so. At the moment, he didn't care that this was the Great Spirit Book Corridor and immediately left Shunpo. At this time, he can only place his hope on Uzuki Flower 8000 Rivers. The opponent is not only the number one Shinigami of Soul Society Kaid, but also has been studying how to recover Hollow's Shinigami since the Hollow experiment occurred at the Kukaki Mansion. Say. Why did you join forces with Tsunia Shiro Tokinata to frame Lan Yan and Aizen? Don't think that I don't know that Tsunia Shiro Tokinata had a hand in the attack on Spiritual Arts Academy. If there was no evidence, I would have killed him with my own hands. Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni turned his head and glanced at Yamada Senashuk casually with angry eyes. Wave after wave of Ryatsu, like a sea of blazing fire, drowned it. Snap! With just one look, Ryatsu, as hot as fire, suppressed Yamada Senashuk until his face was as white as wax, making it difficult to breathe, and he fell to his knees on the spot. I, Your Majesty the Captain, I don't know either. Real. I am just following orders and following Lord Tokinata's order to go to the first team to inform you. Yamada Senashuk was also confused. After witnessing the beheading of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, he once suspected that the masterminds behind the scenes were the Lan Yan brothers. Who knew that things would take such a turn of events and that the identity of the mastermind behind the scenes would change again and again? A name that no one expected came out unexpectedly. Yura Harakisuk. Mr. Shan, I don't think you need to question him anymore. In the final analysis, it's just that some people have evil intentions and a guilty conscience. At this time, Kirako Shunsui came over carrying Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's head. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata once sent people to attack Lan Yan and Aizen. Not only did it fail, but one of the participants, Kukaki Jinling, Recently died at the hands of Lan Yan there is also the tragedy of the Kukaki family. In the eyes of us bystanders, Lan Yan is the hero who saved the Kukaki family from danger. Even the Kukaki Silver Bell was only taken action by Captain Lan Yan at the begging of Byakia Kukaki. But in the eyes of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, the situation is different. A man who has a ghost in his heart, sees his criminal partner end up like this and still gets involved with Lan Yan. With his narrow mind, what do you think he would think of his vicious character? Kirako Shunsui's words made Yamamoto Genryu Sai Shigakuni look thoughtful. Captain, since the hollow incident happened at Kukaki's house, I found that the young patriarch Tokinata has indeed become more and more anxious and crazy. To tell you the truth, he forced me to prepare poison for him last night to kill all the heirs of the Tsunia Shiro family. I was very reluctant at first and gave him away from this idea more than once. However, due to his coercion, 
I finally had no choice but to agree to the young clan leader Shitan. However, I learned the reason why he did not hesitate to force me to help him kill all the heirs. In addition to wanting to be the first successor, they also think that Brother Lan Yan is the mastermind behind everything and want to seize the throne through. Enter the Great Spiritual Book Corridor and grasp the exact evidence. Yamada Kiyonosuke was shocked when he heard Kirako Shunsui's analysis. Yes. One thing I have overlooked is that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata once sent a killer to attack the Lan Yan brothers. Combined with the anxiety, fear, and uneasiness shown by the other party in the past few days. It was obvious that there was something wrong in his heart and that he had a guilty conscience, so he mistakenly thought that Brother Lan Yan was the mastermind behind the scenes. Now, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is dead. In order not to be cut into pieces by the angry Tsuya Shiro senior management, he can only report everything to Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni in an attempt to obtain the other party's asylum. Of course, as the dean of the Jino Pharmacy Academy, he knew the art of language quite well, and what he said was all Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's persecution on him. What? How dare he do this? No wonder Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is only the last heir but he can enter and exit the Great Spirit Book Corridor. After Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni and Kirako Shunsui learned about Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's actions, they were also horrified and their expressions turned red. Yamada Senashuk's confession is simply the last piece of the puzzle in the Daraisha Corridor incident. Not only does it solidify Kirako Shunsui's analysis, but it also connects all the messy clues together. I see. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata died because he wanted to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor to learn the truth. Although it is the Lan Yan brothers who are being investigated, this is unacceptable to Yura Harakisuk who is hiding behind the scenes, so he must silence him. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni pondered for a moment, and a flash of realization flashed across his eyes. When Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata died, no one, Li Zhao, would know that it was Yura Harakisuk, but God is not as good as man. Yura Harakisuk never dreamed that he had just defeated Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata with his front foot, and Kiryu with his back foot. The captain and deputy captain Senjimaru arrived, and even when he and Hibiki were surrounded, he faked his own death and deceived them. As for Yamada Senashuk coming to report to you, Mr. Yama. It is just wishful thinking that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata did something wrong and was afraid that Captain Lan Yan would take revenge after knowing about it. As Captain Kiryu said, Captain Lan Yan and Vice Captain Aizen are both innocent, but they are just implicated. Kirako Shunsui lowered the hat on his head. Well, that's the truth. Kirako Shunsui's words also made others understand and they also clarified the whole story of the Great Soul Book Corridor incident, as well as the role of everyone in it. The murderers of the Great Spirit Book Corridor incident, Hibikaga and Yura Harakisuk. The victims of the Great Spirit Book Corridor incident, Hikifun Kiryu, Shudara Senjimaru and Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. The innocence of the Corridor of the Great Soul Book, Lan Yansuk, Aizensuk. Chun Shui, what you said is wrong. The Great Spirit Book Corridor has the ability to record all history and information. If the murderer is really Yura Harakisuk, and he killed Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, even if Captain Kiryu and Vice Captain Shudara are finally silenced, the truth will be revealed once Mr. Genri Yusai or Central 46 consults the information about the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Will be revealed. How could a man who planned the Kukaki family hollow incident make such a stupid mistake? Jaishur Yukatake, who was returning home, couldn't help but frown when he heard Kirako Shunsui's words, but he was interrupted by Kirako Shunsui before he finished speaking. Jushiro, you made a stupid mistake. Have you forgotten where this place is? The corridor of the Great Soul Society, the first forbidden area of Soul Society. Except for endangering the Soul Society, no one is allowed to enter the Great Soul Scroll Corridor to consult without permission from Central 46, including the Godii Chief Captain. Have you ever seen that before Central 46 investigates a case and makes a judgment, they first send people to the Great Spiritual Book Corridor to check it out, 
and then make a judgment. Yura Harakisuk is also a noble. Doesn't he know that Central 46 has its own way of judging, and Mr. Yama's character style of adhering to principles and absolutely abiding by the rules of Tohunkai? Kirako Shunsui walked to the bookshelf and put it on a book. Jaishur Yukatake opened his mouth, wanting to say something, but his face changed slightly, as if he had thought of something, and he remained silent in the end. He is also a noble himself. Although he is only a lower level noble, he is also aware of the urine properties of Central 46 and the taboos of the upper echelons of the Tahun realm. That is the history and information in the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Not to mention, he is also a disciple of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, and he also knows his teacher well. It is our responsibility to uphold the rules of Soul Society. How could such a person take the lead in destroying the rules of 750 established by himself? Enter at will, or browse the information and history of the Dali Book Gallery. If Captain Kiryu and Deputy Captain Shudara hadn't happened to meet each other today and faked their own deaths to escape, no one would have known that Yura Harakisuk was the murderer. Even if it involves the death of the Godii Captain, or even if you design the successors of the Four Nobles, Central 46 will not allow you to use the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, the reason why he was approved by Central 46 this time is, firstly, because the Tsunaya Shiro family has shouldered the responsibility of managing the Great Spirit Book Corridor for generations, secondly, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is the first successor, thirdly, it's also important. He was checking Captain Lan Yan's past and information. After the hollow incident, Central 46 disliked Captain Lan Yan the most, so they made an exception this time. Jushiro, do you believe it or not that you dare to touch the computer in the Great Spirit Book Corridor now? Even if you only check the information of Yura Harakisuk and do not take the opportunity to investigate his person or matter, you will be imprisoned. After Kirako Shunsui finished speaking, he looked past Jaishur Yukatake toward the door of the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Jaishur Yukatake seemed to notice something, and when he looked back, his heart sank. At the door, a group of Shinigami holding long-handled weapons were already stationed, all of them staring at them warily. Obviously, this was sent by Central 46. Even Mr. Shan will be the first to chop you down. After Kirako Shunsui finished speaking, Jaishur Yukatake subconsciously looked towards Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. As expected. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni said nothing and looked at him quietly. This scene undoubtedly told him that Kirako Shunsui's words were, Ada, right. 2. Which noble in Seoul society has a clean butt? Who would want to have their history and information checked by others? Even Captain Genrisai Yamamoto, wasn't he a man who did all kinds of evil? When Yamada Sainashuk saw this scene, he understood. The corridor of the Great Soul Book records all history and information. According to common sense, there is no such thing as unjust, false, or wrongful conviction in Siridei. But the fact is that for thousands of years, regardless of the cases involving the Godii Captain or the Four Nobles, Central 46 has never sent anyone into the Great Soul Scroll Corridor to check history and information. Instead, it investigates through other methods, and then based on the past there is evidence for trial and determination. For this reason, even if it is labeled as going its own way, impersonal, etc., it will not hesitate to become the most unpopular and least popular organization in CRIDI. Nothing else. No one wants to know what they have done or what they are doing. The judges and sages of Central 46 are even more reluctant. This is why the Great Spiritual Book Corridor is an absolutely forbidden area for soul society. It was also in the original time and space that Aizen calculated so many Godii captains and deputy captains, including Yura Harakisuk, and used them to conduct hollow experiments. The reason why Central 46 still chose to make a hasty judgment instead of going to the Great Spirit Book Corridor to check. Of course, it is useless even if you enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor. The truth that everyone sees is just what Aizen wants the other party to see. I have to say that Yura Harakisuk is really smart, 
he is well versed in the trial methods of Chamber 46, and he also knows the character of Mr. Shan very well. If it hadn't been for a hundred secrets, Captain Kiryu faked his death, and finally revealed the identity of his murderer, no one would have known it was him, even if the truth was in the corridor of the great spiritual book, right in front of us. Of course, if Mr. Shan is willing to take Regen Jaka to reason with the sage and judge in room 46, then just pretend I didn't say it. Does Master Keshin know how to do it? Kiroko Shunsui sighed softly. Putting aside the great spirit book corridor, he also believed in his own judgment. Yura Harakisuk is the murderer. After all, Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara have no need to lie. Everyone evacuates the great spiritual book corridor immediately. Seal down Yura Hara Mansion and Spiritual Arts Academy. Go immediately to arrest Yura Hara Kisuk. If there is resistance, he will be punished on the spot. As if to confirm Kirako Shunsui's judgment, and also in response to Kirako Shunsui's words. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni pondered for a moment, then lifted the crutch gently. Obviously, it was impossible for him to bring Regen Jaka to reason with room 46 for just Yura Harakisuk, and even with solid evidence. That's the kind of treatment only Lan Yan has, not Yura Harakisuk. As for Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's body lying on the street, he wouldn't even look at it twice. Teacher Genri Yusai, please leave it to me to arrest Yura Harakisuk. Jaishur Yukatake decided to fight for Yura Harakisuk. Not for anything else, just because the other person is his student. He wanted to ask the other party personally whether it was really the hollow incident and the murderer who attacked Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru. As for Yamada Senashuk, Removed from the post of director of the Zhenyang Pharmacy Hospital, and temporarily detained in the Palace of Confession. Awaiting the decision of Central 46. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni continued to issue orders as he thought of himself. Finished. He still ignored Jaishur Yukatake's request, but turned around and walked out of the Great Spirit Book Corridor without looking back. See this. Jaishur Yukatake was not surprised because he knew that Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni acquiesced to his request. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, you shouldn't have ignored my advice. If you accept my proposal, delay for a hundred years before taking action. You wouldn't have ended up where you are today. Yamada Senashuk did not resist and allowed the Sing Jun who came to put shackles on him. He glanced at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's dead looking head. A hint of coldness and resentment flashed deep in his eyes, and then walked hobblingly under the escort of Sing Jun. However, just when Yamada Kiyosuk felt despair, filled with despair and hesitation about the future, and was about to walk out of the corridor of the Great Soul Book, he suddenly felt his shoulders sinking. He frowned, thinking that Sing Jun was worried about him, but when he glanced at his shoulders from the corner of his eye, he found that there was nothing on his shoulders. See this. Yamada Senashuk's heart tightened, and he couldn't help but look back. When he saw it, there was no one behind him. Just when he was confused and confused, and even felt his heart trembling, a gentle voice sounded in his ears. Shatter the sky into pieces, Kaika Suijitsu. Click. As soon as he finished speaking, Yamada Senashuk suddenly found that the picture in front of him was cracked like a broken mirror, full of shocking cracks, but it immediately disappeared. What followed was that he finally saw clearly that a hand was holding his shoulder, but it was not seeing June. His eyes followed the arm. It was an extremely familiar face, but it was impossible for him to appear here. Lan Yan Suk Yamada Senashuk looked at Lan Yan who suddenly appeared, and felt as if a bomb had been detonated in his brain making stars appear in his eyes and his mind went blank. After being dazed for a few seconds, he came to his senses and his first move was to turn around and walk forward. A strange scene came into view again. Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, Kirako Shunsui and Jaishur Yukatake who were walking in front were all unaware. Not only that, he also saw that the person being carried on a stretcher by several Zingjun was not Hikifun Kiryu or Shudara Senjimaru, but two puffs of air. 
besides. Those same troops who were escorting him just now were unaware that he had left the team and continued to move forward. What's even more frightening is that surrounded by Sing Jun in the center, another version of himself actually appears. As if aware of his gaze, Yamada Sainashuk who was being escorted by Sing Jun suddenly turned around and showed a strange smile to him. Cold. Feeling cold all over the body. Creepy. How? I kept you here so that you could avoid going to jail. You don't look happy at all, Dean Sainashuk. Lan Yan withdrew his hand from Yamada Sainashuk's shoulder. That's right. Lan Yan Suk, an Aizen Suk. The Kukaki family hollow incident and the Great Soul Book Corridor incident were all your fault, right? Yamada Sainashuk looked at the Lan Yan brothers who were so close. He was trembling all over, as if he had been hit hard. This moment. He suddenly woke up and figured everything out. Dean Sainashuk, why do you think the blood feast at Tsunaya Shiro's mansion has nothing to do with us? Faced with Yamada Sainashuk's words, Lan Yan asked with a chuckle. What? That's it, I understand. After the Kukaki Silver Bell, the reason why you kept Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata alive was to make him live in fear and anxiety day and night. Then, with you pressing harder and harder, you started the scene last night. A feast of blood. Yamada Sainashuk seems to know that no matter how loud he yells, he will not attract the attention of Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni and others who have walked away behind him. At this time, he shouted loudly, as if he wanted to vent all the shock and fear in his heart. And Yura Harakisuk. If I guess correctly, he, Hikifun Kiryu, and Shudara Senjimaru should all be suspicious of you, so Yura Harakisuk will become your scapegoat. As for Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru, now either the world will evaporate, or life will be worse than death. I don't know if what I said is correct. Captain Lan Yan, and Vice Captain Aizen. Yamada Sainashuk looked at the Lan Yan brothers in front of him, his expression and eyes were extremely complicated. There was anger, shock, shock, and fear, but mostly fear and admiration. Completely correct. Aizen nodded happily after hearing this. You actually deceived everyone and fooled the entire Siridei. How amazing! Yamada Sainashuk, who always paid attention to his image, was sitting on the ground in the corridor of the Great Soul Book. One can imagine the impact he endured in just a few seconds. No, we don't mean to lie, it's just that none of you understand our true colors. Lan Yan spread his hands and corrected Yamada Sainashuk's words. Expressing yourself faithfully is called cheating. I can only say that you are too slow to respond. Aizen is even more direct. Thank you both for letting me live a clear life. So. Excuse me, why are you keeping me here? The hollow experiment. Yamada Sainashuk smiled to himself. He prides himself on being extremely intelligent otherwise he would not have been poached from the 4th Division by the nobles as the Dean of the Jino Pharmacy Academy as a commoner, nor would he have been taken seriously by Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. I never thought that in the end, I would just be a chess piece living in confusion. No. Before that, it couldn't even be called a chess piece. I really can't bear to see the director of Zhenyang Pharmacy Hospital become a criminal. What do you think? Dean Sainashuk. Lan Yan said in a casual tone. I didn't expect that I would be so favored by Captain Lan Yan. Yamada Sainashuk took a deep breath, forced himself to calm down, and then thought about whether to accept the olive branch offered by Lan Yan. I wonder if there is anything I can do for you. Captain Lan Yan. Vice Captain Aizen. After a moment of thinking, he had clarified his thoughts and current situation and accepted the olive branch in front of him. On the one hand, he supports brother Lan Yan, but on the other hand, he stands on the opposite side of Seoul society. On the one hand, Zheng Dang was imprisoned, and even before his death, he suffered revenge and torture from the top management of Tsunaya Shiro. He did not hesitate for long before choosing the former. My Hgyaku has become more and more picky lately. Sainashuk, 
as the director of Zhenyang Pharmacy Academy, you. There should be a good solution. Aizen said as he took out a Hgyako with blue and black light shining from his pocket. Have. The moment Yamada Senashuk saw Hgyaku, he seemed to be seeing a mouth full of food, and his heart was filled with turmoil. As a doctor, what he is good at is human body manufacturing. He naturally knows what Hgyaku is in Aizen's hands, and of course he also understands what the new boss wants. It was nothing more than holding ten more hollow feasts in the Tsunia Shiro family, which had just held a blood feast. Both of you, please forgive me for speaking frankly. Your Majesty the Captain has sent people to capture Yura Harakisuk. If at this time, there is news about the Tsunia Shiro family hollow. Even if Central 46 refuses anyone entry to the Great Spirit Book Corridor, it will be difficult to fully prove Yura Harakisuk's charges. Yamada Senashuk knew that the ambitions, strength and talents of the two new bosses were far behind Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, and he quickly adjusted his position. Zero, please give me flowers. It doesn't matter. If the person behind Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru is Yura Harakisuk, then he will definitely not be caught. So, Senashuk, you have to help Yura Harakisuk even more so that he can completely prove his identity as the mastermind behind the scenes. Lan Yan's tone was full of determination. Who is Yura Harakisuk? That is the only existence in Seoul society that Aizen admits can surpass him intellectually. In the original time and space, the two sides of Rampu played two games, and in the end they won one and lost one. In the first game, Aizen won a great victory, forcing Yura Harakisuk, Shihau and Yuriyuki and Visor to escape the world and become street rats for hundreds of years. In the second game, Yura Harakisuk gathered the power of Godi I-13 and cheated Kurosaki Ichigo wildly. After Aizen gave up the idea of evolution, he sealed it and regained the game. Zero. If Yura Harakisuk didn't know about it and was not the person behind Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru, he would have been caught on the spot by the people sent by Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. On the contrary, even if Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni goes out in person, he may not be able to catch Yura Harakisuk. Yura Harakisuk? This name doesn't seem simple. Yamada Kisuk nodded, mentally remembering the name Yura Harakisuk. He didn't know what the other party's abilities were. But he has already experienced Lan Yan and Aizen's abilities, methods, and city government. In order to personally plan this incident in the corridor of the Great Soul Book, and to persuade Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara to surround and kill the Lan Yan brothers, they must not be ordinary people. Even though Lan Yan and the two men turned against him and became the scapegoat, it did not affect his respect and admiration for Yura Harakisuk. This is a man who dares to challenge and plot against Lan Yan's brothers. The other side. After Jaishur Yukatake left Central 46, the first thing he did not go to the Urahara family was to rush to the Spiritual Arts Academy without stopping. According to his understanding, if Urahara Kisuk was not the person behind the scenes, he would definitely be practicing in the Spiritual Arts Academy now. When He Shunpo arrived at the Spiritual Arts Academy and entered the first class, what I saw was that the seats were almost packed. Even two seats that had been vacant for a long time rarely welcomed their former owners. Lan Yan. Aizen. Why are you here? Jaishur Yukatake was stunned when he saw Lan Yan and Aizen appearing in the first class for the first time. Of course I called Jushiro, Lan Yan, and the others back. I see that everyone hasn't been together for a long time. Just call them both back. Facing the sudden arrival of Jaishur Yukatake, Shihaur and Yuriyuki spoke first before Lan Yan could speak. Have they always been here? After hearing this, Jaishur Yukatake looked at the other people in the class. Even though he rarely comes to class and often looks for Shiba to be his substitute teacher, Shihaur and Yuriyuki has his own heart and often leans into Lan Yan's arms. He has heard about it a little bit. Since morning, all the time. On the seat not far away, Biakia Kukaki said word by word. The gradually paralyzed expression revealed a general meaning. 
If you dare to doubt, I will draw a knife and chop you. During this period, I never left your sight. Jaishur Yukatek's eyes flickered when he heard this, but he couldn't help but ask again. No. They are always here, and Aizen 820 even shared with us his experience in becoming Bankai. This time it was Tosin Kaname who spoke. Is that so? Jaishur Yukatek looked around everyone and saw Shihaur and Yoruaki, Biakia Kukaki, Komamura Seijin, and even Tesai Tsukabishi, who was friends with Yura Harakisuk. He thought so, and his doubts about the Lanyan brothers were completely dissipated. Even if Shihaur and Yoruaki and Biakia Kukaki lied, it is impossible for everyone to help Brother Lanyan perjury. In this way, Kirako Shunsui's judgment is correct. Even if you don't check the Great Spirit Book Corridor, the murderer is Yura Harakisuk. What happened? Lan Yan looked at Jaishur Yukatek with a strange look on his face and asked what everyone wanted to know. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was killed in the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Captain Kiryu and Vice Captain Shudara of Division 12 were attacked. Hollow. As soon as Jaishur Yukatek said these words, everyone's expression changed slightly. Especially Biakia Kukaki, who suddenly stood up from his seat. Isn't it Hibikawa? Caught. Biakia Kukaki Shunpo stepped forward, his eyes as cold as knives, and his murderous aura filled the entire first class. Didn't catch it. According to the clues left by Captain Kiryu before he fell into coma. Besides Zhyong He, there is another person behind the hollow incident. Jaishur Yukatek's eyes fell on a seat, but he didn't see its owner returning for a long time, and his face gradually darkened. Where's Yura Harakisuk? As soon as these words came out, everyone looked at Yura Harakisuk's seat. The Shinigami here, without exception, will all become Godii captains in the future. Of course they are not brainless. Jaishur Yukatek behaved abnormally after entering the door and suddenly asked about Yura Harakisuk. It is clear. Everything points to Yura Harakisuk. You mean Kisuk? I took leave half a month ago. He said he felt unwell, as if he was researching something, failed, and was injured by the explosion. Shihaur and Yoruaki also understood Jaishur Yukatek's intention. Haven't been here for half a month. Is that so? Tessai. How long ago was the last time you saw him? Jaishur Yukatek's expression changed again and again, and finally he looked at Tessai Tsukabishi. The last time I saw him was a week ago. Jushiro Senpai. It can't be Urahara. He hasn't even graduated from the Spiritual Arts Academy. How could he have such great abilities? Tessai Tsukabishi looked solemn and quickly excused Urahara Kisuk. If a person has a heart that he wants to hide, who can know the depth of it? Tosin Kaname made up for it. You should have the right to know this, Mr. Jushiro. Lan Yan slowly stood up from his seat, his voice was not loud, but he revealed an unquestionable tone. This matter is still under investigation. Please don't spread it around until the dust settles. Jaishur Yukatek also knew that Lan Yan had the right to know. After all, the other party was suspected by Central 46 because Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata sent someone to report. If Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimaru hadn't been killed halfway. He knew very well that once Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was killed, if he sent Yamada Senashuk to report Lan Yan and Aizen before his death, Central 46 would most likely seize the opportunity and forcibly sentence him to jail. Think of this. Jaishur Yukatek no longer hesitated or hid, and spoke out everything that had just happened in the Great Spirit Hand. Yura Harakisuk. No wonder Siridei has been looking for Zhyonghi for so long without any clues. It turns out it's the darkness under the lamp. Someone is covering him up. After Biakia Kukaki heard this, his face instantly collapsed and he turned away. He felt a little strange before. He knew Zhyonghi's talent. They are extremely good at slashing fists and walking away ghosts, but for things like Hollow, it's obvious that you don't have to be strong to be able to do it well. Now, Yura Harakisuk is surprised. That makes sense. 
the Akia, come back. He didn't take a few steps when he was stopped by Lan Yan. Yes. Although Biakia Kukaki was furious, he still stopped, gritted his teeth, turned around and walked back. Seeing that the patriarch of the Kukaki family is so obedient. Everyone present was not surprised at all. They have all heard about Lan Yan's great kindness to Biakia Kukaki, and they will be surprised if Biakia Kukaki turns his back on him. I understand how you feel. The only difference is that I am also responsible for the hollow experiment and the murder of Tsunia Shiro's successor. However, Teacher Jushiro also said that we are still investigating. Even if you want to go to Yura Harakisuk to settle everything, you still have to wait until the matter is investigated and it is confirmed that he is the mastermind behind it. What if he is also wrongly accused? Lan Yan's unheard voice seemed to have a strange power to soothe anger and hatred, gradually calming down the furious Biakia Kukaki. Great Spirit Book Corridor At this time, Aizen suddenly spoke, causing everyone to look at him. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata was killed because he wanted to find out the truth. Captain Kiryu and Vice Captain Shudera, Hollow is no exception. In other words, everything points to the Great Spirit Book Corridor. As long as you apply to Central 46 to investigate Yura Harakisuk's past and information, you will know whether he is a murderer or innocent. Aizen's words hit the nail on the head. This also made Jaishir Yukatake feel guilty and sorry for his previous suspicion of Brother Lan Yan's behavior. If it was really what the other party did, then it would definitely be impossible to propose this. Impossible. Don't say that the other party is Yura Hara. Even if the person under suspicion is me, the young clan leader of Shihauran, Central 46 will not allow entry into the Great Spirit Book Corridor to review information. The reason why we made an exception this time is because Tsunia Shiro Tokinata became the first successor, and Central 46 hates Lan Yan. If there is a second time, the nobles of Siridei will have problems with the sages and judges of Central 46. Shihau and Yoruaki shook his head. As the young patriarch of the Feng Yuan family in 42.6, she knows the Yuan properties of Central 46 better than anyone else. Two methods, one to move and one to be still. Move, please ask the principal to take Region Jaka to Central 46 and reason with those sages and judges again. Jing, there is no need to do anything, just wait. If Yura Harakisuk was framed, then he should be unaware of it now. Faced with the door-to-door -door arrest operation, he has probably been arrested. On the contrary, Lan Yan said here, a Shinigami dressed as Sing Jun suddenly appeared next to Jaishir Yukatake like a ghost. Yura Harakisuk, capture failed. As soon as these words came out, everyone had different expressions. Jaishir Yukatake was shocked and angry. Biakia Kukaki shows murderous intent. Shihau and Yoruaki was furious. After learning seeing Jun's reward, Lan Yan reached out and pushed the framed mirror on the bridge of his nose, a meaningful smile flashed deep in his eyes. Yura Harakisuk. You lose this round. Tsunaya Shiro Residence. In the hall, there were many clan leaders and elders headed by Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan, all gathered here. At this time, they had learned about the murder of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, who had murdered all the heirs of the family. Originally, they should be happy when a murderer who killed their son, daughter, nephew, niece, etc. was beheaded, but the reality was completely the opposite. After hearing the news of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's death, even the clan leader who lost his beloved son, Tsunia Shiro Nagahara, was not happy at all. Everyone, you all know about the Great Spirit Book Corridor. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata is dead, but no matter how he dies, it would be a pity. He still holds the surname Tsunia Shiro and is the first heir of the family. Now that he is dead, the inheritance of the Tsunia Shiro family is also cut off. In other words, Yura Harakisuk's sword cut off not only Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's head, but also the entire Tsuya Shiro family. Tsunia Shiro Long Yuan looked around the audience, his tone was extremely cold. 
No matter how evil Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was, his surname was Tsunaya Shiro and he was also the first successor. Now, Soul Society not only has a murderer who dares to kill the four nobles, but also cuts off the inheritance of Tsunaya Shiro. The last bloodline was severed. How could he not be angry? Yura Harakisuk. You really deserve to die. Let Room 46 make a decision as soon as possible. Number 03 If you can't catch Yura Harakisuk, then take down the Urahara family first. Anyway, this kind of lower level family is not prosperous it is also a waste to continue to exist. Siridei is a litzy in the air. The elders present were also furious. A few words between you and me determine the life and death of the entire Urahara family. This is the power of the four nobles in Siridei. Although it cannot be higher than Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, its power is so great that it can even affect the operation of Central 46 to a certain extent. As for the Lanyan brothers that Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata mentioned before his death, they had long since forgotten it. It is even more impossible to use authority specifically for Urahara Kisuk to enter the Great Spirit Book Corridor to read information. After all, the truth had been settled as early as the moment Kiryu Hikifun revealed that the murderer was Yura Harakisuk. When the evidence was solid, they risked offending the 46th Chamber and many nobles of the Soul Society to forcefully open the Great Spiritual Book Corridor in order to overturn the case of Yura Harakisuk, the murderer who ended the inheritance of Tsunaya Shiro's family. They were so full that they could do this do. In fact, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata died. As clan leaders and elders, what they are more concerned about is that there are people in Siridei who dare to behead Tsunaya Shiro's successor. Isn't that the same as daring to behead people on their necks? When something like this happens, they don't care who the murderer is, they just want to cut the knot quickly and use Urahara Kisuk and the Urahara family to shock the entire soul society and demonstrate the inviolable status of the Tsunaya Shiro family. The energy of the four nobles is amazing. At this moment, the Dai family told all Shinigami throughout Siridei. An hour ago, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni ordered Godi I-13, wanted and hunted Yura Harakisuk. An hour later, Yura Harakisuk had not been arrested yet, but Central 46 gathered a lot of charges and staged a drama that implicated the Yura Hara family. All members of the Yura Hara family were sentenced to infinite prison and imprisoned for 1,000 years. Whether it was Godi I-13 or Central 46, such big moves one after another quickly spread throughout Siridei. Including Yura Harakisuk, hidden in an unknown underground space in Siridei. Lan Yan, are you already so powerful? Captain Kiryu and Deputy Captain Shudera teamed up to set up a trap against you. They prepared so carefully and exhaustively in advance, but you were defeated easily. Just what went wrong? Why did Sing Jun come to arrest me? Why did the Tsunaya Shiro family attack my family? Even if the actions of Captain Kiryu and Vice Captain Shudera fail, there is no way Lan Yan and Aizen know that I exist behind all this, and it is even less possible for me to be accused of murdering them. Yura Harakisuk came to a top secret underground space wearing a Ryatsu isolation prosthetic body, frowning thinking about the wanted order issued by Siridei on him after the corridor of the Great Soul Book, and the charges laid on him and the Urahara family. As early as the moment he decided to play the game with the Lan Yan brothers, he was fully prepared and laid out many back UPS. Of course, I also thought that after the incident was revealed, I would be like Hiroko Shinji and bear all the charges. This is where there is an underground space for temporary hiding, as well as the Ryatsu isolation type prosthetic skeleton that can block all kid and technological means that can track Ryatsu. But he never expected that his identity would be exposed suddenly without any warning. The incident happened so suddenly that it was too late to relocate the clan members, so they had to run away and hide alone. In Siridei, the only ones who can judge a noble's crime are the captain and the 46th chamber. The commander in chief was at the scene at the time. In other words, the arrest warrant issued against me came from his handwriting. Although that old man is old-fashioned, he is not easy to fool. Without definite evidence, 
it is impossible for him to accuse me of murdering Captain Kiryu and Deputy Captain Shudera. Thinking of this, Yura Harakisuk couldn't help but think of Hibikawa, Hiroko Shinji, Kukaki Jinling, and Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. These people who were once enemies of Brother Lan Yan, these people who were clearly arranged by this brother, without exception, are all burdened with things that he thinks are very unreasonable, but in the eyes of other Shinigami in Godi I-13, they are justifiable charges. Hiroko, you were right again. There are not that many good people in Rukonga's 80 district. There is definitely a reason why Aizen goes around to let people see his Zanpaku Chikai and share his training experience. It is not just to accumulate fame and help his brother gain a foothold in Siridei. Yura Harakisuk suddenly stood up, his pupils flashed with light. There is no evidence more convincing than the testimony of the victim. That is to say, the reason why my crime was established was because Captain Kiryu and Captain Shudera personally made me dirty. So, AIZEN190, your Zanpakut Kaika Suijitsu's ability is definitely not to disrupt the enemy and cause them to kill each other through random reflections of fog and water as you said. To know this is a great blessing among misfortunes. Yura Harakisuk murmured. He seemed to have thought of something, and his face was gradually taken over by a look of shock and solemnity. At this point, he did not regret or panic. Instead, after sorting out his thoughts, he began to think about countermeasures and plan his bed. For example, find a way to rescue the people in Wujian Song. Another example, find a way to prove your innocence. However, what Yura Harakisuk didn't know was that he was hiding in the underground space, thinking hard about countermeasures, trying to clear his name, and rescue the tribesmen who were imprisoned by Central 46. Four figures quietly arrived at the door of Tsunaya Shiro's residence. Looking at one of the four nobles in front of him. Their eyes were like looking at a corpse. The Tsunaya Shiro family should be in order. What do you think? The young clan leader Shitan. Lan Yan murmured. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is dead, but after the battle at the Spiritual Arts Academy, the debt has not yet been paid. Is it not as sinful as a child? Neither he nor Aizen has this word in the dictionary. What they believe in is the enemy, so the whole family should be in order. Go to hell. The Kukaki family is like this, Tsuna. Tsuna Yashiro. Tosin Kaname raised his neck and opened his eyes. Although he couldn't see, when he faced Tsuna Yashiro's residence, his dull eyes still showed utter hatred. A hundred years ago, he had a good friend named Ge Kuang. As a result, he died under the knife of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, and the sentence he received from Central 46 was only a hundred years of house arrest. This is still the result of Kirako Shunsui's intervention, otherwise it would not even last a minute, not to mention a hundred years. A hundred years ago, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's sword took away not only the life of Tosin Kaname, but also killed Tosin Kaname's only friend, and also killed him with him in the past. Yes, you have been following us for a while. Whether it's the tasks that I or Aizen entrust you to do, you handle every task very beautifully. I don't seem to have given you any awards, right? Lan Yan suddenly withdrew his gaze towards Tsunaya Shiro's residence. Master Lan Yan, you allowing me to follow you is the greatest reward for me. Tosin Kaname suppressed the hatred in his heart and his tone was full of respect. A person is most afraid of not seeing hope. Especially a blind man. He has lost the ability to chase the light, and his only hope and justice were cut off by Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. But after following Lan Yan, he saw hope again. Central 46 couldn't give himself the fair trial he could get in Lan Yan. Others, you can refuse. Only this. You have to hold it. Lan Yan took out a box from his pocket and handed it to Tosin Kaname. This is. After Tosin Kaname took it with both hands, he opened it and saw a head flying out of the palm-sized box. He has no vision, and his perception is all based on Ryatsu perception. At this time, 
He could only vaguely feel that what he was holding was a human head, but whose head it belonged to specifically, because the other party only had one head left, and Ryatsu was long gone. Unconfirmed. And a little bonus, it allows you to see the light temporarily. Lan Yan saw Tosin Kanaim's confused face and knew that he couldn't see him, so he raised his hand and placed it between his eyebrows. There was a flash of golden light. Tosin Kanaim felt the darkness in front of him, as if he had been split open by an axe from the gods. It was a golden ray of light that split apart the boundless darkness that had been accompanying him since his birth. Colors, objects, shinigami. Everything, objects that had never existed before, appeared one by one in front of my eyes. I, I saw. This is the sky, these are the hands, and... Master Lan Yan. For a person who cannot see, there is nothing more exciting than seeing the light again. Even if the other party is Shinigami. This is the case with Tosin Kanaim. At this moment, his whole body was trembling, and his face was filled with disbelief. A long while passed. Tosin Kanaim barely recovered from the joy and excitement of regaining his light. The first thing he did was not to look at the head in his hand, but to turn his head and look towards Lan Yan. He had had an idea before. That is, if one day he can see with his own eyes, he must see with his own eyes what the man he is following looks like. Short black hair, sword-shaped eyebrows, and starry eyes, a high bridge of nose and framed glasses give people a heroic feeling without being too sharp. How? Seeing Tosin Kanaim looking at him blankly, Lan Yan couldn't help but ask. More perfect than I imagined. Tosin Kanaim murmured, and then unconsciously turned his eyes to Aizen aside. As expected. Like brother, like brother. She has a face that is roughly 30% similar to Lan Yan, with short brown hair and framed glasses, showing her handsomeness and elegance. The same goes for Aizen Sama. Tosin Kanaim sighed in admiration. Although this was the first time in his life to capture the light, it was also the first time to see Shinigami. But the judgment of beauty comes from genes, as well as from the soul. Obviously Yamada Sainashuk on the side is also a handsome Shinigami, but standing next to brother Lan Yan, he is dim and unable to catch his eyeballs at all. I didn't let you regain your sight just to come see me and Aizen. Lan Yan shook his head and laughed. Whose head is this? Tosin Kanaim lowered his head and landed on the head of the person he was holding in his hands. This was the first time in his life that he had seen the world, and naturally he didn't know what Tsunia Shiro Tokinata looked like. Yes, don't you always carry a photo with you? Aizen suddenly said something. When Tosin Kanaim heard this, his body trembled suddenly as if struck by thunder. After reacting, he quickly took out a photo from his pocket with trembling hands. He looked at the face in the photo and compared it with the head in his hand. Exactly the same. This is... Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Seeing the enemy who had dreamed of killing him with his own hands, Tosin Kanaim's first reaction was not ecstasy, but shock and disbelief when his head was actually held in his hands. Mainly because everything that happened tonight was too shocking to him. I can deceive. Photos can also be fake. But, his Ryatsu, you should never forget it in your dreams. Lan Yan opened his palms, directly above the head of Namata Shitan. When I killed him in the Great Spirit Book Corridor, I sealed some of his Ryatsu in this head, so that after death, the Ryatsu would not dissipate making you unable to even recognize the enemy's head. The words fell. Tosin Kanaim immediately sensed that the human hair in his hand was emitting a weak Ryatsu. This Ryatsu, he could never forget. None other than Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's Ryatsu. Ge Kuang, have you seen it? I did it. The fairness that Room 46 has never given you, Master Lan Yan has given it to you personally. Whether it was visual or Ryatsu perception, it was confirmed that the head of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata was in his hand, and Tosin Kanaim kept murmuring in a low voice. The expression is sometimes excited, sometimes ecstatic, sometimes excited. But in the end, 
it all turned into awe and loyalty to Lan Yan. Master Lan Yan. Sorry, I just lost my temper. After a while, Tosin Kanaim finally realized that this was the entrance to Tsunia Shiro's residence. His gaff just now might have ruined the Lan Yan brothers' important event. He quickly knelt down and apologized to Lan Yan. Wang Hao. It's okay, yes. They will only know it when death comes. Our arrival. Lan Yan didn't care. Not to mention that Tosin Kanaim's movement just now was very small, even if he yelled, it would not attract anyone's attention. Sir Lan Yan, can I, can I take the head of Ganja Shatanada to worship Ge Kuang? Seeing this, Tosin Kanaim felt even more grateful. Sure. Now, he is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Lan Yan nodded and handed over the right to use and even ownership of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's head to Tosin Kanaim. Boom! Tosin Kanaim hugged Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's head, switched from kneeling on one knee to kneeling on both knees, and then kowtowed three times to Lan Yan vigorously. He was completely unaware of the pain of a bloody head. At this moment, he said nothing, but there was a voice roaring crazily in his heart. I want Master Lan Yan to become a god. Use the head of one of the four great nobles, the first successor of Tsunia Shiro, to win people's hearts. What a heavy capital! How can Kukaki and Tsunia Shiro be undefeated if a blind man is treated with such courtesy? From the beginning to the end, Yamada Sainashuk never said a word, but only had a panoramic view of Lan Yan's every move and Tosin Kanaim's reaction. He sighed inwardly. Be it Kukaki Ginzu or Tsunia Shiro Tokinata, they were not unjustly defeated. In addition to the so-called aristocratic background, Tsunia Shiro Tokinata was crushed in terms of strength, means, castle, etc. The fate of Kukaki Silver Bell. The fall of the Kukaki family. Tsunia Shiro Tokinata died. There is also the tragedy that is about to happen to the Tsunia Shiro family. It is not unreasonable for Yamada Sainashuk that all this will happen and become a fact. One of Seoul society's strongest geniuses in a millennium. He has innate talents and qualifications that no one can match. After gaining extremely powerful power, he never slacks off and constantly improves himself without any arrogance or rashness. No aspect is given to the opponent, and every aspect is impeccable. Yura Harakisuk you choose to play against such a man. You made the wrong decision in your life. Yamada Sainashuk thought to himself. After deciding to surrender to brother Lan Yan, he also had a certain understanding of Yura Harakisuk. A person in the first class class who has almost suppressed all the brilliance of 727, but can be recognized by Aizen as being on par with or even better than him in terms of intelligence. In the corridor of the Great Soul Book, the handwriting that persuaded Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimara to launch an attack was the work of the other party. Although it was only once, it was enough to make him unforgettable. If the opponent were not the Lan Yan brothers, but someone else, he was convinced that Yura Harakisuk would have won a complete victory at this moment. Not to mention, there is an equally terrifying person beside him. Yamada Sainashuk couldn't help but glance at Aizen. Lan Yan Suk. Aizen Suk. Any one of them, taken alone, is a character who needs to mobilize the power of the entire soul society to fight. There are two such existences. However, they are still brothers. He really didn't expect Yura Harakisuk or even Godi I-13 to have any chance of winning. Perhaps, we can only place our hope on the legendary Zero Division. Don't be too happy. The head of Tsunia Shiro Tokinata in your hand is real, it's true. But the light in your eyes is only temporary. Lan Yan saw Tosin Kanaim kneeling in front of him, looking like he was crying with joy, so he reminded him and gave Aizen an imperceptible look. Being able to see this world, being able to see you and Aizen-sama, being able to see Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's head is the greatest value of these eyes. Even if this light is temporary, I am very satisfied. Tosin Kanaim heard that the light in his eyes was temporary, and he didn't feel much disappointed. 
In his opinion, what Lan Yan gave him was enough. To avenge an old friend, holding the head of Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, you can still see it with your own eyes. This was his lifelong wish. Want. Since my brother gave you a gift, I can't do without a little show. Well, since my brother has given you the desire to avenge your old friend, then I will give you light forever. Aizen noticed that Lan Yan was approaching him, and he understood it. He stretched out his hand from his sleeve, then opened his palm, and a gem with blue and black light was quietly placed in his palm. It was Hgyaku. It was Hgyaku who had been fed the Soul King Soul Sleep after merging the Zan Pakut and Yan Luo Jingdu that had been passed down from generation to generation in the Tsunia Shiro family. Although it is not like the original time and space, he got the Hgyaku and Yura Harakisuk's hand and then merged the two into one, but with the help of Soul King Soul Sleep, even if it was only half, the Hgyaku and Aizen's hand still evolved to the equivalent of the Karakura town battle. The level at that time was even higher than that. Although Hgyaku is still in the process of fusion, there is no doubt that it has reached its complete state. Breaking the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow is easy, but it also means that you are no longer Shinigami. How? I want this gift. Do you like it? Aizen's words are full of incitement, enough to make those who hear them fly to the flame like moths. Thank you Aizen-sama for your kindness. As you said, there are limits to Shinigami, so I won't do Shinigami. Asterisk, AD, as long as I can become the sword in the hands of Master Lan Yan and you, and cut off all obstacles in front of you, I will not hesitate to die. Tosin Kaname only felt that the surprise came so suddenly. He never imagined that he would be pursuing the hope and light that he could not obtain for a hundred years. Tonight, I will be given casually by Brother Lan Yan. Full Hgyaku's first experimental subject. And willingly. No, let alone being Hollow's experimental subject, Tosin Kaname will not hesitate even if he cuts off his head. Yamada Sainashuk couldn't help but sigh in his heart when he saw this scene. The elder brother gives him the desire for revenge, and the younger brother gives him the light in his eyes. If Soul Society had a loyalty ranking list, Tosin Kaname's name would definitely rise steadily and rank first. As you wish. When Aizen saw Tosin Kaname say this, a smile flashed across his eyes under the framed mirror, and then he stretched out his hand in front of Tosin Kaname. A ray of light emerged from the Hgyaku in his hand, which was a power that surpassed the Godii captain. Suddenly. Tosin Kaname only felt a restlessness in his body, and something seemed to be gushing out of his body, as if there was a bug inside his body, ready to emerge from the pupa. To this. He ignored him and knelt in front of Brother Lan Yan without saying a word. He didn't show any movement even though the feeling of tearing his soul came over him continuously. Under the gaze of three people. Tosin Kaname's body surface was gradually wrapped in a layer of blue-black Ryotsu substance, like an insect egg or a cocoon. I don't know how much time has passed. Poof. With a sudden sound of cracking silk, the large blue-black Ryotsu cocoon shattered, and a figure emerged from the cocoon, standing at the door of Tsunaya Shiro's mansion, exuding Ryotsu that was much higher than Maguru Makensei. Calculated according to the Ryotsu measurement unit established by Lord Lan Yan. Even if Zan Pakut is not liberated, Tosin Kaname's Ryotsu will still have about 18 cars. Ryotsu of Hakari Kensai will give it as he says. Hgyaku, what a terrifying power. Yamada Sainashuk witnessed the whole process and was very excited. Maguru Makensei is equivalent to the amount of Ryotsu held by a captain level Shinigami. Before receiving the power of Hgyaku, Tosin Kaname was three vehicles, and after receiving the power of Hgyaku, he was eighteen vehicles. One second, he was just a vice-captain level Shinigami, the next second, he jumped to the eighteen level Shinigami. This still did not free Zan Pakut. The person who can create Hgyaku is even more terrifying. Thinking of this, Yamada Sainashuk couldn't help but look at brother Lan Yan. He knew very well that the brothers held two Hgyaku. One was right in front of him, controlled by Aizen 
and help Tosin Kaname break the boundaries of Shinigami. Although he had never seen the other one, he also knew that in Lan Yan's hands, given the opponent's terror, it would definitely be no worse than the Hgyaku in Aizen's hands. Sena shook. At this time, Lan Yan's voice came over, interrupting Yamada Sena shook's thoughts. Yes, Master Lan Yan. When Yamada Sena shook heard Lan Yan's order, he did not dare to neglect. He took a slight breath to suppress the shock in his heart, then quickly stepped forward and put his hand on a huge stone pillar at the main entrance of Tsunaya Shiro's residence. As the curls of Ryatsua burst out from the palm, invisible Ryatsua barriers rose from the ground, and in an instant they formed a huge barrier, sealing off the huge Tsunaya Shiro residence. From the outside world, this mansion, one of the four noble houses, is still the same as usual, without any change. It is completely impossible to see that the minister is trapped in a huge barrier. This is the barrier Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata ordered me to spend ten years secretly laying under the ground of Tsunaya Shiro's mansion. It will be used to kill the successor and take away the position of Tsunaya Shiro clan leader a hundred years later. According to him, this is one of the Bakud, the Four Elephants Realm Gate, inherited from the period of the ancestors of the five great nobles. If you want to use it instantly, you need four Godii Captain level Shinigami to work together. Once it is successfully used, even Captain Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni can be trapped for a period of time. Yamada Senashuk constantly demonstrates his value to the Lan Yan brothers. Sato Bakud Lan Yan's eyes flashed with curiosity. In Bakud The first time he heard this word, it was from the information and history in the corridor of the great spiritual book. But if I saw it with my own eyes, this was the first time. Corresponding to R.I. Bakud, there is also R.I. Had. Had way of three iron wind kill, used by Ichibe Hisub of Division Zero, can blow away even Waka's static blood equipment. Whether it's style or power, it's all full. Your kid is extremely talented, self-created Bakud forbidden technique planetary devastation. R.I. Bakud? Trap Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni? Your kid said. Have you ever heard of Bakud Forbidden Technique Planetary Devastation? What are I Bakud? What Shixiang Realm Gate? In his self-created Bakud Forbidden Technique Planetary Devastation in front of me, everything is scum. It seems that he noticed that Lan Yan was interested in Bakud, and even admired him a little. His kid jumped out immediately, saying that a Bakud like the Four Elephants Realm Gate, compared with his own Bakud Forbidden Technique Planetary Devastation, even fits the shoes. These guys really have a lot of good stuff in their stomachs. Lan Yan heard the voice coming from her ears and smiled in her heart. His kid has been a little quiet lately, so he knows that the opponent must be holding back his ultimate move and has saved a lot of good stuff. As expected. He only expressed a slight interest in Bakud, but his own kid immediately couldn't sit still and immediately took out a trick Bakud Forbidden Technique Planetary Devastation, proving that his talents are not exhausted, and he can also create new hat and Bakud. To this, Lan Yan was not surprised at all. Not only Kid, but also Zan Pakut, Kendo, Whiteheads, Shunpo and the most low-key Ryatsu, all do not allow anyone to challenge or surpass them in their respective fields. Sena Shuk Yamada are you sure there is nothing wrong with your barrier? If your mistake ruins Master Lan Yan's important event, I will execute you immediately. Tosin Kaname slowly turned his head and looked at Yamada Senashuk. After receiving the full power of Hgyaku, his riot so climbed to a whole new level without being able to control it well. At this time, the whole body was exuding a pressure that made the air tremble. If it's a problem with the barrier, then just do it. Yamada Kiyoshi's interface has no fear, even under Tosin Kaname's Ryatsu, the body is like a mountain. Yes, don't doubt your companions. You have to trust Senashuk. As much as I believe you. Lan Yan wiped away the smell of gunpowder between the two in an understatement. Master Lan Yan, I will live up to your trust. Tosin Kaname was even more moved, and at the same time he understood what Lan Yan meant. 
he immediately pulled out his Zanpakut and faced the Tsunaya Shiro Mansion. Bankai Suzumushi Final Style Yama Cricket With a deep and solemn shout, Tosin Kaname's spiritual jade, which was already several times that of Maguru Makensei, surged again. With his body as the center, a huge elliptical barrier expanded in all directions, swallowing up all the buildings and paths along the road, as well as everyone in the Tsunaya Shiro family. The moment the elliptical barrier stopped expanding, one-fifth of Tsunaya Shiro's residence was covered. Whenever one is in the Inma Cricket barrier, vision, hearing, taste, and even riot so consciousness are all wiped out in an instant. Call out! Right above Yan Mo Cricket, Lan Yan, and three others appeared out of thin air. The range of the barrier has increased three times compared to the past. Aizen looked down, taking in all the huge Yama Crickets, and quickly came up with a relatively satisfactory figure. After receiving a Gyaku's power, Tosin Kaname not only has Riotsa skyrocketed, but even the Bangkai range has tripled. As one of the four great nobles, the former head of the five great nobles, the Tsunaya Shiro family's mansion occupies such a vast area, but the Yama Cricket barrier opened behind Tosin Kaname Bangkai still covers one-fifth of it. Area Zero, please give me flowers. Equivalently, Everyone in this area has lost their vision, hearing, taste, and riot so consciousness, and can only be at the mercy of Tosin Kaname. The truth is just as Aizen thought. After using Bankai, Tosin Kaname held Zan Pakut in his hand and stepped on Shunpo. With the riot so perception also strengthened by Hagyaku, he came to an elder Tsunaya Shiro like a ghost. At this moment, the other party was holding Zan Pakut slashing around with a look of horror. Poof! Tosin Kaname seemed to notice the panic of the elder in front of him, a sneer appeared on his face, and he stabbed his heart with a backhand knife. If it were normal, facing the enemy's family, he would definitely make the other party suffer from fear and despair before slashing with a knife. However, thinking that this was the order of Brother Lan Yan, he struck cleanly. Zero, zero. After severely injuring an elder Tsunaya Shiro with a knife, he immediately pulled away and used his Ryotsuo perception to lock onto the Ryotsuo of another Tsunaya Shiro elder, and then Shunpo went over. Poof! Tosin Kaname is like an evil spirit hiding in the darkness. Every time Shunpo moves, every time he slashes with his sword, he will bring up a blood flower, which will seriously injure an elder or someone from Tsunaya Shiro branch house. However, this kind of slaughter-like harvesting wheat came to an end the moment he stepped into the bedroom of the clan leader Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara and stabbed him with a knife. Tsk! The blade pierced the spine and slashed across. Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara was immediately cut in half. After doing all this, Tosin Kaname turned around and left. Even if the other party is the clan leader, it's not worth his while. After all, his mission tonight is to keep all members of the Tsunaya Shiro family busy. Click it. The moment Tosin Kaname turned around, a hand suddenly grabbed the palm of his hand that was holding the knife. The force was so strong that he felt slightly swollen and painful. What? His expression suddenly changed, and Ryatsu's consciousness discovered that Tsunaya Shiro Ryatsu, who had been cut in half, had not weakened and even his upper body was still suspended in the air. Yama Cricket Is it a Zanpaka that can take away vision, hearing, taste, and riot so consciousness? It is indeed very suitable for assassinations and sneak attacks. Unfortunately, you met me. After Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara was cut in half, his upper body was suspended in mid-air, while his lower body remained standing. He reached out to grab the Suzumushi in Tosin Kaname's hand, stabbed him in the back with a backhand knife. Several. Before you came to assassinate me, didn't the person behind you tell you? I'm in charge of the screening room at Central 46. Since the establishment of Siridei, I know every Zanpaka that has appeared, including your Yama Cricket. Tsunaya Shiro Nakahara recalled his lower body that had been cut in half, and after reorganizing his upper and lower body, he twisted the wrist holding the knife hard, 
and the blade inserted into Tosin Kaname's body rotated, causing heartbreaking pain and at the same time, the blade was where the stabbing occurred, all the nearby flesh and blood tissue fell apart. As long as you hold on to your Zan Pakut, your solution will be in vain. The words fell. He exerted force with his arm, and the Zan Pakut that had already penetrated Tosin Kaname's body was slashed towards the opponent's heart. Wherever the blade passed, all the flesh, blood and bones it touched along the way shattered into pieces, like broken porcelain. Clang! Feeling the heart-breaking pain, Tosin Kaname groaned, and disturbing Ryatsu burst out from his body. He endured the pain, raised his hand and reached out, like an eagle's two-sixty claws, to clasp the palm of Tsunaya Shiro Longbara's sword. This is probably why Aizen-sama gave me strength and light. Too careless. After all, I am the clan leader of Tsunaya Shiro. Even now, I must go all out. Tosin Kaname turned his head, revealing a face wrapped in a white mask. Hollow. When Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan saw this, his expression changed. The reason why he is still holding Suzumushi is that he can clearly see the mask on Tosin Kaname's face. In an instant. All kinds of thoughts flooded my mind. Yura Harakisuk must have sent you. Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara had already reacted the moment he witnessed Tosin Kaname showing hollow. The two are classmates, and the latter has a holiday with Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata, so it is natural for them to get together. In addition, in order to frighten Siridei, Central 40 SIXS connections were used to send all members of the Urahara family to the Infinite Prison. It was normal that the other party would come for revenge, but I didn't expect it to come so quickly. After the tragedy of the Kukaki family, he sent more manpower and asked Godi I-13 to increase the intensity of Shinigami patrols. Unexpectedly, Tosin Kaname sneaked in. What did you do to my Tsunaya clan members? Tsunaya Shiro Lanjai Yuan's eyes suddenly changed, and his voice was full of anger and fear. Thinking of the tragedy that happened to the Kukaki family, how could he not worry about his own family? That was a hollow feast that shocked Siridei. You'll know right away. Tosin Kaname Ryatsu gathered together, and the arm holding the sword slammed back. Boom! The increase in Ryatsu brought by hollow caused his white hits to rise steadily. He struck with random elbows, making Tsunaya Shiro Ryahara feel like he had been hit by a truck. His body was immediately knocked back, even holding Tosin Kaname Zanpakuta's hand. Consciously let go. Oops. The moment he let go, Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan knew something was wrong. As expected. As his five fingers were completely separated from Suzumushi, he immediately found that his vision, hearing, taste, and Ryatsu consciousness disappeared at the same time. In contrast, Tosin Kaname. After the hollow, a large amount of white Ryatsu substance, high speed regeneration, emerged from his chopped body. At the same time, he turned the blade and pointed it at Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara, but instead of thrusting out, powerful green Ryatsu burst out, converging on the tip of the blade to form a green Ryatsu sphere. Boom! The next second, green Zero surged out wildly, dragging the terrifying Ryatsu that tore the atmosphere, and submerged Tsunaya Shiro Longbara, who was blind completely unable to see or hear, and lost Ryatsu consciousness. Bangkai plus hollow. This is the confidence that Tosin Kaname dared to come and assassinate the Tsunaya Shiro clan leader. Boom! The huge Ryatsu exploded, blasting a quarter of the area covered by an Makricket into a mess. Many people from the Tsunaya Shiro branch house and the servants of the Tsunaya Shiro family were blown out. After one hit zero, Tosin Kaname had no intention of stopping, but continued to gather Siro, bombing wildly in all directions, until most of Tsunaya Shiro's mansion was submerged by Siro and blown into ruins, then he took back Bankai and dispersed into the hollow. Ahem! After a while, in the rubble where smoke and fire coexisted, a twisted and blood-stained arm stretched out, and then with a strong push, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara climbed out of the ruins. Without the shadow of Yama Cricket, 
he looked around and saw scenes that moved him. Roar! Beast-like roars echoed in his ears. Poof! Arms and bodies covered with white riot so material rushed out of the rubble. Even though he was hollowed, his face was covered with a mask, and even his body was already showing the steel skin of Minos Grande, but even so, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara could still recognize him at a glance. They are either elders of the main family, members of the branch house clan, and a small number of them are servants of Tsunaya Shiro. These people are all hollow. A hollow feast that once took place at the Kukaki residence was recreated at the Namade residence. As expected. Your Zanpakut ability can separate your body at will, without fear of any slashes. Things you kill will also fall apart. Tosin Kaname stretched out his hand and caressed the body that had just been slashed by Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara, and his tone showed some fear. If it weren't for high-speed regeneration, and if he subconsciously twisted his body to avoid the vital parts of his internal organs, the Zanpakut ability that could make everything fall apart just now would have been enough to kill him on the spot. But, with Zero, it's different. He faced Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara, and with his riot so perception, he could clearly see that half of the opponent's arm was blown away by Zero. You. Damn it. Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara roared and stepped with his right foot. Just as he was about to rush towards Tosin Kaname with Shunpo, he suddenly felt the riot so possessing a hollow emerge from his body, as if a hollow was drilling out of his heart. Ah! The tearing pain made him scream and fall to the ground, and a large amount of white riot so substance spurted out from the seven holes, quickly forming a mask. Master Lan Yan, you are worthy of your dignity. Everyone from Tsunaya Shiro's main family and branch house is hollow. No one was spared. Upon seeing this, Tosin Kaname ignored Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan, but turned around and knelt down on one knee in the direction of Lan Yan. His mission was not to assassinate the patriarchs and elders of the Tsunaya Shiro family, but to let all members of Tsunaya Shiro's family and branch house hollow. Exactly. When he attacked every member of the Tsunaya Shi clan before, he always avoided the key points. Only serious injuries, no killing. Thank you for your hard work, please. Lan Yan nodded and motioned for Tosin Kaname to get up. Lan Yan. Holding the knife in one hand and supporting the ground, Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan, who was suffering from the erosion of the hollow, suddenly raised his head when he heard Lan Yan's name. I saw three figures falling from mid-air. Lan Yan Suk. Aizen Suk. And Sena shook Yamada. Every one of them made him hate him to the core. Damn it. It's actually you. Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata is right, the recent ups and downs in Siridei are all caused by your brothers. After Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan saw the faces of Brother 2.9 Lan Yan, he was extremely shocked and angry. Not long ago, he had scoffed at Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's views. Even after Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata died in the Great Spirit Book Corridor, he did not think it was the Lan Yan brothers. At that time, Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata felt guilty as a thief, and he did not apply to Central 46 for this. Check Lan Yan brothers' intelligence and history. Unexpectedly. It had only been a while before Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata's head was cold, but the blades of the Lan Hang brothers had already slashed down on the entire Tsuna. Things and reigns. I don't deserve such praise. But if you are referring to Tsunaya Shiro's feast at the Hollow, then it was indeed my own doing. Faced with Tsunaya Shiro Lan Yuan's roar, Lan Yan nodded happily and admitted that everything was done by his brother. What? Don't you like the Hollow feast? Chief Tsunaya Shiro. As soon as these words came out, Tsunaya Shiro Ryahara went berserk immediately after hearing this. Lan Yan Suk, I want to kill you. The tragedy in front of him, as well as Lan Yan's arrogance and arrogance in ignoring Tsunaya Shiro, all made Tsunaya Shiro Long Yu and furious. Bang Kai. Supported by bone chilling murderous intent and monstrous rage, he endured the soul deep pain caused by Hollow's erosion. Riot Su surged all over his body, and the blade in his hand was pointed directly at Lan Yan. 
however. Call out! Before Bang Kai had time to use it, a dazzling golden light had already flooded Tsunia Shiro Lan Yuan's sight, like the sun coming to dust, dispersing everything in his field of vision, leaving only the golden light and a joke ringing in his ears. Ridicule! Speed is power, have you ever experienced a flash kick? Lan Yan stepped forward at the speed of light and kicked in the air, dragging the golden photon on the shoe and imprinting it on Tsunia Shiro Longbara's face. He didn't even have time to feel the sting and soreness caused by blindness, before he was kicked across the air by a light speed kick. Bang Kai who had just used half of the force was kicked back, and even the Zan Pakut in his hand was kicked back. He was also kicked out by Lan Yan's flash kick and flew out. Boom! Tsunia Shiro flew a hundred meters away, knocking away several hollow elders along the way, and finally crashed into the ruins, exploding into the Zero Three Sky Dust Pillar. After landing, he rolled around like a ball for several times before barely stopping. Click! There was a sound of cracking silk, and the virtual mask covering Tsunia Shiro Nagahara's face shattered. You, the heads of the four great nobles, are really terrifying. Just when the kicked Zan Pakut was about to hit the ground, Lan Yan reached out to catch Tsunia Shiro's Zan Pakut and said playfully while flicking the blade. Poof! Tsunia Shiro Nagahara, who had his hollow mask kicked to pieces and was kicked half to death, had just breathed a sigh of relief when he suddenly spat out another mouthful of blood mist. I don't know whether he was angry or hurt. Sorry, Master Lan Yan. It was my fault. I actually want you to do it yourself. Only then did Tosin Kanaim react and quickly took over the responsibility. In his opinion, he has been given the power of Hollow by Aizen, and Lan Yan should not take action at all. It's okay, yes. Even if you release the sword, it will not be easy to take down the Long Yuan clan leader who uses Bangkai. His Zan Pakut is still too dangerous for you now. After Bangkai, if you are hit, not even high-speed regeneration can save you. Lan Yan shook his head and did not blame Tosin Kanaim. For a dying man who is nothing more than Hollow's experiment, it's not worth it to sacrifice yourself. He seemed to have had enough of playing with Tsunia Shiro Nagahara's Zan Pakut, and casually threw it at his feet, like throwing away a tired and worn-out toy. When Tosin Kanaim heard this, he didn't say anything, but felt warm in his heart. His loyalty to Lan Yan was not engraved in his bones, but deep in his soul. The other side. When Tsunia Shiro Tokinata heard Lan Yan's words, he called himself, the superior patriarch of the Four Noble Clans, a hollow experiment. He was stunned and his anger rose again. Affected by his emotions, the erosion of his hollow instantly accelerated. The mask that had just been kicked to pieces not only quickly reunited, but also recovered quickly. The most important thing is that after the hollow deepened, it was not as strong as the original Kukaki Jinling. Total loss of mind. At most, his temperament is more violent and cruel than usual. Master Lan Yan. Lord Aizen. There are a total of 35 people from the Tsunia Shiro family and Branch House Hollow, but only three of them succeeded in Hollow. Seeing this scene, Yamada Senashuk looked around the audience again, and then said. Three. It's already quite a lot. It proves that compared to the Kukaki family's time, Hollow's technology is much more mature, and Hollow can be successful even without the help of Hgyaku's power. 35 save 1. This success rate is undoubtedly very low. But Eisenhong is quite satisfied with this. Because once Hgyaku's power is harnessed, Hollow's success rate will reach 100%. The reason why I insist on holding another Hollow feast in Tsunia Shiro is to try to increase the increase in Ryatsuo after the Hollow, in addition to clearing Tsunia Shiro Tokinata's debt. As the clan leader of the Four Nobles, Tsuna's Ryatsuo increase after taking the place of Longbaru Hollow was fully twice as high as that of Kukaki Jinling Hollow. All right, here comes the clan leader Tsunia Shiro and everyone else. To express my gratitude to you. I will personally wave my sword and give you a ride. Aizen said as he pulled out the Zanpakut from the scabbard. 
Who do you think you are? He's just a deputy captain. As for your brother, he still has some qualifications. Eisensuk, if you want to say this, go back and practice for another hundred years. Tsunaya Shiro Nakahara stood up, white riotsu substance spurted out from the broken arm, but in a blink of an eye, the arm that had been scattered by Tosin Kanem Siro had grown back. At the same time, during the hollow experiment, the two elders of Tsunaya Shiro who had survived also gathered around him. The three of them formed an encirclement and surrounded Aizen. Brother, since the Long Yuan clan leader has said so, and the Kukaki clan leader was ended by you last time, why not leave it to me this time? Aizen was not angry when he heard this, but smiled lightly, but his eyes under the framed mirror were as cold as knives. Unlike Lan Yan, he can only say this himself. But for others, they can only come and get a set of Kaika Suijitsu and a complete meal of Demon Sword Muramasa. Up to you. Lan Yan glanced at Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan and looked at him with pity. Death in his hands happened in an instant, and he didn't even have time to feel the pain before he went to see Tsunaya Shiro's makeup ancestor. But if you die at the hands of a forced king, you will have to suffer physical and mental torture before you can die in peace. The sky is shattered, Kaika Suijitsu, whispering in the ear, the demon sword Muramasa. With the name of Jafangyu and Shikai falling, the expressions of the three people headed by Tsunaya Shiro Longhara suddenly changed. Although the liberation language has changed, how could they not remember the name Muramasa? You must know that Kukaki Jinling relied on Hibiki and Muramasa in the opponent's hands to take away the title of the head of the nobles from Tsunaya Shiro. Throw Zanpaka away. Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara ignored his fear and immediately threw out the Zanpaka he had just picked up. At the same time, Ryatsu's consciousness spread out, guarding against the sneak attack of Zanpaka that could materialize at any time. As the person in charge of the Central 46 Auditorium, how could he not know Muramasa's abilities? Once Shikai, the Zanpaka in the palm will rebel, take control of the Shinigami's palm, and kill the master. Two other elders also performed similar actions at the same time. Throwing Zanpakut, I dare not hold it in my hand. Poof! Just when the three of them were on alert and alert to their surroundings, three Zanpakut came out from the left chest respectively, mixed with sticky blood, and dripped to the ground. No! Impossible! Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata lowered his head and glanced at Zanpakut who had revealed his heart. He found that his left chest and heart were instantly torn apart, and then half of his body was shattered into slag. He has mastered this ability for more than hundreds of years and half of it is unrecognizable. My! Bangkai! Tsunaya Shiro Long Yuan looked back, and what caught his eye was his transformed Zanpakut. He also used Bangkai, who had just been kicked back by Lan Yan's flash kick, to deal with him. How so? They have materialized, why can't we feel it at all? Also, when did Zanpakut come to the back? The same goes for the other two elders. They knew that Muramasa's ability would make Zanpakut materialize and rebel, so Ryatsu's consciousness was fully activated for the first time, but they were completely unaware of the appearance or approach of the materialized Zanpakut, and they did not even know that the opponent was wielding a knife from behind. He didn't react until his heart was penetrated. Why do you only care about Muramasa? Obviously I have already told you. Even Kaika Suijitsu's name was shouted out in front of you. Aizen chuckled and slowly sheathed the Zanpaka in his hand. Hallucination. I see, Hikifun Kiryu. The reason why she said that the murderer was Yura Harakisuk was entirely because you used Kaika Suijitsu on the captain and others. Everything they saw in the corridor of the great spiritual book was all an illusion created by you. After being stabbed by his own Bankai, Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara suddenly came to his senses when his life was about to end. Understand Aizen's Kaika Suijitsu ability, and also understand why Yura Harakisuk became the opponent's scapegoat. The same as you. Head of the Long Yuan clan. You have lived in Kaika Suijitsu from beginning to end. Aizen made another stab, 
speeding up the countdown for Tsunaya Shiro Nagahara. You. Cough cough cough. It's me, no, it's Xiang Ting who underestimated you. Aizen, please return. Tsunaya Shiro fell into a pool of blood with pain and regret on his face, and murmured in his mouth. I thought he was a Shinigami vice captain who lived completely under the protection of Lan Yan. It could even be said that he was Lan Yan's shadow and follower. He didn't understand until he was on the verge of death. This is not a useless brother, he is clearly a monster who stabbed a noble clan leader. Even if he is not as good as Lan Yan, Aizen can still dominate Godi I-13 by himself. Tisk tisk. Aizen ignored the three Tsunaya Shiro clan leaders and elders who were lying in a pool of blood, and took out the Hgyaka from his pocket. As the blue-black light bloomed, the souls of Shinigami in Tsunaya Shiro's mansion were collected one after another for feeding. Shinigami after eating half of the Soul King's sleep, and then eating all the holes of the Tsunaya Shiro family. As the founder of Hgyaku, he clearly felt that Hgyaku, which had always been like a glutton and couldn't get enough to eat, released a signal of satisfaction for the first time. Are you finally satisfied? When Aizen saw this, the glasses on the bridge of his nose reflected a startling cold light. Before. After eating half of the Spirit King's sleep, Hgyaku has reached a complete state, but like the evolved hollow, it requires a lot of spiritual power. Hgyaku in its complete state also requires a lot of spiritual power. Tsunaya Shiro's contribution to the whole family was undoubtedly the last piece of the puzzle for him. Of course, it also provided the final piece of the puzzle for Lan Yan's Hgyaku. As long as you train Zan Pakut, Ryatsu, Kid, Kendo, Whiteheads, Shunpo to the limit of Shinigami. At that time, Hgyaku's power can be used. Break the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow, and step into the next level beyond Shinigami and Hollow. Aizen smiled inwardly, looking forward to breaking the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow. Although Hgyaku can now be used to break boundaries, as the creator of Hgyaku, he is also a perfectionist. He knows that only after Zankanzuki, Ryatsu and Zanpakut have reached the limits of Shinigami, Hgyaku can be used for soul combinations. Only through exchange can he achieve the state he wants. This process includes making Hgyaku. He originally thought it would take more than a hundred years, but he never thought that Hgyaku had been created in less than a year. It would only take a little more time to train Shinigami's power test to ultimate. Brother, you shouldn't be far away from that step. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to use the Hgyaku of Matsumoto Rengeku, or? As you said before, just rely on your own power to break the boundary between Shinigami and Hollow. Thinking of this, Aizen couldn't help but look at Lan Yan beside him, feeling very curious. If someone else were to say this, he would sneer at it. After all, even if he creates the Kaofu Ichigu in the future, it is the combination of Hgyaku, the power of the Soul King, Shinigami, Hollow, and the perfection technique. Under the circumstances, the product of birth. This is why there is no boundary between Shinigami and Hollow, and Ryatsu is as improved as cheating. After all, Kurosaki cannot do without Hgyaku. After all, Subai's predecessor was created by Hgyaku's power. Only Lan Yan. When he said that he did not intend to use Hgyaku to break the boundaries between Shinigami and Hollow, the only thought in Aizen's heart was anticipation even fascination. He wanted to see if the person he was chasing could really do something that he thought was impossible. Master Lan Yan. I have arranged it. After we leave, Siridi I will only think that this is Yura Harakisuk's doing. It's all just to take revenge on the Tsunaya Shiro family and Central 46, and put the Yura Hara family in jail. Yamada Sainashuk came over and said respectfully. Let's go. Lan Yan nodded, turned around and walked towards the door of Tsunaya Shiro's mansion. Aizen also put Hgyaku away and walked alongside him. Others followed. Click. Just as the four turned their backs and walked towards the gate one after another, the ground suddenly cracked and cracks appeared, 
and the fiery riot so spewed out from the cracks, causing the Tsunia Shiro family who were wrapped in the barrier to it was like falling into a volcanic crater, and it was a volcanic crater that started spewing magma. The extremely hot riot so was like a wave of lava heat, filling every corner of the barrier. It was enough to trap the Godii captain to death, and even Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni, who was said to be able to trap even Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni for a moment, was actually showing tremors and vibrations visible to the naked eye under the burning fire of Ryatsu. Slightly twisted, like rubber burned by fire. Meld him, dark hound. Accompanied by a sudden cold scream, what seeped out of the crack was no longer the fire like Ryatsu, but the materialized surging magma. Boom! In the hot wave of magma rising from the ground, two giant lava dogs that were as huge as a small mountain stepped out with bared teeth and grinned. With just one swoop, they were like flying fireballs and pounced on the Lanyan brothers who had their backs turned to them. In front of. It's worth it. Not good. So hot. Tosin Kaname and Yamada Sainashuk only felt the rolling heat wrapping their bodies, but they had no time to react. Just because the whole process from the cracks on the surface, to the rising of Ryatsu, to the spouting of magma, until the last two giant lava dogs came to attack, seemed to have been a long time ago, but in fact it was all completed in a flash of lightning. Even Tosin Kaname, who had been strengthened by Hgyaku's power, could only hold Zanpaka in time, but the lava giant dog had already opened its bloody mouth and bit him, not everyone. Snort. You've offended Tsunia Shiro and you still want to walk away. It's not that easy. Among the lava towering into the sky, a figure wearing a death tyrant uniform, sleeveless red-bottomed Captain Hayori, tied with purple twin tails, and a black eye patch on his left eye stepped out. He held a knife in one hand and carried it on his shoulder. He was not tall, but his expression was extremely fierce and arrogant. He clearly has a riot so that is as blazing as fire, but there is a cold murderous aura lingering in his body like a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Come as soon as you say, leave as soon as you say. You little brats. What kind of place do you think this is? He stepped out of the lava, looked around the whole place, and looked in the direction of the four Lanyan people who were swallowed by the giant lava dog, with an evil and chilling smile on his lips. But immediately, the smile on his face solidified. Tisk tisk. Just because it was supposed to swallow up the four of Lan Yan in one go, the melted giant lava dog suddenly exploded into pieces and turned into pools of magma that flew away. Immediately afterwards, a golden light as bright as a star and a riot soul light shield came into view one after another. If you mean this place under your feet, it's just a relic of history, just like you. It's just a relic of the old times. Sato is immortal. Lan Yan put one hand in his pocket, his body covered in golden light like thick crystals, facing the Shinigami who attacked him. He is also the captain of the first generation Godii 6th Division. Sato is immortal. Whether it's Shinigami or Su, the back of the neck is the biggest blind spot. Do you think I would launch an attack on the Tsunia Shiro family without taking precautions here? Especially knowing that there may be you, the captain of the 6th Division 930, the strongest team in history. Aizen smiled lightly and had no intention of looking back. Did you already know that? Master Lan Yan. At this time, Tosin Kaname and Yamada Sainashuk, who had escaped, looked at Lan Yan who was wearing a dazzling golden light, and then at Aizen, who had a riot so shield suspended on his back, and felt extremely shocked in their hearts. Likewise Shinigami. We also arrived at Tsunia Shiro's residence. As a result, they knew nothing and were even more vulnerable to a sneak attack. Looking at the Lan Yan brothers next to them, it seems that nothing can stump these two people. Whether it's a sneak attack or a plot. It is impeccable no matter where it is. At this moment, the two deeply felt the gap between each other. Not only in terms of strength, but also in terms of ability, means, city government, etc., there is a huge gap in every aspect. 
Although there is a reason for Tsunaya Shiro's dissatisfaction, it is not unreasonable to destroy one of the four nobles. Facing Maizan Pakuchikai, you can actually handle it with ease. Looking at the Shinigami of this era, you can also be regarded as the leader. I also have to praise you brothers. Sato Immortal stepped on the big stone in front of him with his adeg foot. He first praised Brother Lan Yan, but the next second his expression suddenly became extremely violent. But none of this can be the reason why you can still leave alive after destroying Tsunaya Shiro. The words just fell. The riot so lingering on him surged together with the murderous aura. However, Brother Lan Yan's reaction next made him extremely shocked and angry. Aizen, it's my turn this time. No, the Kukaki Silver Bell belongs to you, and Tsunaya Shiro Longbara belongs to me. This is what we agreed before, but Sato's immortality is neither Kukaki nor Namiyo. Then let's use coins to solve the problem and leave it to God to decide whether he will die in my hands or in your hands. Okay, it's you from the front and me from the back. Facing one of the first generation Godii captains who is known as the strongest in history, Lan Yan and Aizen not only chose to turn their backs on Sato Immortal, they even took out a coin and threw it up as if no one else was watching. In midair, the coin was spinning and falling rapidly. Snap! With the sound of landing, the coin spun a few more times on the ground before stopping and falling at the feet of the two of them. Right side up. It's a pity. Aizen glanced at the face-up coin and felt a little disappointed. After all, he is the strongest first-generation Godii captain ever. After being separated for thousands of years, it is like killing one and missing one. Unlike most captains nowadays, he even has to wield a sword. Never mind. It would be nice to take the opportunity to see what level he has reached. The opponent is the captain of the 6th division of 1st generation. If you are lucky, you might be able to touch the hem of my brother's clothes. After thinking about it again, Aizen no longer felt pity. Just relying on Sato's immortality will definitely allow Lan Yan to show more power. Opportunities like this are rare. Rather than cutting off Sato's immortal head with his own hands, he wanted to see clearly the depth of Lan Yan. He is worthy of being a first-generation captain who came out of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. His vigilance and awareness are indeed not comparable to those of the Godii captains of this generation. But you don't have to be so nervous and open your only eye. Don't worry, Aizen, he won't take the opportunity to use Kaika Suijutsu. The coin toss beat the queen, and Lan Yan turned around. He couldn't help but praise Sato when he saw that Sato's immortal eyes that were not covered by the blindfold were kept tightly closed. This cautious vigilance that penetrates into the deepest part of the soul, the riot so consciousness that never relaxes, and the fighting consciousness like a beast. So far, he has only seen it on one Shinigami. Not Hikifun Kiryu, not Shudara Senjimaru, not Kiraku Shunsui and Jaishur Yukatake. But like Sato's immortality, he is also the captain of the first generation Godii, Anohana Yachiryu. During the Kendo battle in the Spiritual Arts Academy, he had experienced a feeling similar to the one brought to him by Sato Fusuka in front of him from Anohana Yazanryu. It was only by stepping on numerous bones and walking out of the pile of dead that this impeccable fighting consciousness and instinct could be forged. If I believe even one word from my enemy, I would have died a thousand years ago. When Sato Immortal heard this, he was not moved at all and still had his eyes closed. Anyway, for him, unless he is trapped in a bankai that takes away vision, hearing, taste, and Ryatso consciousness like Yama Cricket. Otherwise, fighting with Ryatso perception alone will not affect the performance of one's own combat power at all. It's not a matter of belief or disbelief. It's that soul society simply doesn't have an opponent worthy of Aizen and I joining forces. There is no Zanpaka worthy of joining forces with Kaika Suijutsu. Lan Yan spread his hands and said with a smile. It's better to wait until you step on my head to say such big words. The cold voice of Sato Immortal is still lingering in place, but the person is already carrying a blazing riot so and violent murderous aura. Shunpo ducks in front of Lan Yan, 
and Zanpakut spurts out hot magma in his hand, as if it is not a knife, but a mountain. Once it erupts, it can destroy Siridei's Ryatso volcano. The flaming lion roars. In an instant, the Ryatso magma surging from the blade had covered Sato's whole body. As he swung the sword, the magma around him suddenly turned into a giant magma lion. It opened its bloody mouth and teeth made of magma, biting into it. Lan Yan's head. As you wish. Lan Yan stood there calmly and calmly, not even intending to draw his sword. Facing the giant magma lion that was so close that it could melt through a mountain in one mouthful, he just glanced lightly. Had forbidden technique Amaterasu. How dare you face me without using Zanpakut? Sato, who released the rolling magma and turned into a giant lava lion, saw Lan Yan being so supportive and had no intention of pulling out Zanpakut. His eyes, which had never been so slighted in thousands of years, immediately turned cold, and the corners of his mouth cracked. Even bigger, revealing a ferocious killing intent. Even the Quincy King from thousands of years ago. Even the strongest Shinigami Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni in a thousand years. Don't dare to be so dismissive. Now, a fledgling Godi captain didn't even use Zanpakut, how could he not be furious? Boom! Black light flashed. The extremely blazing fire of Amaterasu swept out of Lan Yan's eyes. At first, it was no bigger than a wisp of fire. In less than a thousandth of a second, the fire of Amaterasu spread instantly, and the intensity of the fire increased a thousand times, like a torrent bursting from a dike, turning into a surging sea of black fire, drowning the giant lava lion that was just around the corner. Hiss! As bursts of white mist rose, the collision of magma and Amaterasu, and the fierce battle between Zanpakut and had pushed the temperature in the nearby area above the open temperature. The Tsunaya Shiro Mansion, which was already in ruins, was in a mess and was even more flooded by fiery red and pitch black. No matter which area it is, whether it is the area dyed red by the magma or the black area submerged by the fire of Amaterasu, the rocks, buildings, floors, wooden pillars, etc. are all melting rapidly, turning into hot liquid, and emerging. Lots of smoke. Tisk. At the same time, after a brief stalemate, the giant molten lion, which was as huge as a hill, melted at an alarming speed like a piece of butter thrown into the fire. Yes. The magma that can melt everything has become the target of being melted at this moment. Facing the fire of Amaterasu that spread in all directions, it was wrapped like a giant palm. When burned, the temperature was as high as magma, and it could only be melted away. After burning the giant lava lion, the fire of Amaterasu went straight in and surrounded it, like a wave set off by the sea, engulfing everything on the shore, completely submerging the immortal Sato who was close at hand. Call out! A hundred meters away, there was a black pillar that was scorched and bursting with flames. A figure that was completely charred and black, like a figure rushing out of a sea of fire, appeared in a flash, stepping on the burning broken pillar. Relying on the powerful Shunpo, as well as thousands of years of accumulated combat experience and impeccable combat consciousness, Sato Immortal rushed out before the fire of Amaterasu closed. The first thing he did was not to check his injuries, but to turn back towards the blazing fire. Looking at the fire of Amaterasu, even with his eyes closed, he could clearly perceive it with Ryatso perception alone. My own dark hound is vulnerable. No. Impossible. The little had released by a mere rookie captain can actually burn the magma released by my Zanpakut dark hound. It's just, ridiculous. Sato Immortal murmured, his voice filled with long-lost horror. It's not like he has never encountered something similar to what he was seeing before him. Thousands of years ago, Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni formed a killer group, and when he was recruited to join the group, he had experienced the horror of burning magma. The only one who can burn my magma is Regen Jaka of Genri Yusai. Is it possible? That kid gave up chanting and struck had at will. The temperature and destructive power of the flames are comparable to Genri Yusai's Regen Jaka. 
Sato's immortal mind was filled with thoughts, and the fear in his heart became more intense. Killing fists and walking away ghosts. Although they are all Shinigami's abilities, Zanpaka is definitely the strongest. Until the fight, in his eyes, Lan Yan was just a Shinigami bud, at best stronger than the other Godei captains, but now, this bud actually burned his Dark Hound's magma with Had. This long lost shock is exactly the same as when I went back thousands of years and met Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni for the first time and faced Rijin Jaka directly. Why run away? Didn't you say that I don't have a reason to leave here alive? If you want to swing a knife at me, you should get closer to me. The fire of Amaterasu that rolled and surged like a wave suddenly spread out and lined up on both sides, forming a passage. Lan Yan stepped on the hot ground, and walked step by step towards Sato's immortality, protected and greeted by the fire of Amaterasu like courtiers on both sides. Lan Yan Sato's immortal face looked a little ugly. He did indeed escape just now. If you don't leave, it will end up like the burned magma, being burned by the flames of Amaterasu and disappearing into ashes. After all, the strongest first-generation captain in history is also a body of flesh and blood. Isn't he a kid? Lan Yan asked back with a smile. I advise you to have a sense of respect for your seniors. When Lao Zi was the captain of the Godii, you were not even a spirit child. Lan Yan Suk. Sato Immortal shouted sharply, stepped forward, held the knife in both hands, and the magma spewed out again, but this time it was not released like before, but instead wrapped around the blade, expanding and expanding. Zero, please give me flowers. Indeed, in terms of temperature, even I must admit that magma is not as good as your flame. But, you don't think that my dark hound only has the high temperature of magma, right? The words have not yet finished. He had jumped up, and the moment he slashed down with his hands, the surging magma had turned into a huge lava sword, carrying a blazing edge that burned everything and cut everything, and struck Lan Yan head on. Red Lotus Flame Killing Blade before the giant lava knife fell, the scorching black shadow had already poured down, completely covering the area of 100 meters in radius, causing bursts of white smoke to appear from the ground, and even starting to collapse. It can be imagined that the power of this knife is not just as simple as the high temperature of the magma. Zero. Lava. It seems you still don't understand. Amaterasu is your superior Zanpakut. Lan Yan slowly raised his head and looked at the giant lava knife falling from the sky. There was no look of surprise on his face, and he had no intention of dodging or retreating. As he raised his right hand slightly, the golden light covering his body immediately surged, turning into giant golden hands, and stretched out towards the fire of Amaterasu that was burning on both sides behind him. Had Forbidden Technique Flame Control The Fire of Amaterasu which was originally quiet and boundless, immediately rose into the sky as if it had received an order from its master. It was no longer released in one go as before, but formed a candle in mid-air with the same shape as Lan Yan. The Amaterasu blade is exactly the same, but its size is enlarged dozens or hundreds of times. Use Amaterasu as the sword and golden light as the arm. The moment Amaterasu took the blade, Photon immediately jumped and slashed. Poof! On one side is a giant lava knife that is as hot as magma and has the impact of a volcanic eruption. On one side is the Amaterasu blade whose temperature is as high as region Jaka, and can even burn lava. This scene fell into the eyes of Tosin Kaname and Yamada Sainashuk in the distance, and they were mentally prepared for a fierce collision like a fight between dragons and tigers. But what I didn't expect was... Amaterasu and Magma black and fiery red. Blades and blades. Once the two intersect, they are like ice and flames. There is no earth-shattering collision, no stalemate and fierce battle, only a break at the touch. Click. Accompanied by the sound of cracking silk. The magma blade released by Sato's immortality was cut into two halves on the spot. Evenly matched? Deadlocked? No. 
In front of Lan Yan's head forbidden technique flame control, Sato's immortal red lotus flame killing blade couldn't even hold on for a moment, and was defeated across the board. Cut in two. How come? This scene made Sato's eyes widen and his face showed emotion when he saw the immortality. Call out. At this time. Lan Yan's raised right hand gently swung down, as if cutting off a leaf, without using much strength. The golden palm that had just cut off the giant lava sword followed him like a shadow, and he swung the sword brazenly. The blade of Amaterasu turned into a black blade light that evaporated and passed over Sato's immortal body. Boom! With the sound of heavy objects falling to the ground, the lava blade that had been cut off and flew out fell to the ground like a meteorite falling from the sky. Not far away. Sato Immortal appeared in a flash, but his left shoulder was already empty, and one arm completely disappeared, cut off and burned four, five, three. After landing. He said nothing and turned to face Lan Yan. After having one arm cut off. His reaction was extremely abnormal. He didn't yell. The pain of breaking his arm couldn't even make him groan. In addition, it seems that the previous violence and arrogance has been restrained, but the corners of the mouth are gradually raised, the tongue is slowly stuck out, and the riot so around the body rises instead of falling. He he he. Ha 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 ha. The immortal Sato stuck out his tongue and laughed evilly, holding the Zanpaka with his remaining right arm, and gently stabbed the blade into the ground. Click. With Zanpakut as the center, hundreds of cracks extend in all directions like a giant python emerging from its cave. In the blink of an eye. Inside the barrier, the ruined Tsunia Shiro mansion became like a dry riverbed, riddled with holes and covered with spider web cracks. Bang Kai scorched hell. Accompanied by an evil laugh and roar, every crack was like a volcano crater, with fiery magma spewing out. With just one encounter, the ground had completely collapsed and was occupied by continuously spewing magma, like a sea of magma and fire thousands of miles away. Just like his Zanpakut Bankai name. Hot hell. The earth is covered with magma, and everything is burned, as if hell is coming. After Sato immortalized Bankai, he didn't even launch any attack, but already turned Tsunia Shiro's mansion, which covers an area of dozens of kilometers into a hell filled with only magma and fire. Affected by the sea of magma and fire, the barriers on all four sides were twisted crazily and were about to be broken on the spot. Fortunately. At the critical moment, Aizen raised his palm, and with his own strength, he raised a stronger building that could withstand the aftermath of the two people's battle. It replaced the Shixiang realm gate that took Yamada Sainashuk ten years to build. It's just that the barrier is stable, but the sea of magma above the sea of fire is like an ocean current, cooked by the blazing high temperature until it becomes extremely viscous, causing ripples to appear. If it's a vice-captain level Shinigami, no, even a general Godii captain. After Sato became immortal and Bankai, he didn't even need to take action. He just triggered the sea of magma and fire, which could swallow up and burn the Godii captain. Not to mention. At this point, not only is Zanpakuta's true form and power unleashed, but his Ryatsu as a Shinigami has also reached astonishing heights. Thousands of years of accumulation are displayed without reservation at this moment. Below, there is a raging, blazing magma current flowing like a sea. Above, Ryatsu surged and rolled, and every gram of air and all spiritual energy became extremely hot. Shinigami and Zanpakut. The two combined really turned the space inside the barrier into a scorching hell. This still has the constraints of enchantment. Otherwise, if the magma spreads, the scope of this hell will at least double. It's no wonder that with only 13 people, the Quincy army commanded by Waiwak was almost completely wiped out. Even without the veteran Chur Sasakibe stabbing Waiwak in the back, the Quincy would have been defeated. Lan Yan stood in midair, looking at the sea of lava and fire under his feet, feeling enlightened. Captain of the first generation Godii. All of them hold AoE type Zanpakut, and are ruthless in nature. 
They use their hands without any worries and do not care about the life and death of the people and things around them. They use their strength and Zanpakuta's abilities to the ultimate. What these captains are thinking about is not how to defeat their opponents, but how to kill them by any means necessary. It was obviously Waiwak who invaded Soul Society, but it turned into a Quincy's battle to defend Soul Society. How? Sato Immortal sat down on the sea of lava and fire, raised his right foot, supported it with his arms, raised his head to face Lan Yan, and licked the corner of his mouth with his tongue. After Bankai, the temperature is no worse than Rijin Jaka. Lan Yan flicked his fingers. A wisp of Amaterasu Sea of Fire landed on the Sea of Lava Fire. Instead of burning up the magma like butter and then burning through it, it became a stalemate. Apparently. This is no longer comparable to the magma in Chikai, let alone the magma of a thousand degrees in nature. After Bankai, the lava can submerge the earth and turn it into a scorching hell, with the temperature comparable to region Jaka. Is it just the temperature? Sato's right hand holding the sword gently struck, and the blade plunged into the sea of lava and fire, stirring up. Boom! Dozens of huge pillars of lava fire rose from the ground, carrying temperatures comparable to the surface of the sun, as well as destructive power that penetrated the earth's surface and penetrated mountains, blasting towards Lan Yan from all directions. Is this the caliber of the first generation Godi captain? They are completely different Shinigami from the Godi captain of this era. Looking at the lava fire pillars stretching across the sky, each one is more than a hundred meters long, and they can continue to stretch. A pillar of fire of this scale could be released by Sato Immortal Zanpaka with just a random shake. How about going all out? At this moment, Tosin Kaname and Yamada's hearts were completely filled with shock. Had forbidden technique flame control. Facing the pillars of lava and fire coming from different directions, Lan Yan still had no intention of dodging. He just released golden light and turned it into six golden palms in one breath. He held a shield transformed from the fire of Amaterasu to resist dozens of lava fire pillars. During Shikai, when the magma comes into contact with Amaterasu, it burns out in just a few seconds. After Bankai, Magma, and Amaterasu fought again and ended up in a stalemate. Boom! Along with the roar like a volcanic eruption, shock waves like ripples, mixed with Amaterasu and Magma rushed out in all directions. After the black smoke dissipated, Lan Yan stood motionless in the distance, but the guards were beside him, and the Amaterasu shields held by the golden hands had been scattered. This scene is undoubtedly telling him that Sato, who is immortal in Bankai state, already has the 3.0 ability to defeat Amaterasu and flame control head-on, and is qualified to fight him head-on. It is completely different from Kukaki Jinling, who has the strongest water system Zanpakut, but does not have the strongest Shinigami. The captain of the first generation who is fully equipped with combat power cannot be dismissed by just one or two kid. What now? Sato Immortal stood up from the sea of lava and fire. At the same time, the lava rose up and landed on his shoulders, forming a magma arm, replacing the broken arm that was cut off by Amaterasu. Sato is immortal. First generation Godi captain. Okay, I admit that you are qualified to die under my Zanpakut. Lan Yan put his hand on the handle of the sword and pulled Zanpakut out of the scabbard. This is the first time he has held a sword since he faced Sato Fufu. Unlike Shikai, who is dismissive of his opponent, he only uses Kid to fight against the enemy. Facing Sato's immortal Bankai, he chose to draw his sword. This is an honor earned by the other party based on strength. Open your eyes, Zhu Yin. Lan Yan whispered, and upon hearing his call, the Zanpaka in his hand disappeared leaving only a curl of golden light falling on his right arm. From a distance, it looks like a photon fist blade made entirely of golden ryatsu, just enough to cover the palm of your hand. Is this your Bankai? Completely different from what I expected. This is the first time I've seen such a small Bankai. Sato Immortal closed his eyes and looked at the golden light covering Lan Yan's right hand with his ryatsu consciousness. 
Do not misunderstand. This is nothing but my Shikai. Still half Shikai. Lan Yan saw that Sato Immortal had obviously misunderstood something, so he spoke. In a fight with me, are you going to use this little Shikai instead of Bangkai? Sato Immortal's face instantly darkened when he heard this. It turned out that he was ready to have a heart-watering battle to the death after a thousand years of absence. After all, Siridi I is suppressed by Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni. As early as a thousand years ago, he noticed that the other party had changed, and after Godii 13 also changed, he no longer wanted to be the captain of the Godii. There are a lot of rules and regulations, so it's better not to do it. 03 This is exactly the case. He has not taken action with all his strength for a thousand years. I only said that you are qualified to die under my Zan Pakut, and I did not say that I would use Bangkai to fight you. After hearing this, Lan Yan couldn't help laughing. You mean I'm not worthy enough for you to use Bangkai? Although Sato Immortal was still smiling evilly, his expression became ferocious. You probably want to die under my Bangkai you are a thousand years too early. Even if you are the captain of first generation division 5. Lan Yan corrected. Really? I understand. In response to your bluster. I will use this scorching hell, which has the second most attack power after region Jaka in the heat system, to burn all five of your bodies to pieces. Sato Fu La Fu Dai was completely angry. He paced and dodged, surrounded by the overwhelming heat, and rushed in front of Lan Yan. The blade was just sweeping and slashing, and a lava slash wave hundreds of meters long hit Lan Yan. Driven by anger, he held back anything. Every move he made showed the fierceness of the first generation captain who killed countless Quincy thousands of years ago. Looking at the huge lava chop wave as close as a mountain, Lan Yan's eyes flashed with a smile and then he stretched out his hand unhurriedly, and thrust forward ten times with his two fingers together. Poof! The golden light lingering in the palm suddenly surged, covering hundreds of meters in an instant, as if a lava slashing wave connected to the sky and to hell was cutting off the middle. Clang! After slashing the lava in half, a golden slash drove straight in like a holy sword and landed in front of Li Kuo, who had a quiet face. In the flash of light and stone, the awareness and experience of millennia of forging are vividly displayed. Although he was shocked by Lan Yan's ability to cut off the lava slash wave with a flick of his sword, his body seemed to be independent of the control of his brain. He raised the sword on his own, gathered the hot Ryatsu, and blocked the oncoming golden slash. Boom! Swords clashed. He just felt like he was dreaming back thousands of years facing Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni at his peak, and facing Region Jaka with full firepower. The boundless sharpness and the speed of the sword that overwhelmed lightning all made the captain of the 6th division of the 1st generation feel cold all over. As sparks bloomed, Ryatsu, as majestic as a mountain torrent, vented from both sides, slashing like a holy sword and lava like hell, dyeing the barrier into fiery red and gold making it clear that there is no longer any color. Snort. Suddenly, a muffled groan came out. Sato Immortal held the sword in one hand, and the arms made of lava pressed against the back of the sword, carrying the golden slash that was close at hand. Even though his feet pulled out bursts of smoke in midair, he still couldn't stop his body from falling backwards. Boom. This retreat is 100 meters. He fell directly from the air until his back hit him on the sea of lava and fire created by Bankai, causing a wave of magma to reach the sky, and he was able to stabilize his body. Is this really Shikai? How long has he been practicing? I heard that kid from Long Yuan say that this new captain named Lan Yansuk has only been practicing for less than a year. Sato felt his hand holding the knife tremble and couldn't help but take a deep breath. It is simply much more terrifying than the Fujian used by Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni holding Zan Pakut. The most important thing is Lan Yan's training time. Not even a year. Compared with him, it is not even a fraction. It's enough to defeat you, Shikai. 
Just when Sato was immortal and terrified, Lan Yan, who was standing in the sky, just raised his feet and took a step. The person had disappeared in the distance, turning into a golden light that stretched across the sky and the earth, flashing to his side. Directly above, the five fingers came together to form a palm and fell straight down. Clang! The golden light is released, and the holy sword is vertical and horizontal. The air split in half along with the lava. The deepest part of the sea of lava and fire. A figure holding a knife, with his back against the ground that had been burned red by lava, struggled to carry the golden light and slash. Click. Poof. Two sounds of tearing silk were heard in succession. At the first sound, the ground on which Sato's immortal back was leaning cracked. With the second sound, the golden slash pressed his zanpakut to his chest, crushed his bangkai scorching hot hell, and cut out a sharp incision that penetrated into his organs. Blood spurted out, staining the sea of lava and fire that was split on both sides, and white smoke suddenly appeared. Hiss. Using Riot's perception, Tosin Kanaim couldn't help but take a breath after sensing this scene. Just two swords at hand. The first sword knocks Sato immortal out of the sky. The second sword cut off the sky and the sea of lava and fire. Even the earth at the bottom of the sea of fire could not withstand the sharpness of the holy sword, leaving a gap of pride. Sato, who was immortal, was cut into the ground and was bleeding. The speed of light. 680 as sharp as a holy sword. Is this really a Shikai? Wait. He seemed to have mentioned just now that this is just a half Shikai. Sato Immortal gasped in pain and was so frightened that he almost felt like if his reaction had been any slower, even a thousandth of a second, he would have been struck like the sky or the sea of lava in front of him. In half. At this time, he suddenly remembered what Lan Yan had said before. This is only half Shikai of Candela. Before, he was so angry that he didn't listen at all. Now that he thought about it, he immediately started sweating. As if in response to Sato's immortality. The thing he least wanted to see happened after all. After slashing Sato immortal to the ground, Lan Yan did not pursue the light speed again, but opened his left hand. Close your eyes, Zhu Yin. As soon as he finished speaking, the scabbard hanging on his waist disappeared, just like Zan Pakut before. It seems that the bright and dim light of the holy sword is the blade. And the dark candle shadow in the black flame posture is the scabbard. Only the holy sword that can accommodate all darkness can trap the holy sword that cuts off everything. After completely Shikai. Lan Yan spread his left hand, palm facing up, and a wisp of dark flame curled up. It was obviously only the size of a palm, but at the moment it was ignited the air in all directions instantly became extremely heavy, and the terrifying gravity spread to all directions, like mercury pouring down the ground, and even compressed the sky to the point where rippling air formed a terrifying phenomenon. Same as those two students from Yuan Luzai. Paired Zan Pakut. Ryatsu senses the changes around him. Even though he has killed countless strong men and Quincy, Sato, who has long forgotten what fear is, can't help but feel tingling in his heart. Although the wisp of black flame in Lan Yan's palm looks quite similar to the previous Amaterasu flame, both are black flames in appearance, but the former is darker and the latter is lighter, but Ryatsu's perception and beast-like consciousness are all telling he, the two are not the same at all. Amaterasu's flames are, at best, as hot as Regen Jaka. But what about that wisp of black flame in front of me? Not a trace of heat leaked out, as if it was just an illusion, but in fact, the black flames the size of a palm, rising slightly, released a gravitational torrent that distorted and collapsed the sky. Boom! This moment. Sato Immortal not only never mentioned the matter of asking Lan Yan to use Bankai, but also raised the red Zan Paka with his right hand and pointed it directly at Lan Yan as fast as he could in his life. Boom! Accompanied by a loud sound that shook the heaven and earth, like the roar of beasts, one after another magma fireballs with a diameter of hundreds of meters rose into the sky. In an instant, 
the top of the sky inside the barrier was occupied by hundreds of magma fireballs, like stars hanging in the sky, blooming with bright firelight and steaming heat. Molten Stars Seeing Lan Yan further liberate Zhu Yin Sato Immortality no longer cares whether his all-out effort will destroy the entire Godi I-13, let alone whether Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni will watch the Siridei I burned and buried by the lava stars after the war and turned into scorched earth. Carrying Regen Jaka, he killed himself with his own hands. Faced with Lan Yan, who showed full Shikai, he put everything on the line. The Power of Bankai Ryatsu accumulated over a thousand years. All in one moment, it reaches its ultimate level. He was completely pursuing the goal of destroying Spleen Lanyan at all costs. Die. Sato Immortal raised his sword and slashed. The magma fireball entrenched in the zenith of the barrier immediately poured down, like stars falling, dragging, and burning all the heat, blowing up the surface of the earth, and the terrifying impact of tearing, blasting towards Lanyan who was in mid-air. Even. Even the latest Aizen, Yamada Senashuk, and Tosin Kanaim were included in this attack. With the entire Godi I-13 and so many Shinigami at your funeral, you deserve to die. The immortal Sato grinned and stuck out his tongue, laughing wildly. He seemed to have seen the scene of Lan Yan being destroyed by the overwhelming magma fireball. However, Lan Yan smiled lightly, and even raised his head to look at the magma stars that covered the sky. He directly raised his left hand, slightly released the burning black flame in his hand, and then... Boom! The flame suddenly twisted and rotated, turning into a black spot only the size of a finger. The surrounding atmosphere immediately appeared to be folding and collapsing. Immediately afterwards, hundreds of magma stars stopped suddenly before they could fall on him, and then, like small fish and shrimps swept away by the giant Uzumaki, they spun towards the tiny black dot. Obviously, the volume of a random magma fireball is more than a thousand times that of the black spot in Lan Yan's palm, but this small black spot seems to be attached to Doughty's mouth. In just one or two seconds, it will fall like a dragon sucking water. The magma fireball that came down, swallowed it up. With a single movement, he swallowed up a cluster of magma that was enough to destroy most of Godi I-13. Lan Yan withdrew his four fingers, put only one index finger against the black spot, and pushed it forward slightly. Tisk tisk. The black spot that was originally no more than the size of a fingernail instantly expanded more than 10,000 times, turning into a dark sphere as black as ink and full of terrifying gravity, like a black sun, hanging in the sky, completely covering up and replacing Soul Society's moon. There wasn't even any sign of movement. The moment it took shape, a terrifying gravitational wave was set off, spreading throughout the entire building like a storm. Even Aizen had to go all out to release Ryatsu in order to barely maintain the barrier from being torn apart by the gravity surrounding the black ball. Farewell, Captain of the 6th Division of 1st Generation. Sato is immortal. Lan Yan looked down at the earth, chuckled, and then pressed his index finger down on the giant black ball. Dark Emperor. If Sato's immortal molten star cluster just now was equivalent to the falling stars, the giant black ball dropped by Lan Yan now is the sun falling from the sky. It's just that this sun is pitch black and deep and will not shine on the earth. Although it will burn, it has no temperature and will only attract and distort everything. Even the Quincy King, Waiwak, couldn't kill me back then. Sato Bora's face was twisted and full of ferocity without the wild and evil smile just now. Facing the dark sun. He did not run away in fear, but showed the ferocity and war-loving nature of the first-generation Godii captain, and kept waving the Zanpaka in his hand. Every time you swing your sword, the lava sea under your feet will shoot out dozens of huge magma fire pillars, like volcanic craters erupting one after another, carrying the impact of volcanic eruptions, hitting the black sun in groups, trying to stop it this black sun sets, supporting it. Poof! The moment when the magma fire pillar touches the black sun. The first second was like dough that had been kneaded by someone, twisted into a ball by gravity. 
The next second it was shattered into spirit slag, unable to even maintain the posture of magma. Lan Yan Suk. It's not over yet. Don't underestimate the first generation captain who bears the name of the Godii. Seeing hundreds of pillars of magma and fire rising up, and within two seconds, they were all shattered into slag. Sato Immortal still did not give up, and stabbed the blade into the sea of lava and fire with his backhand. Tisk tisk. Centered on the blade, the powerful attraction spreads. The sea of lava and fire that submerged the entire Tsunayi residence was completely sucked into the blade in an instant. Hell Flame Blade. After sealing the entire sea of lava fire into Zan Pakut and forging a lava blade that melted everything, he stepped forward instead of retreating. He stepped on the scorched earth with both feet and jumped towards the black sun falling from the sky. He tightened the fingers holding the knife and dragged it in mid-air. A red sword light burned through the atmosphere and slashed down. Boom! The sword balls collided, and a terrifying magma gravitational wave swept through all directions like a hurricane, sweeping every corner of the entire barrier in an instant. The charred earth. Rocks burned by magma. Everything inside the barrier was reduced to ashes in an instant. Asterisk Bakud number 81 splitting void triple. It was just the aftermath, even someone as strong as Aizen had to maintain the barrier while releasing Bakud. He even used the kid technique that he had just developed some time ago, similar to Lan Yan's abandonment of duet singing. In an instant, Three layers of splitting void walls rose from the ground to resist the invading magma gravitational waves. After doing all this, he looked around, and his eyes under the framed mirror suddenly shrank to the size of a pinhole. I saw the Zanpaka and Sato's immortal hand, bending back bit by bit, gradually forming an angle of almost 90 degrees, and then rotating and twisting like a ball of twists. Click. With the sound of the blade breaking, Zanpaka, who has the second strongest fire-based attack power. Hot hell. In response, it was shattered into blades all over the sky. My Zan Pakut. As the scorching hell was shattered, the huge black sun immediately set. Sato's immortal eyes widened, and he only had time to flash a hint of shock before the man and the broken knife were submerged by the all-devouring black sun, and then fell to the ground. There was no earth-shattering explosion or torrent of energy raging in all directions as Tosin Kaname and others expected. After swallowing up all the Zanpakut fragments along with Sato's immortality, the black sun entrenched on the earth began to compress crazily. From several kilometers in diameter, it shrank to hundreds of meters, then to tens of meters, and finally shrank to the original black dots the size of a fingernail. Call out! Lan Yan reached out and made a move, and the small black hole immediately flew towards him. The moment it fell into the palm of his hand, it quickly turned into a black flame. Only a barrier was left that was twisted into an irregular shape. And a huge basin. As for Sato's immortality, and the scorching hell of the heat-type Zan Pakut, second only to Rijin Jaka, it was completely shattered directly from the spirit level. Finished. Sensing Sato's immortal riot so completely disappeared from soul society, Tosin Kaname still looked like he had just woken up from a dream. This battle was completely beyond his understanding of the Godii captain and beyond his knowledge of Shinigami. The first generation captain is not the same Shinigami at all compared to every subsequent Godii captain. A hero as powerful as Sato who is immortal and participated in the Quincy's invasion of soul society a thousand years ago. In the end, he can only use two swords and one finger. Master Lan Yan. You are not far from the top of Shinigami, right? Yamada Sainashuk's eyes slowly closed. It seemed that only in this way could he stop the shock that surged from his heart into his eyes. Thanks to the fact that he once worked under Tsunaya Shiro Tokinata. Not only did he learn about the unknown history of Soul Society, but he also understood the power of Captain Godii of the first generation. Leaving aside the Zero Division, Siridei's peak combat power is Captain First Generation Godii. The results of it. He holds the second largest scorching hell in the heat department. Sato Fuse faced Lan Yan who only used Shikai, 
but he couldn't make three moves. What an amazing power! In Godi I-13, the only one who can fight you head-on is Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni. Elder brother! Aizen stared deeply at Lan Yan. The right hand is the holy sword that cuts off everything, and the left hand is the 980 black flame that devours all things. Can see the complete Shikai's light and darkness. This coin is worth it. He spread his fingers and looked at the coin in his palm, a smile flashed across his eyes under the framed mirror. Although he lost to Lan Yan in the coin toss, and then missed the opportunity to learn about his own strength by fighting against Sato Immortal, Aizen still felt that his loss was worth it after witnessing the complete Shikai of Shining Candle Yin and Dark Candle Yin. Master Lan Yan, you don't look happy. Watching Lan Yan fall from the sky, Yamada Sainashuk found that the other party was not as happy as he expected after killing Sato Immortal. Tosin Kanem was thoughtful when he heard this. He thought of Zhiyonghi back then, but because Yamada Sainashuk was there, he didn't speak. I regret that I was too harsh. Aizen came over and explained in Japanese what the other person was thinking. I overestimated the captain of the 6th Division of 1st Generation. I thought that the last blow would only wipe out five of his bodies from the spiritual level, but I never thought that it would also wipe out the Zan Pakut scorching hell. Lan Yan nodded, with a hint of regret in his voice. Zan Pakut is second only to Rijin Jaka in terms of attack power and age among the heat type. It's a bit of a waste to destroy it like this. If I keep it, I won't be able to use it, but if I give it to others, it can just make up for the Yama Cricket's lack of attack power. From the beginning, he held the idea that Sato would be killed forever but left in the scorching hell. Have no choice. He overestimated the strength of the first generation Godi captain and underestimated the training speed of his own Zan Pakut and Ryatsu. The evolved candle shadow. Even if it's just a complete Shikai, it's still enough to crush Saibulao Immortal's solution. Even. If he lets go, even Zan Pakut will be completely destroyed. Master Lan Yan. Tosin Kanem on the side felt a surge in his heart when he heard Lan Yan's words. He did not expect that Lan Yan's original intention was to leave Sato's scorching hell of immortality to himself. Although he missed it, instead of feeling dissatisfied or disappointed, he was extremely moved. Yes, it seems you have to wait until next time. Lan Yan said to Tosin Kanem. Thank you, Lord Lan Yan, for taking the trouble. Even without the scorching hell. With the power of hollow given by Aizen Sama. I have been able to defeat most Godi captains today. Tosin Kanem half knelt down. Although he had not been able to completely defeat the Tsunia Shiro clan leader before, he still had the sword to free himself. That is, return to the edge. As long as Bangkai is combined with Gui Ren, he is confident that he can clear most obstacles in the way for Lord Lan Yan. Yes, keep your eyes open. Don't consider this Godi captain as your opponent. At best, it is just a small scenic line on the way to the throne of heaven. It is insignificant. Don't miss it, it will only stop you here. Lan Yan shook his head. Who are these Godi captains? Rokukurukan, Ade, Nishi, the Ryatsu unit of measurement of the captain level Shinigami. Torabashi RJR, Battlefield Commentator. Even for Hiroko Shinji, Shikai fights the boss and Bankai clears the minions. If the captains of Yamamoto Genrisai and Anohana Yazanriha were evil monsters who were actually killers in the name of the Godii, then the captains of Hiroko Shinji and Maguru Makensei are just a bunch of crooks in the name of captains. Split Dates I understand, Lord Lan Yan. Tosin Kanem heard Lan Yan's words and kept them in mind. Master Lan Yan the arrangements have been made. At this time, Yamada Sainashuk came back. While several people were talking, he had rearranged the ruins of Tsunia Shiro. No way. Although it had been arranged once before, Lan Yan and Sato's immortal battle directly erased all traces. Let's go. I think our friends will like this gift. Lan Yan nodded. 
Tosin Kanaim on the side heard the words and released a white cloth from his right hand, which flew and rotated around everyone, raising waves of sand and dust. Call out! The next second, Kianban White Snake had disappeared from the ruins with four people. What followed was that the barriers covering all this collapsed one by one. A chaotic and violent Ryatsuo atmosphere filled the air. Although not powerful, it still attracted the attention of the Shinigami patrolling nearby. But on the way Shinigami heard the news. At the door that was the only symbol of the existence of Tsunaya Shiro's mansion, a piece of dark grey cloth suddenly fell, and then Yura Harakisuk wearing a black cloak seemed to walk out of the air. Only the dead domineering costume is left. Lan Yan. Damn it, it's still a step too late. Yura Harakisuk looked around, and Ryatsu's consciousness spread. Regardless of the five senses or the Ryatsu perception, in addition to capturing the messy Ryatsu that is a mixture of Shinigami and Minos Grande remaining in the air, there are clothes everywhere. Some of them are ordinary dead bully outfits. There are aristocratic costumes that can only be worn by members of the Tsunaya Shiro family and branch houses. One step behind, every step behind. Really? Another step too late for you, Dip. When Yura Harakisuk saw this scene, his face was as gloomy as water. As quick-witted as he is, he feels extremely troubled and troubled at this moment. Just wanted today, the Urahara family has just been jailed. The hollow incident occurred at Tsunaya Shiro's residence that night. Both the main house and the branch house were spared. At this time, he had already imagined how Siridei would react if he knew what was happening here. Don't say anything else. The charges that Lan Yan brothers put on his head were equivalent to being completely welded to death. Why? Sensing that the Ryatsu were getting closer and closer to him, Yura Harakisuk knew that he could not reappear, so he could only put on the invisibility cloth and hide in the dark. While waiting for Shinigami to arrive after hearing the news, he secretly observed the scene, trying to find clues that were beneficial to him and how to win the game. Yes. The first game of the game with the Lan Yan brothers had already been lost, a complete defeat. Even he couldn't think of any way to break the game and could only pin his hopes on the next game. This Ryatsu. Mixed with the aura of Shinigami and Hollow. After Kukaki, is it Tsunaya Shiro this time? It must be Yura Harakisuk. What a fast move, what a ruthless heart. He is responding to Central 46, telling those sages that if he can destroy Tsunaya Shiro, one of the four nobles, tonight, he can destroy the four-legged family tomorrow night. Soon, figures wearing death tyrant outfits came one after another. Not only the Shinigami patrolling nearby, but also Godi 13 were alerted. Soon, several Godi captains arrived after hearing the news. Seeing this scene, their faces immediately became heavy. Same as the hollow that happened at the Kukaki mansion. It's definitely the handiwork of the same person. It's just that this person's hollow technology should have improved compared to before. Judging from the traces at the scene, there should be several members of Tsunaya Shiro's tribe who have withstood the erosion of hollow, mastered this power, and fought with the killers engaged in a fight. Anohana Yacharyu surveyed the scene and inspected the Death B.A. costumes everywhere, as if he was witnessing it with his own eyes, and the conclusion he gave was very consistent with the facts. Yura Harakisuk Kirako Shunsui looked around, his face a little gloomy. Based on the evidence we have so far, it is 9 out of 10 that it is him. Of course, there's Hibiki and Hibiki. After all, Ryatso can't fool anyone but they probably left in a bit of a hurry, and many traces were not erased in time. Captain of the Beijing Orchestra, you can check it out. You may find something unexpected. Ms. Hiwabakian Liu reminded. You mean, him? Kirako Shunsui was startled at first, then reacted suddenly, leaned over and reached out to grab it from the ground. Even after being attracted and devoured by Lan Yan's Dark Emperor, the residual heat from the burning lava still remains on the ground. This kind of temperature can't be wrong. Apart from Mr. Shan, 
there is only one Zan Pakut that Siridei has ever existed in that can do it. Sato is immortal. Kiraku Shunsui blew lightly, blowing away the hot scorched earth in his hands. First generation Godei captain. He's not dead yet. Live in seclusion in the Tsunia Shiro family. Torabashi RJR and Maguru Makensei looked at each other and saw surprise in each other's eyes. That was a Shinigami from the same era as Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni. So, search carefully. Since they have met an unexpected person, Yura Harakisuk, and the others may leave a lot of traces that they cannot deal with this time. If the murderer is really him. Anohana Yachiru pondered for a moment, and then looked at the belatedly arrived elder kid. It's really Yura Harakisuk who did it. You should be familiar with it, chief kid. After Tsukabishi Tomioka heard this, without saying a word, he quietly used kid one after another that was not recorded in Had and Bakut number 99. It's either inherited from the family or self-created. Everyone looked at him intently. There are many riots who, but there are only three that are useful. Zayong He. Yura Harakisuk. The last one is a bit similar to the captain. It's a little less fiery and a little thicker. It should be the immortality of Sato, the captain of the 6th division of the 1st generation, as mentioned by Captain Kaiband. After a while, Tomioka stopped and met the eyes of Anohana Yazanryu, Kiraku Shunsui and other Shinigami. When everyone heard this, they couldn't help but fell silent. Captain Jing Yuan, we have made a discovery. At this time, Ise Nanao walked over, followed by two Shinigami, each holding an invisibility cloth in their hands. Then she picked up an invisibility cloth and put it on her body in front of Kiraku Shunsui and others, and suddenly everyone disappear from people's sight. I see. Yura Harakisuk and Hibiki used this prop to silently follow Tsunia Shiro Tokinata and sneak into the Great Spirit Book Corridor. They also relied on this prop to assassinate Captain Kiryu and Vice Captain Shudera. The reason why I left two pieces of invisibility cloth is probably because I didn't expect to encounter Sato Immortal here, and then a war would break out. Kiraku Shunsui reached out and took the somewhat tattered invisibility cloth, looked at the other Shinigami, and his voice revealed a wit that could see through everything. Previously, when Central 46 ordered the arrest of the entire Urahara clan, he participated. He also found many inventions in Urahara Kisuk's room that the Soul Society had never seen before. That's why when I saw the invisibility cloth brought by Ise Nanao, I immediately thought it was Urahara Kisuk's masterpiece. You are so good at guessing, Captain Jing Yuan. Urahara Kisuk, who was hiding in the dark, heard all their conversations and looked extremely ugly. In fact, when he saw Ise Nanao coming with the invisibility cloth, he already knew that something was going to happen. Ryatsu at the scene, as well as these two pieces of invisibility cloth, had nailed every crime to his head, and he couldn't take it off again. Now. He can fully predict how lively Siridei will be tomorrow. The facts are indeed what Yura Harakisuk expected. The next day. After a night of fermentation, the incident at Tsunia Shiro's residence had spread throughout Siridei, and of course it had also reached Central 46. As expected. Zero, please give me flowers. In Seoul society, they have always been like crabs and are used to being domineering. After they learned what Yura Harakisuk had done, their first reaction was not panic, but anger. Feeling that the Supreme Majesty of Central 46 had been provoked, they quickly issued an order, asking Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni to send additional Shinigami to station around Central 46, and then retrial the Urahara family that day. No. A more accurate statement is not a retrial, but an increased sentence. The entire Urahara clan will be executed as death row prisoners at the Kotan execution ground in 25 days. As soon as the news came out, it immediately caused a commotion in Siridei. Punished with capital punishment. In the past hundred years, it has rarely happened. But thinking about what Yura Harakisuk and Hibiki did, as well as the hollow tragedy that happened at the Kukaki residence and Tsunia Shiro residence, 
and even killed the first generation Hikaru Squadron Captain. Zero. Many Shinigami were briefly surprised and then relieved. There was only one thing that made many Godii captains unable to let go after knowing it. They even rushed to the first team to ask Yamamoto Genri Yusai Shigakuni to go to Central 46 and let the sages and judges inside change the verdict. That is, after Anohana 8 Senryu determined that Hikifun Kiryu and Shudara Senjimera were completely hollowed and could not be reversed. Central 46 seemed to feel that Skyaka would have to be used anyway, and killing the Urahara family was a killing, so they conveniently gave it to the Hollow Queen. The two people were given the harshest sentences and dealt with false accusations. Sent to Mao's execution ground together with the Urahara family, and executed Skyaku on the same day. As one of the creators of everything. To this. Lan Yan doesn't seem to even care. It should be said that his focus is not on Urahara Kisuk and how it will develop next, but on his abilities and Hgyaku. Captain Lan Yan, since that day when you put something into my body, my Ryatsu has continued to improve, and there seems to be a voice telling me that as long as I want to, there is nothing I can't do. At this time, Matsumoto Rangiku stood in front of Lan Yan, his eyebrows slightly furrowed, and he put his hand on his chest, looking a little embarrassed. Now, she is no longer the novice who knew nothing before in Rukonga. After studying at Spiritual Arts Academy for a while, I already know a lot about Shinigami. Looking at Soul Society, there are only two or three Shinigami who can achieve the speed of Ryatsu improvement like myself. For example, Lan Yan. Such as Aizen. There is also a Jigu in the future. Facing this kind of climbing speed of Ryatsu, it is inevitable to feel a little uneasy.